Alrighty guys, let's go and check everything's working. I think we're all good, so we're ready to go ahead and begin. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick bit of adjustment with the audio, because I'm just testing it out in stream now, and it seems like it is uh, a little loud. So let me go ahead and just turn this down a little bit. Just let me know, guys, um, if things are slightly too loud. I think we're gonna try it at like 56 and see if it's good from there. So hopefully you guys can hear me uh, clearly over the audio, because I know Subnautica is uh, quite a loud game. Um, but welcome over on the YouTube side to Melza, Katanda, and anonymous how are you guys doing give yourselves a hashtag early crew because you guys got here before i could even begin so yeah hopefully you guys can hear me clearly enough and everything is looking decent um but yeah sonorica is a game i've not played in a very long time i've literally only got like five hours in it and i did like i think i've only done one stream on it before and honestly i cannot remember really much of anything about the game apart from that we're on like an alien world uh we crash landed out of a spaceship and there was some weird fish called peepers and uh oh yeah and these uh these weird explodey fish that's pretty much all i remember about the game so yeah hopefully it's gonna be uh it's gonna be an experience so if you guys like this and uh we're enjoying it a lot i'm thinking of doing this um every sunday as well as starvation stream so we can have a uh, subnautica and starvation sunday um uh, which would be pretty cool so let's go ahead and get started without any further blabbage let's go and start a new game and there we go so uh, anonymous uh, and males are giving themselves a hashtag early crew yeah there you go guys let's go ahead and begin shall we so okay so Let's see what we got. So we got survival mode with only one life, no alerts, um, creative, freedom, or survival. I think we'll just go into survival here, so we just have to worry about, uh, we have to worry about food, water, health, and our oxygen levels as well. Um, don't think I should do it on a permadesk, because I'm probably going to, uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and, uh, die very often. How you doing, Legion? So, so how's everything going, good sir? Um, I am going very well, thank you, Mr. Legion. How are you doing? Thank you very much for popping in, by the way. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with a survival game, shall we? Because I like the survival aspect as well. I think we did survival before, and I think I died a couple of times to, uh... I think I died a couple of times before to, like, running out of water or something. So, press anyone to continue. Another says, I can't wait for Max to meet Reapers. <laughs> uh, that don't sound nice. Um, okay, here we go. Oh dear. Oh really? We're already in a chaotic situation. We can't just start in a peaceful area, can we? Alright. Here we go. Oh dear. Well, at least we got off the ship. Oh! Well, that's the end of those people. Sorry, guys. <laughs> At least I'm safe. Uh-oh. Wait. Okay, oh, the screen's broken, the screen's broken. No, 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 don't hit me in the face, don't hit me in the face, don't hit me in the face! Ow! Oh. Oh, my beautiful visage. Whatever will I do? Oh. What happened? Ugh. Okay, come on, let me have this thing. There we go. All right. We gotta put out this fire, I think. Right, here we go. Ugh. Right, let's, uh, let's grab this thing. There we go, so how do I grab this thing? Just left click, alright. And then we gotta right click to use it. Alright, we gotta put out the fire. Okay, there we go. That's better. There we go. Woo! Well, that was lucky. <laughs> I nearly got, got burned up in fire. Alright, let's set up our tablet. Here we go. And I'm gonna say, okay. Totally didn't don't, totally didn't miss click there. <laughs> this is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Alright, so we gotta press tab to open or close the PDA. Okay, pretty much just like seven days of inventory management then. Alright, so we need to use a repair tool. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, two, select like corresponding quick slots. Alright, okay. So, do we have, what do we have over here? That's a fabricator. Let's see, we've got a, um, a medical kit thing. So it's left click to open. Let's go and pick that up. There we go. Um, this thing, I believe, uh, generates med kits for you over time, which is really good. Um, is there anything in here? Let me see. We've got ourselves... Okay, so we've got some flares. Do we have any repair tools in here? We've got ourselves uh, nutrient blocks, uh, but doesn't look like we have anything else. Okay, so that's not so good. So do we have a repair tool, or can we craft one? I am not sure. Let's see. It's occurred to me maybe there's no third person, because this dude's face has to be messed up after that pen, that pen on the face. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's like hit me right in the face. Um, okay, so... 
can we craft for a petal? Uh, let me see. So personal uh, sustenance is under here, maybe? Equipment? Tools. Here we go. So can we craft for a petal? There's a scatter, repair tool. What do we need? So we need uh, silicon rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium to craft one of those things. Um, so I guess we're going to have to go up and uh, make our way up here, right? So let's go ahead and make our way up the top. Well, there's the ship we crashed off of. And it looks like this whole world is complete water world. I see something over there though. It's like some some kind of outcropping over here. Orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Oh, well, that sucks. Well, I'm the only one left alive. I'm the only fox alive on this horrible place. I see some coral over here. Let's kind of get a bearing of our surroundings and stuff, see what we can see. So there's some coral over there. Um, I also see, so there's some kind of outcropping over there, but that's literally like, uh, maybe something right there. Looks like that's the only real things that we can see. Um, that <laughs> He took that hit like a champ, I know, right? <laughs> he just gets up and he's like, yeah, we're good. Um, okay, so I guess we'll go back inside. And then we should probably just go under here. And let's have a bit of an explore, shall we? All right. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way down and see what we can find. Um, so we need to find uh, titanium. Uh, apparently, you can just like collect these uh, fish as well to eat as well, which is cool. So I might just like collect some food. Come here. <laughs> there you go. Creature discovered. Aha! I got a fish now. <laughs> okay. Um, apparently, that equips into your hopper. Um, and if we unequip everything, we can swim faster. So my oxygen meter is on the left. So. That's not really helpful where my chat is, but hopefully I'll be able to see any vital signs uh, good enough under here. Uh, let's see. The one that says, uh, imagine the whole game is imagination because of this concussion. That'd be kind of interesting. Okay, let's see what we can find. So we need to look for a few things. Titanium is one thing. So was it titanium and cave sulfur or something was what we needed to get for a repair tool. So hopefully we can find something around here to help us out. Now apparently, um, from what I remember, this stuff here can um, can restore your O2 if you stand on it. If I remember here. Um, oh wait, no, it's not the stuff. That's uh, some kind of mushroom. I don't know if those are any good. Okay, we got low oxygen, so we gotta get up here so we don't die. <laughs> we don't have very much uh, oxygen, so maybe there's something that's that's gonna be useful to help us later. All right. Let's see what else is around here. See if we can see any other good stuff. It's gonna be very hard for me to like pick up resources in this game. So we got a couple of those mushrooms things. I don't know what those are used for, but I'm sure we can come up with some kind of use for it. Is there anything useful down here? Really not too much. Oh, what's this stuff over here? That is anything useful? Nope. Okay, we're gonna be low on oxygen again, I guarantee. Oh, hang on, there's a uh, there's some scrap right there we can grab. Okay, I think that gives us titanium, right? So let's swim back up. Oxygen. And Anonymous says, um, Anonymous says, uh, no max is the coral thing that releases bubbles, but does, that does O2. Okay, so I gotta look for a coral. Okay, um, let's see. So welcome Daniel to the stream. He says, uh, phew, fix my playback sound. Nice, dude. Says, uh, seems like the color of the game changes a little. Looks, uh, changed a little. Looks better anyway. Yeah, I think they have done a few things. Um, let's see what else we can find down here. Uh, is there any more, like, salvage or anything like that? So there's some mushrooms here. I don't know if there's, like, is there anything inside there? Don't think so. Um, we're just gonna have a little look around and see if we can see anything. Doesn't let us anything inside those things. I know the other thing we need to keep an eye out for is a um, for water is uh, I think it's called a bladderfish. I think um, that we got to keep an eye out for as well. So hopefully we can uh, find something. But yeah, we need to find. Uh, I guess we need to find more scrap for the titanium. So hopefully we do. Let's go and just have a little look around. There's like a deeper section down there. So why don't we have a little look down here and see if there's anything inside. Let's see, is there anything in here? Well, we are in a cave. Is there anything... Oh, hang on, what's this? There is a... Uh, there's a limestone outcrop there. We got some quartz from that, which is cool. Um, right, we're going to need to go and swim up again. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get most of the stuff from those caves. So hopefully we can go in there. Um... And uh, Daniel says, Mel says, hi, not Daniel. And Daniel says, hi, not Melzer. <laughs> not Daniel, not Melzer. These people aren't who they say they are. They're all liars. <laughs> right, let's go and swim through these caves and see if we can find anything else around here. <laughs> what the hell is that? Um... Oh, can we pick that up? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, let's go grab those. I have no idea what those do, but... Oh, hang on, there's like... It's like 
making some kind of mist. I guess that's going to hurt us if we uh, if we go into it. So you probably don't want to do that. But we can pick up the stuff. I think we can pick up those pods before they explode. Uh, I see some vines over there as well. Okay. Maybe we need to go look over there for a few more things. There's, uh, there's at least now I can watch. Indeed. All right. So there's some vines over here we can go to. So let's have a little look over here. I know from these vines we can get, um, yeah, that's it there, those yellow things, I think we can harvest them. So let's go and have a look. Okay, let's swim down. And let's try and go quickly and grab these. I think there's, yeah, those things there I know uh, are enemies, so let's go and try and grab these. So let's go and grab as many of these as we can. Right, get a few of those, got some new blueprints. Right, keeping on our own too, so wait for that thing. Okay. Right, let's try and uh, swim up to the surface again. Yeah, I know these uh, these creep vines and stuff have um, some stuff we need. Here we go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need food soon. We definitely need food soon. Let's get some more of these. Because um, I know these are important. I think these are used for flippers or something. Um, so let's go get a few of these um, creep vine seeds if we can. Uh, inventory is full. Okay, we need to go back. All right. Guy is. Oh. Um. Yeah, slings after me. Okay. Get to the surface. Get to the surface. Okay. Right, so where is our life pod? Our life pod is over this way, so let's go swim back this way. Okay. Oh, we went like right through the creep vine area, so we want to kind of go back through here. Let's stay near the surface, because I think the I think the baddies kind of occur lower down. Um, so let's go and come over here. We might have got some things that we need. Uh, we need to eat something as well, so we should probably cook up this fish we got. So let's go sort that out, and we should be good. Those are, I've been sick for three days, so I haven't been able to shoot night, but... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Well, I hope you feel better. Alright. Let's go swim back to our life pod, because it's uh, going to be getting dark soon. Uh, wow, we actually swam really far. But yeah, I know that if you don't equip weapons in this game, you swim with it a little bit fast. That's one thing I do remember, which is quite, which is actually quite cool. Uh, let me see if there's anything inside these things. It's getting dark though. I don't know if we can make like a light or something to help us see at night. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and make our way inside here. Okay, there we go. So, uh, did this generate another med pack? I think it did. But let's go ahead and come to this thing. Okay, let's see. So we can now craft resources. Um, so basic materials, what can we do now? Um, okay, so we can turn metal salvage to titanium, silicone rubber for... Okay, so that's what the creep vines is used for, and lubricant is also used from that as well. Okay, but we need food right now, so let's go and have a look at that. So we've got a... We could do cooked food or cured food. Let's go and just cook this fish we got. A cooked boomerang. There we go. Probably go ahead and eat that which should help us as well. Um, and let's go ahead and do some... Okay, I probably need to put some stuff away. Because, um, yeah, these creep vine seeds, as you can see, take a lot of uh, a lot of space. So this one, we can just consume it, which should give us... Um, okay, 21 food. So not too much, so we're going to have to go and get some more. Let's go ahead and uh, salvage a few more things here as well. So we're going to make a... Here we go. So let's make some titanium, because we're probably going to need that. And then we can make uh, some silicone rubber, because I know we need those as well. Now, if only seven days to die, we'll get a swim animation. I know, right? That'd be really good. <laughs> That'd be really good if that got a swim animation, but I don't think that's going to happen. So let's craft a few of these. And then we need to look about making a repair tool, right? So what else do we need for the repair tool? So that's under this. Uh, the repair tool. Ah, we need cave sulfur. Okay, so... We gotta find a sulfur deposit to make that. Okay. Um, how's my inventory looking now that we've done that? Okay. Can I um, oops, can I store anything in here? Uh, if I go into here, can I just add a few things uh, into here? I can't see my arrow too well. So can I do I just click and drag it? Yeah, I guess so. Or can I can I shift click it? Uh, or can I right click it? Oh, I can right click it. Okay, right click will store it. So let's go and store these things in because you can see they're taking a, a huge amount of room right here. I uh, got some gas pods. I'm not sure what those are used for. Um, I guess I can store those for now. So yeah, I got a couple of things stored here, which is awesome. And yeah, I think that's all good. Okay, so let's uh, come out of there. Sorry if I uh, accidentally paused the game, guys. Uh, there goes another make it right there. So let's go and grab this thing. Um, can I equip that in my hotbar actually? Where is the first aid kit? Uh, let me put that into. Probably going to keep in my hotbar here if I can. Put it in there. 
Um, do I... Can, how do I equip this to my hover? Can I like click and drag it? Or can I right click it to assign it to a hotbar slot? Or press a number key? No, it looks like I can't use that on the hotbar maybe. Hmm. And Raven, welcome to the stream! I haven't seen you in a little while. It says, uh, hi Max, have fun. Thank you Raven. Um, how have you been Raven? I haven't seen you in a little bit. Um, so, okay, so you, you can't bind these to a quick slot. Okay, well, my health is not full right now, so I guess we'll use one of those to heal up. Um, but yeah, food is still a problem, so we're going to go ahead and uh, try and get some more for a little bit. And pretty much just try and do some basic survival for now. Oh, it's dark now. I don't think we can sleep the night in this either, so we're going to have to look for... We're going to have to look for some stuff. Um, it's actually kind of creepy down here at night. Um, see. Oh, hang on, is that a uh, is that a quartz outcrop there? I think it is. Okay, so here we go. So quartz is actually easier to see at night. So that's a, that's something I should uh, bear in mind. Uh, what else have we got down here? What's this thing? Oh, is that a brain core right there? There we go. Yeah, we can actually come down here and kind of stand on this. And it will uh, give us some extra oxygen. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, there's a bladderfish. Give me that. Thank you. That will give me access to uh, water. may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. All right, yes, yeah, so the bladderfish. I know you can turn into um, to water. Can we refuel our air here? There we go. There we go. Right, air is refueled. Good stuff. Let's see if we can find any more. Because yeah, water is going to be the harder thing to come across. So every time we see a bladderfish, we probably want to get it. I think that's a quartz. Is that a quartz outcrop over there? Oh, there's a bladderfish right there. I see it. Um, come here, you. Yes! And I see another... Yeah, these bladderfish are really easy to see at night, so... Let's go and grab a few of those for water. There's another. Uh, let me go grab these. Okay, I see a few here. Come here! Aha! You bladderfish are mine. And then we'll grab... Uh, what's that thing? Right, oxygen is low. Let's uh, swim back up and we should be good. And Dane says, uh, Are you sure... You left like on the fire and flame I only saw one like and it's the one I could have sworn I did, yeah. Hey doing, pal? Welcome to the stream, how's it going? Okay, let's see. There's another bladderfish here. Yeah, let's get a few of these. Just so we can uh because I think we can just turn these into drinkable water, right? So we also need more food anyway, so there's like a little little ray thing over here. Let's go grab that. Come here. Hey! Can you swim away from me? Can I can I get this guy or can I not pick him up? No, I can't pick that one up. Okay. Let's go back into our pod. Here we go. Uh, salt and... Raven says, uh, salt and tube coral for water. Okay, thank you, Raven. Right, let's see what we can do with what we have now. So if we go into... Did this make another med kit? No, not yet. Right, so let's go into this thing. Alright. So, okay, hang on. Now we can do... Uh, what can we do here? We can do a survival knife, which is good, and we can do an... Oh, an air bladder! Emergency flotation device. Chemical reaction produces light and air gas for fast personal buoyancy. Hmm. Well, I think we should get this. The survival knife sounds like a good idea. Let's get one of those. Because then at least we, we can attack stuff. Standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. Okay, here we go. The knife remains the only exception. There we go. And then we can do, yeah, filtered water from a bladderfish, right? So we should make a load of these. Just so we can keep a load of these um, sustained. So let's make a ton of these. There we go. I just teased nice, okay. Even though that video was for you. No, no, I, thought, I honestly thought I did. So um, I'll have to go back. So I remember watching it. I'll go and have a look in a little while. But let's make a little bottles of water out of these. Okay. And then food-wise, we can go and do a... Uh... Oh, okay. I guess, it, I guess it ran out of stuff here. Uh, but we can do... Okay, you can cure it with salt and stuff as well. So you can cook it or you can cure it. So I guess we still need to find more food. But hey, at least we got access to water now, which is a good thing. Um, and I'm thinking I probably need to consume one of these. Um, let me put that on slot number one. Um, let me consume one of those. That gives us... Um plus 20 in water. So you do need to find a few of these. So yeah, we need to consume a few of those. There we go. Now we're full on hydration again, which is awesome. Very, very good. Um, and Anonymous says that if you knight the tube things, you get coral. Okay, I'll have a, I'll have a look at that as well. Um, I'm not sure what these things, these acid mushrooms do, but I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, the survival knife, I think, is going to be very useful. So we should probably equip that thing. Aha! Nice. All right. So it's daytime again. So 
So we can get... So these two things here give us the coral? Let's have a look. Um, so we can equip that and then we can attack it. Two coral? Or do we need... Oh, maybe we need to... Do we need to scan it first? Maybe we need to scan it first. Giant coral tubes. We may need to scan it. Yeah, we might need to get a scanner made. Which is fine. So we've still got to find um, cave silver, haven't we? And I think... From what I remember, that's behind the... Um, there's like some random fish that like swim out and explode. I think that's what I think it's behind the explodey fish. So we gotta find a cave and find an explodey fish and then let it try and kill us and then get the coral afterwards. So let's see if we can find it. it looks like there's a big old uh, a big old thing right here. <laughs> knife in it! Yes indeed. Uh, oh you gotta right click the knife. Okay. Okay. I will have a look in a second then when we go back. So there's another ladder fish here. Let's go grab that thing. Oh, there's some scrap right there. Let's go grab that. Thank you. So, let's see what's down here. There's an outcropping there. Okay. There you go, grab that. Oh, copper, nice. Right. Let's swim up for... Your there's no brain problem here. Has just increased to unlikely, Yay! But unlikely but plausible. Right, here we go. Right, swim up a bit. Okay, let's go back down. Right, so there is some good stuff in here. Let's see what else we can find in this little uh, this little thing. There we go. So we've got some quartz. There's some more over here. Look, here we go. Right, so yeah, we're gonna need food soon as well. What is that thing? Oh, that's, that's that um, big eyed vision, the peeper, I think. So let's grab any quartz we can find in here. We're trying to stay down here too long because we're gonna run out of air soon. Okay, yeah, oxygen is running low. Yeah, there's no brain coral in here, so we don't want to stay down here too long. Oxygen. Okay, go on, go on, go on, go on. Okay. Swim up, swim up, swim up, swim up. Okay. Whew. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we got a few things. Yeah, I need to see if we can make a rebreather, a rebreather as well. Um, okay, let's see what else is down in this coral thing. I haven't found any silver. Oh, is that some salvage there? Yeah, here we go. There's some uh, bit of salvage right there. Let's go and grab that. Um, so we need to right click with the knife for the uh, for the tube coral. Okay, so we can. Okay, here we go. Yeah, grab a few of those. Nice. Okay, we'll right click that and get a few of them. Not sure exactly what they do, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. We do need some food as well, so let's go and get this little boomerang over here. Come here. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but I still haven't found any sulfur. That's the main thing. That's the main thing I need now. Okay, so let's get a few more, uh, a few more boomerangs, I think, and then we'll go and see if we can find any caves, because that's what we really need right now. So there's a, I think peepers as well give us um, extra, extra food too. So let's see if we can catch one of those. These guys are really quick though. I don't think we'll be able to catch them until we get faster swimming gear. So I think the boomerang is the best fish we can catch for now, and then peepers will come later, because these guys are a little bit slower. Yeah, that, see, see how fast the peeper is? There we go. Okay, hey, come here, you. You're mine. Yes, I'm going to eat you. And you. Aha. I will eat all the fish. Okay, oh, hang on. What's in here? <laughs> hang on. Before we go back, let's have a look and see what's in there. Um, uh, therefore, water, I think, is driven. Oh, okay. Um, uh, with the salt. Ah, I see. And Fellow says, maybe make an oxygen tank. Yeah, once we get the resource for that, I'm going to have a look at that. Okay, let's see. There's something in here. Uh, let's see. Is there any good stuff? Oh! Uh... <laughs> oh, okay, that was lucky. Okay, that's what we want. That's what we were looking for. So that guy there was guarding us a, a sulfur deposit. So we need to go see where that sulfur is. Because um... yeah, those uh, those guys down here. Is that it there? Oh, a, uh, a pearl. Nice. Um, hey, pearl! I got a pearl. Here, there it is, right here. So yeah, this guy right here um, has some cave sulfur. Um, that we can use, which is really cool. Okay, oh, I guess that hurt. <laughs> okay. Right, there we go. What's this thing over here? Is that just another tube coral? I wonder if we can, like, jump down this. Let me see. Can we, like, swim inside it? Oh, it just leads back down here. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see, like, where it would lead if it was anywhere. Okay, so there we go. We got a bit of sulfur. That should be... 
Yeah, we need some food. Um, okay, the real question is, where is life pod? Over here. There we go. So let's go back over here, see what we can find as well. This should be easy, like a few titanium. Um, okay, yeah, I'll see if I can craft one in a minute. Um, right, let's go up in here. I did find some more salvage scrap, so hopefully we will be able to get some more from there. So let's go up in here. All right, so uh, we need to eat. So let's go and sort that first. Um, we've now got uh, some cooked boomerangs, so let's go and do that. There we go. So we'll do a few of those, we'll eat all those. I think I've got like four of these, so that should hopefully completely replenish my food. There we go. Nice. Okay, so let's go and uh, eat all these boomerangs. Well, I've, I've actually got a lot of stuff here. Uh, where are my cooked ones? Uh, here we go. Cooked boomerang. Here we go. That gives us, yeah, 21 food. And it does give us a little bit of water as well. Vital signs stabilizing. There you go, so let's eat one of those. There we go, so we got one We got one to spare. Uh, let's, yeah, let's see what else we can do now, because we got, um, what's this? We got silicone rubber, we got coral tube sample, um, so it contains calcium carbonate, uh, is a base ingredient for bleach, okay. And then we got some acid mushroom, acid mushroom spores as well. So yeah, we got, we got a few things here, and we did get some copper ore as well, which is going to be really good. So let's see what we can, uh, let's see what we can make now. Um, hopefully something good. So let's look under resources first. Um, okay, so we can make, okay, we can make glass from quartz. Okay, let's turn this uh, scrap into titanium first. Uh, Legion says, Max, wanna go fishing? Uh, hashtag not camping, says well as that. I don't know. Do I have to bend over and touch my toes? <laughs> okay, so let's get a few of these into titanium. Uh, we're also gonna need, um, okay, and we can actually uh, use titanium ingots from the uh, titanium there too. Okay, so you can make extra like that. Okay, let's see. So the other thing we can do in under electronics, uh, we can do copper wire and batteries. Well. Okay, so copper and the acid mushrooms make a battery. Okay, uh, so if we go personal now, can we do under equipment? Can we do a O2 tank? Yes, we can. So three titanium for that. There we go. So nice, and we can do fins. There we go. Nice. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment right. appropriate Right, what else we got here? Equipment. Floating air pump, pumps air into pipes, acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. Okay. Alright, hold on a second. So under tools now, uh, there it is, repair tool. Let's get that. That's what we needed. Good stuff. Uh, this is males and wants to go camping. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, let's see, so we got that. Is there anything else we can do now? Under basic resources, I mean, I know copper and batteries are important for stuff, but I'm not sure exactly what they're needed for. What other things can we do on the personal? What other tools can we get? So this, I know the scanner is something we need as well, um, which is this thing, which, ah, okay, so that does require a battery. So let's go craft one of those. So one battery from here. And hopefully then that's gonna give us the scanner. There it is. Yes. There you go. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. All right, so now we should be able to use the repair tool on this thing right here. So right click with that. Here we go, repair this guy. And then hopefully we can get this pod completely repaired. Pod secondary systems online. There we go. go. Alright, everything is now okay. Good stuff. So we've managed to get that all fixed up. Uh, and I was like, no, 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 I don't want to go fishing. <laughs> Lisa says, Max wants to go fishing for a sea cucumber. Oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> De definitely, definitely not, Legion. No, no, no offense, definitely not. Okay, so now we've also got a. Okay, so now we got a scanner as well. Which is awesome. So yeah, now we can go ahead and... Uh, does this need repairs too? Yes, it does. Okay, so let's go and sort that out as well. There you go. Fix it up. There you go. And then we can access the radio. There you go. Nine hours. Okay. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. 
All right, so now we can, uh, I think now we can get like quests and missions and stuff, right? Um, so that's a solar power cell. Okay, so this uh, this provides us with solar power, which is awesome. Uh, that's, is there anything else we can do here? Um, let's see, I don't think there's really anything else we can do here now. So yeah, I think that's a, let's check our logs now and see what we can do. So under, okay, so let's see, under, what have we got in here? So, geological data, advanced theories, um, alien eggs, what's this? Evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all of the local species, reproduce through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the seafloor, buried beneath the uh, detritus, or even wedged into cracks in the rock. Different species likely favor different biomes as their nesting grounds. Eggs discovered in the wild are in some form of natural stasis, likely awaiting ideal conditions in which to hatch, or the delivery of some vital enzyme which will kickstart the process. It's impossible to calculate the species of the egg from the exterior, however it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. Okay, so we've got a couple of things there. What's under this? Um, 4546B environmental scan. So let's see. Safety warning may support Leviathan class predators. Ooh, water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I want to get rescued. That orange thing in the in the in the pod is storage. Okay, yeah. So like this little thing. Yeah. I've uh, I think we got some stuff in there already. Yeah, we do. Um, can I store anything else in here? Not yet, but I do have some more room for stuff. We'll probably have to start making our own base at some point, but yeah, for now... Yeah, I'm not too sure. So what is this thing? There's a, a creature egg. Um, an unidentified egg. So yeah, that was like that little pearl thing that I found, which is cool. So I guess the next thing we got to do is go just take our scanner and scan everything to see if we can unlock new recipes. So... And I think we can scan creatures as well, so... If we... Go do that. Yeah, we can start. We can pretty much start scanning everything. So, bladderfish, for example. We can see if we can get some data on it. Stay still, damn it! There we go. So we can start scanning all the new things. Um, hang on. One question. Did I equip my? Uh, did I equip my oxygen tank? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We definitely have uh, more oxygen now. So let's go and scan all the stuff we can find because that's gonna unlock, I think, new recipes. So a wilting weed. Or a, a, a writhing weed, or whatever. Giant coral tube. There we go. So that's the next thing we gotta do is scan everything. I think everyone says, uh, but that everyone says uh, I'd make a base building tool and make a base as fast as I can for more storage. Yeah, that's that's definitely what I want to do at some point. Get a little base started. Uh, that and try and find parts for vehicles, since that's always cool. So not. Yeah, cause you can make like a you make like a submarine or something, right? I seem to remember. Um, let me see. Um, a veined nettle. Um, can we do anything with that? No idea. Let's see what else we can analyze. So yeah, we can analyze like the fish as well. Um, so there's the peeper there. We can analyze this guy. Hey, come back here, you. Yeah, now, now, now I can keep up with you a bit more. That's better. There we go. Analyze it. Uh, may as well take that for food, actually. New Thank you. There's some brain core right there. Let's go refill our O2. But yeah, getting a base build will be pretty good, I think. So let's go and uh... analyze that one. There we go. Two subs and an exosuit. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, what is that? Is that guy trapped? Yep, another few for there. Let's go grab that one. Is there any other things around this starting area I can analyze? So we analyzed the bladderfish as well. But yeah, at least at least at night though, it's kind of easier to see some of the quartz because it kind of glows. So that's also a good thing. Let's see if there's any other creatures. I don't think I analyzed the boomerang yet, did I? Uh, where'd you go? Come here, you. Hey, get back here. I want to scan you. Come here. Thank you. There you go. Uh, oh, hang on. We can scan this guy as well. Right. Okay, let's go scan this thing. Okay, get out of the gas because it's probably going to hurt us. There we go. 
But yeah, I think the more stuff we scan, the more we unlock, so that's definitely going to be a good thing. I love the background music in this game, it's awesome. Okay, let's go swim back to our pod and see what we can do. Yeah, if we can make a base building tool, that'd be pretty good. Uh, don't touch the fish in this no-no square, says Legion there. Don't worry, I'm not going to touch the fish in this no-no square. Let's go and get that as well. Right, is there any other things I can scan that we haven't yet? I'll probably have to go back to the creep vine area and scan those too. Uh, anything else down here? Is there anything inside these we can scan? No, it's a bit dark in there right now as well. It's a bit too dark to see. Oh, that uh, that little ray thing we can scan as well. This is this guy we can't catch, so let's see if we can scan it. There you go. Grab that guy. Excellent. Yeah, we can scan all the life on the planet and see what we can find. Um, okay. Let's get up inside here. But yeah, I think getting a base building tool up together for extra storage is definitely going to be a thing I want to do. Um, you'll see the scanner icon on the bottom right if you can scan. Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know, dude. Very much appreciated. All right, so in the fabricator, let's go and cook up the fish we caught, at least, so we can get a... Uh... Oh, we can actually cook the other fish as well. Spongy, grisly, low calorie count. Thankfully, odorless. <laughs> okay, let's just cook this guy. We got plenty of water, so more food, I think, is going to be essential for now. Um, cured fever. We need the... Um... Oh, can we not cook the fever here? Um, I thought I thought I caught one. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe not. Uh, resources. So how do we make a base building tool? That's going to be under... So this is the... Okay, that's the vehicles. Um, the ingredients unknown. So yeah, these are these are unknown, so we have to unlock those. So in terms of tools, how do we make a base building tool? Let's see. Is it under here? I have a tab builder. Here we go. So we need computer chips, writing kit... Um, oh, wiring kit, sorry. Not writing kit. Computer chips, wiring kit, and a battery. Um, so that's probably going to be under here, right? So, how do we make a wiring kit? Is it under here? Okay, wiring kit requires... Okay, we need silver for that. Um, computer chips requires table coral samples and gold and copper wire. Um, that requires... And then it's just a battery, right? Um, okay. So that's... Uh, the battery's easy. We just have to get more of those mushrooms, which is very easy to find. So that should be pretty good. Uh, no, no square scanning. Nothing found. <laughs> what? Um, and Lama says... Oh, right. I think if you click while well, having having a fish equipped, it lets it go. Oh, okay. All good. Thank you for letting me know as well. Yeah, still getting uh, very familiar with this game. It's been a while since I've, like properly played it um okay so i don't think we can um okay so we need to find gold and silver then that's our next thing that we gotta find unfortunately it's a little bit dark but hopefully we can find somewhere so maybe if we go back to where i don't know where that cave was maybe if we go back to where that cave was all right it's night time so we're probably gonna there's probably gonna be things that hunt us as well so we want to be a bit careful um yeah maybe if we find i don't remember where that cave was over here yeah maybe if we go back through here we might find um a few more things down here it's getting into daytime as well so hopefully we'll find some gold and silver in here maybe let's go and have a look um see what we can find here so yeah we want to look for outcroppings and stuff and see what we can find on those outcroppings so there is some quartz there so let's go grab that Caution. continued degradation of the auroras drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Okay, let's see what else. Here's another one. See, so got some copper in that. So yeah, see if we can find some gold and silver around here. We may be able to. Uh, any on the ceiling of this thing? I don't see any there. Okay, did we already exhaust all the stuff here? Oh, is this going to a cave? It does. Okay, I might need the flashlight for in here. Uh, oh, there's a little squid thing here. Can we analyze that thing? Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur hey, come is here. an essential component of the repair tool. There you go. Nice, grab that. So there's a few deposits here. How's my O2? Oh, nope, very low. <laughs> very low. Okay, we've got to get out. Um, oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> no! Swim, 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 swim! Uh, ooh! Yeah, that was lucky. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need a better oxygen tank if we can. <laughs> you can make a flashlight. Yeah, I might have to do one as well. Um, feel like Max passed like 10 out crops. Yeah, being a blind bugger, that will happen. My bad. <laughs> 
but there are some caves. Yeah, I want to explore these caves and stuff, so there is some stuff in here we can use. Oh, what's that? That's another squid thing, isn't it? What's this thing? Um, another creature egg. Okay. So there is some quartz here, so we've grabbed those. One thing I wish I did was show your auction on the top where it's easy to see. There you go, that is titanium. Okay. There is some quartz over here, so we'll grab those. I don't think I found any silver yet. How's my inventory? We've still got a little bit of room. Uh, we got quartz, we've got copper, and titanium, but no silver yet. Okay. So that cave there seemed to have seemed to go deeper, so I might want to go in there. So let me go back up here for air. And then we'll go back down there. <laughs> and there's this hashtag. Oh my, that was close. I know, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, here's one right here. What do we get from there? Got a another copper from that. Yeah, let's go down here again. Apparently, there's sulfur down here as well. We can find. Most now crop more titanium. We grab that one. Yeah, it's dark in here. We're probably. Yeah, I think we want a flashlight to see. There's lots of. Uh, Oh, there's some silver. Here we go. Are an essential component of many habitat modules. Let me grab those. Oh, and some gold. There we go. Nice. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, so there's two types of outcroppings then. There's... Oh, another pearl. Another creature egg. We can grab those. Um, so there's two types of outcroppings. There's a limestone one, and then there's a sandstone one. So it's the... I think it's the sandstone ones we got to get. Okay, 30 seconds. Let's uh, swim up and out of here. Okay, here we go, and oh, there's even some stuff there, but inventory is full. Okay, oxygen. Here we go. Okay, good stuff. All right, let's get back over here. Uh, and Pell says, may as well scan those things. Yeah, I had to go back and scan some in a bit. So let's see now if I can make. So I did get some silver and gold. So if we can make a habitat builder with that, hopefully we'll have enough to do now. So let's go up here. All right. Uh, let's see. There's a message on the radio. Let's play that. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> 3 out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Ooh, a high capacity O2 tank. Oh, maybe we can make that actually. That might be better because we can make glass, right? Um, yeah, I think I think we need to give us some more O2. That'd be a good idea. Um, let me see. Hold on, because I know I did see that we could make glass before. There we go. So if we make one of those, only take some quartz. Um, so now can we make the high capacity one? Uh, let me see. So there's a. What do we need here? So we need standard O2 tanks, which we have. We need two. Okay, we need what? We need one more glass. Hang on. Uh, so let's make a second one. Because if we can do that, that's gonna be that's gonna be a bit more helpful, I think. So grab those. So can we do it now? Um, or do we need to make a new one first and then turn it into a high one? I think we're gonna do that. So make a new one of those. And then the high one. Oh no! Now I just need more titanium. Damn it! <laughs> ah, okay. We need to find more titanium, but that's fine. But yeah, I think that's what I want to do as well. Get a high capacity one just to see what's going on. So. Yeah, let's go and let's go and see what we can do. Um, so we need to find more titanium. Oh, we do. Actually, we can do that. Come back up. Come back up. We can do that because we just got up, we found. Oh no, we didn't pick up the scrap. Okay, go back down. How's our inventory here? Very, very full. Okay, can I like? Can I just drop these? Um, yeah, let me just drop a few of these things down because we're not gonna need all of these things for now. And there we go. Yeah, we'll just we'll just drop these down. Um, so we need to find titanium. So we need more scrap, and then we can get the uh, then we can get titanium from that. Um, oh, you need to unequip the sand tank. Okay, so I kind of wasted some titanium making a second one. Oh, well, that's okay. Let's see. So let's see if we can find any more um, scrap around the area. I did just see another bit, but yeah, we can we can drop the creature eggs. We don't need those. Um, there's a little cave down here. Is there any sulfur in here? Oh. Ah! Oh! Ooh, that hurt. Ow. Ow. The 
little bastard. Okay, well, there's some sulfur in there we can get. Alright, let's go in there and grab the sulfur. Okay. Where was the sulfur deposit? Um, uh, what is that? Oh, there's a... A Gary fish? Okay, let me, let, let, let me, let me scan you. Hang on. Here we go. Aha! Can I grab it? There we go. Aha! So what was that, what was that, um... Where's that sulfur deposit then? I don't even see where the sulfur deposit was. It like swam out of nowhere. Okay. Was it in a different cave maybe? I don't know. There's also a distress signal coming from over there. It's a little bit further away, but we may as well go to it as we look for scrap as well. Um, you can make uh, portable lockers as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that as well. That'll be, that'll be handy. Do you need a base to do those though? If we can do like a portable locker, does it require a base? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll kind of stay down here, see if we can see any more salvage along the way. Hang on. What's that? That is copper. Yeah, we do need copper, so we'll grab that. But we'll try and just get some scrap. So here's the cave that we were at before. Okay, refill our O2. Right, let's get down here. So there's a distress signal right over here, so we can go over and see... Because I know if we scan some stuff, we can get access to the sea glide with enough things scanned. So let's go have a look down here. Uh, Rev says, no, you can drop them in the water. Okay, I'll have to have a look at that. Oh, we're back in the creepvine area. I know there's some nasty things over here. Um, okay. Life pod 3 in the shallows. Crew reported they, uh, their sea glide damaged. Okay, let's go and see. Oh, we can analyze these as well, right? There you go. There you go. Gotta keep an eye out for predators here, because I know there are some in this area. Analyze those as well. Come on. Oh, we're thirsty? Okay. Alright, let me swim up here a second. Should have some. I think I did have some water left on me. Yeah, here we go. Vital one of those. Stabilizing. There you go. A couple of those, and we got some. Oh, that's decomposing. Um. Okay, let's go and drop that. Uh, is this decomposing too? Yeah. Okay, drop those. Give me, give me some more room. There we go. Okay, so food is about half. So yeah, we definitely need to start hunting again in a little bit. Okay. Oh, there's two. There's two fields of creep mines. Okay. Okay. So where is this distress beacon? Oh, hang on. Can we analyze this here? Can we scan it? Yep. Here we go. Metal salvage. We can scan that, and then pick it up because we want to go and grab that for titanium. Um. So, oh, we can cut a creep mine with the knife. Okay. Here we go. Okay, does that just give us like one piece each time? I guess it does. Um, let me just double check that. Uh, let me see. Did we get any creep bone from there? I don't think we did. Okay. Might have to like cut it a few times. I don't think we need it right now though, so we can keep going. You can manage that the wave thing in your PDA, so after you check out a place, you can turn the waypoint for it off. Oh, okay, cool. All right, I'll definitely have a look at that and then and see what we can do with that. Okay, so I guess we got to scan this thing. Um... <laughs> Thank you, Fade. <laughs> uh, can we scan this thing? No. Okay. Can't scan this thing. What's this thing here? There's another sea glide fragment. Here we go. Scan that one. Uh, anything else around here? Is there anything inside it? Let's have a little look. There is a abandoned PDA. Um, so download the data. There we go. Integrating new PDA data. Anything in here? Um, oh, we found something in there as well. New blueprint acquired. Nice. So more blueprints and stuff. That's good. All right. So is that everything we can find around here? Is there any of the sea, gri sea glide fragments we can get? Let me cut a card to the surface here a little bit. Get some air. Storage is full. Uh, when you knife the creep vine, there was a thing on the top left that said inventory full. Ah, okay, my bad. Um, so yeah, we still need to find some more stuff. So yeah. Um, 
So we need to look at making a portable locker, for one thing, to get some stuff out of my inventory. Because, yeah, our pod is already full of creep vine seeds, which is not not too good. Alright, let's swim back through here. Let's uh, have a look around for more scrap on the bottom as well, I think. That'd be a good idea. Um, oh, what's this? Hang on. Can we scan this? No? Can we... Oh, hang on. Something popped up there. No. Okay, so it looks like we can't... Oh, hang on. There is a, a vehicle bay fragment. Okay, let's go scan, scan that. Okay, I'm hearing something very... Sounds like something very big is behind me. Oh, it's getting really dark. Oh, well. Okay. Wow, look at that. Oh, is that an eclipse? Oh, wow, it's, it's an actual planetary eclipse. Look at that. Wow, that was cool. Um, okay. Wow, so the planet, like, li so the, there's literally, like, little planetary eclipse in there. I was like, I was like, yeah, I got dark really fast. I thought we were, like, coming up for a fight or something then. I was like, okay, so, something's going on here. Oh, what's in here? There is anything good in there? There is a limestone chunk. Oh, we can scan these, can't we, too? There we go, scan those. What's in there? That is copper. Yeah, let's grab that. Yeah, I definitely want that advanced O2 tank. I think that's going to be very helpful. Because as you as you guys can probably tell, Max Fox and oxygen management does not go well. I wonder if I can scan the pods this thing uh, released as well. There's actually a few of these creatures around here. Let me see. So I get close to it and let it see me. Okay, can we scan this thing? Nope. Okay, get out of there. Get out of that! <laughs> Alright, let's go swim over here. And watch out for Oxygen. predators as well. Okay, something, something new's down there. What's that? Hang on. Let's go refill our O2 a little bit. Let's see, what's this thing? I don't think we've seen this guy before. A hoverfish, okay. There we go, get you scanned as well. There is... Oh, some brain crawl here. Let's go and... See if there's any other scrap down the bottom here. I see some right there. Oh, inventory full. Damn it. Okay, I guess they take uh, two by. Yeah, they take two by two. Okay. Well, we, what we do have though should be enough oxygen here. Yeah, there's lots of salvage right here. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500 percent. Indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. No shit, Sherlock. Well, actually, isn't swimming meant to, like, develop pretty much all of your muscles because you use literally your entire body for swimming? So it's like, yeah, you know, vary up your exercise for different muscle development, but this is like, but swimming exercises pretty much all your muscles evenly, right? Uh, there's a few notifications that pop up on the right bar, like that one that said you got a third of the mobile vehicle fragments. Uh, oh, the top left, okay. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Okay, let's go back inside our pod and see what we can do here, shall we? So... Alright, let's get back up here. Um, is there any other radio broadcasts? There is not. Okay, so let's go and do... Okay, I can take this uh, med kit. And let's go in here, and let's see here. So I can make, right, I do need food, so let's go and uh, make a cooked Gary fish. Uh, floral favor, but very little of it. Okay, so that's probably not gonna give me much. Uh... It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Okay. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. So we need titanium, here we go. So turn the scrap into that. Then we can get our better O2 tank, right? So now we should be able to go in here. There it is, a uh, high capacity O2 tank. Here we go. Grab that one. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. So, um, we'll be able to equip that soon. So can we make a... So first aid kits we can actually make more of if we need them, but that's fine. So compasses, pipes, floating air pumps. So I guess if we want to like take some stuff down to a deeper cave or something, we could make like some of those. Um, in terms of then deployables, what else can we do here? So how do we make a storage locker then? Do we, I, I'm guessing we need the base building tool for that. Um, so what does that require again? Habitat builder. So a wiring kit, computer chip, and a battery. Okay, so can we make any of those yet? So the computer chip requires table coral samples. Okay, so we haven't got that yet. We've got the gold now though. 
that requires the silver so we need to still find gold and silver for that uh batteries is easy enough to do and dumpy steam says oh look who's playing some nordica indeed welcome to the stream dude how's it going um it says uh your escape pod will not survive no nah, it's all good uh also you can climb the pod using the outside or inside ladder it's good for when you want a view of the big ship crash yeah yeah we i think i climbed up there right at the beginning yeah it did look pretty cool yeah like come up on up here but there you go oh yeah that thing uh that thing is not looking too good. Uh, yeah, I th that, that, that ship has definitely seen better days, hasn't it? Okay, so, yeah, we've got tons of copper here. But yeah, I need to figure out how we make the portable... Um, how to make that portable storage locker. But yeah, we can go ahead and... Uh, old cook Gary Fish. Okay, let's go ahead and consume that. There we go. So, my health right now is almost full. But yeah, we need more food and water. So, let's go and actually hunt again. Um... So I need to sort that out ASAP, pretty much, so... Let's see if we can... Get some fish. So the boomerangs, I think, are probably our best source of food right now. Um, so boomerangs and bladder fish are what we want to get. So here we go. Hey, come here, you. I want to eat you! And bladder fish, here we go. Boomerangs, bladder fish. There we go, we can grab a few of these. Um, can we attack these little rays and kill them for food? Let me see. I want to see if I can kill this thing um, without getting too far away. So can I... Oh yeah, I can. I can attack it. Um, come here, you. Oh, he's swimming away. He doesn't like me. <laughs> wow, he's fast. Can we make any like faster swimming gear? Okay, let's see if I can... I don't know if you can get anything from killing these guys. But we got him. Oh, I lost him. Okay. Let a fish there. Let's get that for water. But yeah, making a habitat, I think, is going to be definitely a good thing. So let's get a few of these. Um, there we go. So we've got some of them. Okay, get up. up. There we go. Woo! That was lucky. Okay. And there we go. They just float up and do nothing. Um, so you can kill it too. Um, you can kill anything in the game, but it's pointless as Dumpy Steam. Uh, they just float up and do nothing. Oh, okay. Um, it says, but if I may add to it, as someone who loves base building in the game a lot, uh, a lot, and experimented. Uh, if you make, uh, if you make eight thousand four hundred and eleven Dumpy, fix up the Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a that's that's a lot. And Chaos Dragon, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, we need to we need to eat and drink and stuff because our survival is getting low. So let's go and sort that out. So we got water from a bladderfish, um, and disinfected water is from bleach. Um, okay, I'm not sure what that's used for, but let's get this done. And uh, Anri off uh, Anri off Astora. welcome to the stream as well. How are you doing? And Chaos Dragon says hello, Max. How goes the deep waters? Well, we're just getting our feet wet right now, but going pretty well. Thank you very much, dude. Still very much learning this game. It's been like years since I played this game. I think the last time I streamed this game, it was like some like um, protein-rich eyeballs, highly nutritious. <laughs> I think it was um, like three years ago when I last streamed this. While disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, okay. and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human Roll consumption. Roll Bladderfish adds 15 seconds of oxygen, which is one of the most hidden mechanics in the game. Oh, really? Wow, okay, I never knew that. Nice. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, consume some foods, because we've got to get our water field again. So, let's go sort that out. Yeah, water is actually quite low, so then we'll just see all these. Okay, so eat a few of them, and then we should be pretty good on food and water just for a little while, right? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we've really got to sort out our um, storage, but yeah, the uh, locker is something we got to make a habitat builder for. And and uh, so Anri off a store says, perfect. That's a very good. There's very good loot behind the aura if you go there. Readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum uh -oh. detonation will occur within two hours. Um, okay, well, I guess then we're gonna have to go to the Aurora and see if we can... I wonder if we can repair the Aurora, um, like, and stop it exploding, because that seems like, uh... 
That seems like something we're going to have to do. Um, why don't we go over there and like have a look? Um, and see if there's anything we can find over there, as well as looking for more copper and stuff. Maybe we should go over there and... Maybe we can use our repair tool to just stop it exploding? I have no idea. Um, so sure, I can tell them, can I, can I tell them about the ghost? Uh, you can just uh, then fizz up with a couple of peepers, but still. Shh! <laughs> don't, don't tell them about the reapers! <laughs> okay, oh, look at this thing. What is that? Uh, a floater? What is that? What is that thing? It's like a jellyfish. Um, is there another one on this? Can I, can I analyze this thing? Hang on. Not seen these things. They're, they're weird. Hang on. If I take off all these, will the rock fall down? I want to. I want to try that. Hang on. So if I take this off and this one, does the is the rock gonna fall down? Oh, it, it does. Look at that. That's hilarious. I don't know what these things do. Yeah, so those things literally just like hold the rock up. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's see. Um, you can only enter the Aurora post explosion, but you can get up and close now before the consequences hit the map. Oh, okay. There's still loot scattered around. Okay. Um, let's see if we can just have a little look over here. Um, okay, I do have a couple of spots left in my inventory, so. Let's go and see if I can get any, um... Well, hopefully I can find a, a few more sandstone outcrops uh, for gold and silver, because that's what I really need right now. But yeah, let's go look at the Aurora and just see what's going on over there. It's not super far away, so we can have a... Oh, hang on, what's that down there? I see something down here. Something we can scan, maybe? Okay, this biome is very barren here. Okay. What is that? Um... Oh, hang on. A laser cutter fragment. Nice. Okay, let's go grab that. Okay, so what we, what I think we need to do then is look for more of these boxes. What's that over here? Is that a... Short range scan suggests this biome supports... What's this? Um, oh, a salt deposit. Okay. ...and connects to a number of small cave networks. Okay, so this area might have what we need. Oh, hang on, is that a sandstone deposit right there? Let's see. Uh, hang on, let me let me go up for air real quick. Um, says all I remember was it being a cave and containing lithium. It's been way too long. Uh, yes, uh, the radiation is the consequences. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, one of the biome's entrances is about 300 to 500 meters around the aurora, but I can't recall which biome it was and where. Oh, okay. I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Okay, so there's a, there's definitely some outcroppings here. Are these sandstone ones, though? Because I think that's where we find silver and gold, right? So hopefully this is one. Yeah, here we go. So we can scan that. There we go, so that gave me something. Let's see if we can find any more. So it looks like they're on the on the top. Oh, hang on, there's another box here. What's this? A, a sea glide fragment, yes. Nice. Oh, is that it? We can make the sea glide now? That's good. Okay, let's see if we can find any more. Was that the one I just found earlier? The laser, the laser kind of one? Uh, let me see. That might be the one I just found. Yeah, it is. Okay. 30 seconds. Right, let's go swim up. There we go. Uh, it kills you even when in creative. Oh, wow. Um, it will say, it will stay, it will say that you are completely if you're close while well, it explodes, I think. <laughs> oh, wow, really? <laughs> That's hilarious. And it kills you in creative. That's funny. Okay, let's go swim down here. So it looks like this biome here has more chance of outstanding zone outcroppings. Here's, here's one. Is this one here? Uh, that's a limestone one. I need, a sa I need sandstone. Let's see if we can see. Is that one just over... Okay, something like grass popping into this. There's more uh, scrap here, but what I need is the outcroppings. Not really worried about the scrap yet, but at least at least we know around here we can find a ton of scrap in this red area. Seconds. Well, the oxygen ran out fast. Oh, I didn't equip my new oxygen thing, did I? That's why. Oh god, what's that? Okay, he didn't look friendly. Okay, let me swim up a bit. There's something else down there. Is that... Oh, that's more of those... Um... Let me see. 
I think I've got to equip my new O2 tank, right? Uh, yeah, high capacity one. Uh, so left click to swap. There we go. And then drop this old one because that will clear out some room. There we go. Alright, now I should have... There we go, that's much better. Loads more O2 now. Now he can really swim down here. There's another box down here as well. Look, there's a couple of them. Oh, wow, actually there's a load of salvage down here. Look at this, there's loads of stuff. I wonder if we can get anything else to analyze here. Let's have a look. Okay, nothing in there. Can we pick up any of the scrap as well? We can. Okay, so this is a good area for scrap. Is there anything... Anything in these boxes we can analyze? Hang on. Nothing to scan in these. Let's see. Anything in there? Okay, we got a nuclear waste pos uh, disposal. Okay. Analyze that. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm kind of feeling a bit uneasy down here. It's almost like there's going to be something that leaps out at me from behind one of those things. I, I, I have a feeling this is a trap. <laughs> just, just, just a feeling. Oh, is this table coral right here? Coral shell plate? Let's go and analyze that. Because I know we need a table coral as well. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, are you a... Uh... He looks kind of aggressive. I'm hearing something very big. Okay, let me go up behind him. Oh, it's a sad duck. Oh, boy. Okay, no, that's a bad one. Okay, I need to analyze it, but that's going to hurt me, though. Oh, wow, he just wrecked whatever that was. Okay, so that's a sand shark. Okay. Sounds like a tiger. Okay, can I analyze you? Okay, he seems to be more interested in the smaller fish than me. Okay. Uh, oh, there's here's another one. Uh, right, let me... So that's what the trap is. It's, uh, it's surrounded by sand sharks, I see. Your first aid kit fabricator only has a storage of one, but uses no power while making the kit. Be sure to pick it up when you return to the pod and put it in storage. Oh wow, look at this thing! Oxygen. Can I scan that? Um, is this creature like some kind of whale? Can we, can we scan him? We can! A reef bag, okay. I hope it doesn't see me. I don't know if it's like a whale or if it's like gonna try and eat me. Is there anything on it we can get? Let me like swim under it. Wow, look at this thing. Um, nice, nice fishy. Is there anything on the topic? Is there like any outcrops or stuff we can get? Uh, what's this? That's a coral shell plate as well. Okay, so it kind of has all kinds of coral on it. Uh, a violet bow. Gonna scram that. And um, let's see. Oh, what is this? A a barnacle. Okay, hang on. What does that give us? That gave me some. Oh, silver. Nice. Hang on. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, I I don't know if this guy is gonna hurt me or not, but can we scan that thing? There's another one over there as well. Okay, maybe we can find some more stuff on these. Um, are there any more barnacles here? Okay. Okay, was I taking damage? Oh, I think those things were hurting me. Ow. <laughs> That's not too good. Uh, his next fun, Leviathan, she'll be entertaining. Uh, going to lurk for a while since Chaos Dragon. Thank you very much for coming along, dude, and enjoy your lurk. Reefies have resources on them. Okay. Oh, hang on, what is hurting me? My two... Okay, something was hurting me. Does something on does something on these guys hurt? Okay, hang on, I gotta heal. Something was uh, I don't know what was hurting me, but I've gotta heal. Do I have any first aids? Yeah, here we go. Use one of those. There you go. Okay, so those creatures can hurt you, I guess. I don't know what was hurting me on them, but maybe one of the things on its back. I have no idea. Uh, tiger plants uh, spit their spikes. Oh, I see. There's aggressive plants on the reef bag. I see. Uh, a reinforced diving suit will stop the damage. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, look, there's a barnacle right here. Let's go and grab that one. What do we get from that? They gave me copper. We got plenty of copper. Um, let me see if I can find any other... 
barnacles on this thing. Okay. Oh, radiation. Oh, oh, get out of there. Get out of there. That's probably gonna kill me. Okay, we're getting. To, yeah, we're getting too close to the aurora. Okay. So we don't want to go any more that way. All right, let's go make our way back over here. God, those things sound creepy as hell, though. Okay, let's see if there's anything else down here we can find. Let's see if I can find any more um, sandstone outcroppings and stuff. But we gotta watch out because there are sand sharks down here. So, but yeah, silver and gold is what we need. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, okay. Oxygen efficiency decrease after 100 meters. Okay. So, um, oh, hang on. Was that a sandstone thing I saw there? Hang on a minute. Is that one or is that limestone? That's limestone. For gold and silver, I need the sand. Oh, there's a shark over there. Hang on. Get behind here so she doesn't see me. Where'd that sharky go? Okay. Can we find sandstone like on the side of these things? I wonder. What's that one? That one is. That's not even a deposit. <laughs> that's not a deposit, damn it. Um. Trying to keep. Oh, there's another. Is this the box I already got? Let me see. No, there's nothing in here. Hang on. Nice. Scan that thing. Uh, seven observation and ready to act, sir. And Dumpy says, I'm going to look at it and need to answer the question. Just uh, scream, Dumpy! All right, I will do. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, and uh, and Reese says, there's also baby reef bags. I wish there were baby reaper leviathans. Reaper leviathans, eh? That, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound too friendly. Um, okay, so is there any more? Thirty seconds. Yeah, we got to go for air. Uh, is there any brain crawl nearby? I don't see any brain crawl nearby. Yeah, that's probably a good idea to get out of here. Um, that's the box I already found. So let's go and make our way back up here. Get out my oxygen refill. There you go. But I mean, 100, 135 seconds of oxygen is not bad, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, my new fiance uh, pulled me out of a, be um, of a, a bedroom depression, after which we got together. Oh, that's awesome. And after three years, um, I proposed, which was 10th of November 2021. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you're happy, dude. That's awesome to hear. Okay, it's getting real dark over there, so yeah, we probably want to go back this way. Okay, uh, do we have enough room to cut some creep vine now? Yeah, maybe we can cut a bit of creep vine as well, just to see. So there's actually some brain core right here. So let me go and uh, from here, that is a salt deposit. Okay, I guess I get that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, these guys are... Uh, I think those... Yeah, those guys are definitely browsers. Okay, let me... Stay underneath you, so you hopefully don't see me. Where'd he go? So maybe these guys... I don't know, did these guys only come out at night? It's getting very dark down here, so I want to go and swim up a bit so you can see. Okay. Okay. Emergency. Uh oh. Uh oh. So away! Swim away! Swim away! Swim away! I'm dead. I think I'm gonna die. No! Uh. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Swim away! Swim away! Get behind something! Get behind something! New We're alive? We're alive? The suit oh! Has been added ah! Blueprint database. Ow! Ah, hey, you stupid silverfish. Oh my god, we're alive. Well, um... That sucks. Don't says, uh, don't worry, I, oh. I take good care of her. Oh, hang on. 
Something's hurting me. Oh wow, what the hell was that? And, okay, get get up in here, get up in there. Okay, something big was down there. Ow. I literally just saw something huge down there. Okay, get this. Uh, right, heal. We need to heal. We need to heal! Heal! There we go. Okay, so... What is composed of multiple organisms and symbiosis? Life cycle unknown. I guess we can see if they uh, unlock any recipes or something? Let me see. Uh, we can make it a cured... Um, so we can actually use the salt to cure the stuff. Okay, we can cure stuff with this. Preserve the salt, a healthy and nutritious meal. Uh, but keeps well. Okay, so that'd be that'd be good for later, right? Um, oh yeah, we can make the we can make the sea glide now, right? Ah, that's gonna be good if we can get one of those. Um, and let's see. Dummy says that every time she gets home in the weekend, I make her soup, brownies, whatever else. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Um, let's see. Give it, give her a bunch of flowers, mate. Dummy says there's more flowers. <laughs> says uh, Shane, there's no good view for the explosion. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I just wanted to like I just wanted to sneak away and try not to die. Um, says uh, flo floaters are useless. I think. Oh, they're not. They're not good for anything. Okay, um, I mean I can drop them. I guess I don't really need them if they're not going to help me with anything. Um, okay, so under equipment now. Okay, so now you got the radiation suit. So that is going to give us. Um, oh, yeah, she did find some lead. We just need fiber mesh for that. Uh, lead line suit providing insulation from radiation. Um, what else have we got here? We got fins, which we've already done. Fire extinguisher. Is there any other good things? Um, the rebreather we already made, didn't we? No, this is a different one. Conserves oxygen while diving deeper. Absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Ooh, that's... Okay, that's good. Um, so maybe we need to work on a rebreather as well to so we can actually dive down deeper as well. Because um, we can't go down for a 100 meters. Uh, floaters can be used for for, air bladder, for the air bladder and the bioreactor fuel. Okay. So Assassin says, hey, Max. Sorry for the absence. My girlfriend just had our baby go. Oh, congratulations, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much for popping in. I, I hope you've been keeping well. Yeah, I was going to say I haven't seen you in a while. But that is, that is such good news, dude. Okay, so in here then. So can we make the? So how do we make the um, the mesh stuff then? Um, hang on. So under equipment, how do we make a? How do we make fiber mesh? I guess that's the thing we've got to uncover first. Um, and uh, Anri says, uh, "Listen to the radio." All right, I'll go ahead and do that. Let's see then. Um, all right, yes, yeah, beeping at me. Here we go. Play message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. All right. Well then, uh, so we need fluid intake, don't we? Yeah, we should have some in here actually. I think it actually started us off with some water. Seek fluid intake immediately. There we go. Oh, my bad. Right here we go. And then one of those. Vital and one of those. signs stabilizing. There we go. That's better. Woo! Air bladder as you saw. A gold incoming. Uh, a crash's detonator in detonator in deep rock. Um <laughs> gold incoming. Well there you go. Um This man gets more messages on alien planets than I get on Earth, is that right? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Science says, uh, thanks, I mostly be lurking. She has a weird sleeping schedule. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> it's is it's gonna be a thing, right? Alrighty. Um so yeah, we need to work out how to get fiber mesh. That's one thing. Is it under here? Um, I thought it'd be under here, but yeah, the sea glide is something we could do. Which is here, right? Yeah, so now we can do a sea glide. So yeah, it's a battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. I think we actually make copper wire already, right? So we should be able to do that. Copper wire, yeah, here we go. Just takes two copper ore per wire. And we need just one of those. 
We need one battery and one lubricant. Okay. And lubricant. Oh, lubricant is a creep vine scene cluster. Okay, we can do that actually. Um, so let me get one of these. So hopefully we've got enough room for it. And then we can do this one. We can we can do bleach as well if we need to. Um, and we can make these into silicone rubber too if we need to. But yeah, lubricant. Let's go and do that one. Um, try and get sea glider is SP. In construction of vehicles and power plants. Ooh, nice. Okay, so what's the last thing we need? So that requires a battery as well. So the battery is uh, under here. No, under electronics. What do we need for that? We need. Oh, we need another one of those mushrooms. Okay. Um, did we have one of those already? Let me see. Do we have another acid mushroom in there? We. No, we don't actually. But actually, now that I've emptied this out a bit. We could probably put some of this uh, quartz away for a bit, because um, we got a lot of this, and it seems that we don't need all this on us. Um, and actually, what I should do is maybe turn more of that into lubricant as well, just to help out just a bit. Um, okay, so yeah, we can get a, a get a sea glide as well. <laughs> lubricant says uh, <laughs> says Henry. <laughs> well, maybe mm, lubricant, yes. Um, okay, so hopefully it's lay outside now. Okay. So we needed another one of these things, right? So that's all we need for a battery. It's just one of those, and then we should have everything we need. That's literally all we got to get. I will need to go and head, uh, hunt some more uh, to eat and stuff in a minute because food is food and water are kind of getting low. Um, okay, is this ready for first aid kit now? Not yet. Okay. So if we come in here, we should now be able to do. Um, oh, wrong one. A battery now. There we go. There we go, very good. And yeah, I think that's it, right? And then we do that and this. Yes, there you go. Ah, oh, there we go, guys. We got a sea glide. Your effective exploration range. Nice. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Well, that is awesome. Look at that. A mouse says, Angel, I'm an angel, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, Anonymous says, uh, yes, thanks, abandoned all alone on a planet. You'll need lubricant. <laughs> and David Monster says, uh, uh, think by a mess it made from cuttings of, uh, from creep vine. Oh, okay, so we just need to get some creep vines to that. Okay. Okay, so our sea glide then, how do we deposit that? So we just gotta. Okay, so we just equip it, I guess? Um, so if I put that in slot four. And then we can just come out of here and do four. All right. Okay. There we go. Hey, look at that. Now you can finally get somewhere. Wow, that is so much faster. That's so much faster. Damn it! Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, that is that is hugely fast. Okay. So the last place I found sandstone deposits was down here. So let me come back down here. And have a look in here again, because um, I did find there were. Some, I don't know if they respawn again, but there were some down here. Oh! Woo! Oh! I get that ahead of it. Well, that wasn't very nice, was it? Okay. Okay. Well, there's a sulfur deposit right here we can get now. So let's go get those and another one right here. Nice. There's two in here. That is a limestone one. We need sandstone. Okay, let's see. Do we have what's that one? That is a creature egg. How much O2 are we at? We're at 50 seconds. Okay. Oh, is this a dead end? Okay, this is a dead end cave. Oh no, hang on, we can go up here. Alright. This thing is so good. Yeah. This would be really good for like getting up for air in emergencies. Uh, that's a limestone one as well. Yeah, hopefully we find some sandstone. One of these. That oh, table coral. We needed that, didn't we, for something? Um, let's go grab that. There you go. Uh, what? What should double stream check Facebook? <laughs> people like that. There's, there's uh, people still need Facebook. Oh yeah. I I mean I have Facebook. I don't really use it, but I have it. Um, table coral sample. Here we go. Grab one of those. 
Okay, so let's grab a few of these, because I know we needed those for something. Um, so we'll grab those. And you guys were saying I needed um, creep vine, right? So let's go and... Oh, no, no, no. Watch out for that guy. Okay, watch out for that thing. Okay. And you said you guys were saying I needed a creep vine cluster for fiber mesh, right? So let's go and grab those. Um, there we go. Get a few of those. And... Oh, okay. That actually takes a lot of space. Okay. Oxygen. Right. Go swim up here. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, this thing is this thing is very good. Okay. Where is the? I have no idea where the life pod is now. Over here. Here we go. Man, you travel so fast in this thing. This is really good. Nice. Uh, lucky you crashed land in the safe shallows. Some of your other shipmates were not that lucky. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, they crashed in the deep. <laughs> um, right click to turn the map and the light to Zane turn off. Oh, nice. Okay, so it has an inbuilt light too. Um, oh, we got a uh, radio broadcast. Hello. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Ooh. Come get us already. Ooh, okay. Location uploaded to PDA. Okay, that's in the direction of the Aurora, I think. Okay, so on here now, is this where we get the fire mesh now? Yeah, that's where it is. Oh, we actually need two of them. Okay. Um... Okay, so we've already got to store some stuff away to get lots of this stuff. Uh, under tools, though, now, we can now do a Pathfinder tool. Uh, deploys holographic Pathfinder disks, used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Max 20 disks per path. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what's this? A f okay, we got some flares. Um, and then under here, so we wanted to get the radiation suit, didn't we? So it's just two five minutes. So what we need is four creep binds to then get the rad suit. Um, yeah, so. But yeah, I don't know how we get the lockers. There's only a little bit of storage here. Um, okay, so if we open this up here, do we have any more room for stuff? Okay, what I should do then is... I need to see if I can... Okay, so yeah, we need to hunt as well. So I can't even swap anything into here because we're literally full. Can I just eat these? Um, that's food plus 75. So let me just eat that. Hopefully I can just do that. There we go. So we'll go do those. Um... Just to get rid of them, and I can swap in a couple of things. So you guys are saying these things are mainly useless, so I might just go and drop these. Um, so let me go and drop a few things just outside. There we go. Uh, they dead AF as well. Uh, if you go on them, they gave you life, but will drift away from the safe shallows, so you should make a base. Okay, that's cool. I will uh, definitely be sure to do that. Okay, so let's go and drop a few things that I just really don't need right now. So yeah, these things, we can just get rid of those, because I don't need those. But table coral, I know we did need for something. Um, okay, acid mushrooms, I don't need those immediately. And those, you can find those everywhere, right? So let's get rid of those. Okay, but yeah, we need uh, we need food and water, so we got to find some uh, we got to find some stuff to eat. So let's go do that. Is that a bladderfish up there? I just saw. I did, I think. Okay. okay, I have no idea what that is, but we got a new creature, so let's go grab that. There's a bladderfish right down there. There you go. Come here, you. Thank you. I will take that thing. Um, let's see what else we can find. There's a another bladderfish over there. Water's going to be the harder one to find. So let's go and try for those first. What is that thing? No. Uh, there's a boomerang over here. Let's go grab this one. Oh. Well, I got a, I got a third bladderfish. Well, that's that's fine, I suppose. <laughs> uh, come here, boomerang. I need to eat you. I'm a hungry fox. I require sustenance. Okay, got some oxygen there. Good stuff. Okay. There's a peeper over there if I can get it. Oh, you're, you're, you're fast, but I gotcha. Yeah, the peeper is, I think, the best food source early on, so... Probably one of the best ones we can get. Uh, you can make bleach with coral and salt that gives water. Okay. Coral and salt together. Okay. That sounds good. There is a array over there which we can't harvest. 
It's one of those big guys over there. Okay, is there any other... There's a bladderfish over there. Let's go grab that guy if we can. Come on then. Give me that. Thank you. Let's see if we can find any more like boomerangs or anything. I see uh, Pete. Okay, two peepers up here. Try and get these. These are the best source of food we can get. There we go. Got him. And a bladderfish. Got him. There you go. I think our inventory is full now. One more space. Okay, let's try and get another piece of food if we can. Uh, another people would probably be best. So let's try and go for this guy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta kind of ca get these guys. They turn sideways. All right, lady, don't worry. All right, where is my lifeboat? I don't even see where it is. Swim up, maybe we'll see on the side of this here. Over there, okay. All right, let's go uh, get some fluid intake going. So, time for the sea glide. Just make this a little bit of a quick adventure. Here we go. I wish there was a way you could change the colors of the uh, signals as well. That would be nice. There you go. Right, we got another radio broadcast. Here we go. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Oh, here we go. I didn't know how bad... Can't get that yet. How many of you... I, I didn't know. We're so now en route to your location. We're going to bring you home. Sunbeam out. Uh, go to the tablet what and then tell, change say? colors of waypoints. Oh, okay, the cool. The time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Okay, there you go. Plenty of water now. Good stuff. Right, let's get some food. Um, so yeah, the peeper is definitely the good one. Um, and a, a whole fish. A, a gelatinous flesh. Okay, I guess that's a good one. Alright, so I'm not sure how much that gives us, but yeah, the peeper I think is the best one. Because saying the uh, the eyeballs are very nutritious, so this should fill us up fully. Um, well, food, food seems fine, but, it's, but hey, at least we got some. Um, and then we've also got the uh, the boomerang as well, so yeah, we'll just, we'll just literally eat all these things. There you go. On the Sunbeam ship is coming to save you, Max. Perfect! You can get off this planet, finally! Yay! Uh, cook boomerang, there you go. Alright, so we're just going to literally eat everything, because, yeah, we kind of need to do that. So, yeah, just eat and, eat and drink everything. I know it might be a waste, but hey. Vital signs stabilizing. That'll sort us out. There we go. And so how much does the, um, so the people gives us, like, 31, which is really good. And then the, the whole fish gives you 20. That's not, that's not too bad. And that only gives you, that, oh, that gives you slightly more. So, yeah. Well, these are going to go off anyway, so. Om nom. <laughs> Get rid of those. Right, so, um... Yeah, we need to get more uh, creep vine cuttings, don't we? That's the one thing we need. The sea glide, unfortunately, does take up a lot of space, um, which is another thing. Um, <laughs> eat, fish, sleep, repeats as well. Indeed, yes. Um, let's see. So go to the tablet in the middle one to change the beacon manager, right? So life pod signal. Okay, so we can... So can we change the color of this? We can turn it on or off. Um, oh, okay, yeah. So if we make it, like, yellow... That should stand out much better. There we go. Um, and then I can find home again. Good stuff. Thank you very much for that as well. Uh, we also got some new data, right? Um, so in our in our data files. Um, okay, so blueprints. What do we get from that now? Uh, under equipment, we've got... Okay, the radiation suit. Here we go. The suit fully protects against the effect of radiation on land, sea, and space exploration. Safety rated up to 400 um, SV per hour. Cross compatible with all APC functionality, and it's sleek. Uh, a necessary precaution in a post uh, a post mad world. Okay. Um, and day settings. Oh yeah, what do we have here about Aurora survivors? Life pod three crew log. Here we go. Uh, unidentified crew. Okay, let's li we can listen to it, right? Faster. Oh sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Yeah, <laughs> okay. See, there's a lot of, uh, lot, of, lot of stuff here. So limestone outcrops, that just tells us about what we can find, right? So titanium and copper sourced from limestone. Um, lead, silver, and gold is from sandstone. Okay, and then from the scattered wreckage is just titanium, I think. And then, yeah, and it's, we've actually got all the stuff for the life forms too. So lots of stuff in here we can get. Um, let's see. Is there any uh, useful 
Any useful stuff? Um, okay, Leviathans. Here we go. A re refact Leviathan. Okay, what is this thing? So, the vast life form is in excess of 30 meters long and has been designated Leviathan class. Fortunately, if he's exclusive on plankton like life forms in the water. Okay, so these, these big guys don't try any of this. That's good. Um, Kite in the shell, um, some of the underside is protected by a thick layered exoskeleton, suggests an evolutionary path quite different from other organisms on 4546b, most of which are vertebrate in nature. Okay, so it's got enzyme pods on the reflex underside, serves some unknown purpose in its digestive system, and are capable of expelling small quantities of stomach enzymes into the surrounding waters. Okay, so don't swim under it. <laughs> um, so, life cycle. Likely extend through many centuries should they survive their initial growth cycle. For the first few decades, their smaller size would make them vulnerable to carnivorous leviathans. Okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, we've got. Um, so what have we got? Um, we've not seen any carnivores, right? Um, the floater. Uh, two species living in symbiosis, which attacked and uh, feed on any objects they come into contact with. Um, the pink main body. Okay, so as on the dominant creature, once attached to an organism or other stable surfaces, will attempt to leach nutrients in order to grow. Okay, uh, helium buffer uh, may aid in flotation of sunken objects. Okay, so that we can use those as well. I've uh, I never thought of that. Hmm. Um, yeah, get a radiation suit and go to the aurora. Make sure to go to the aurora from behind. Okay, that sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and get that done. So. Yeah, so we need some more creep vine then to make into. So essentially, we need we need four creep vine total, right? Um, can we store anything else away just to give me a bit more room? Uh, coral tubes. Yeah, we can probably store these. Yeah, there we go. So now I can carry one, two. I can carry three more actually. That's uh, that's actually perfect. That's exactly how many I need. Um, so let's go and do that now. Okay. So we need to go to. We need to go and find some of the sea coral now, right? Or the uh, the creep vines. So let's. Seems that the it seems like the creep vines are all around us. Yeah, I see some over there actually. Okay, so we can turn the light on or off, which is good. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we want to go and get our knife out. Oh, okay. For some reason, it equipped my extinguisher to level one. Not sure why. Okay. So let's go and get a few of those. There you go, that's what I need. Alright, and now we should be able to make... Because we already found some lead, luckily. So we should be... Yeah, look, that's so much easier to see now, look at that. We already found some lead, so the rad suit should be very easy to make now. So let's go and swim our way over here. So power is 87% still, so we've got plenty of life in this thing. But batteries are not hard to make, so... We should pretty easily find more of those. Okay. Make your way up here. Uh, yeah, behind the aurora is the entrance and max loot. Hey! <laughs> I don't like a lot of just like behind. <laughs> okay, so now if we come to. Okay, did we get a, a med kit out of this now? Yeah. I can't get it yet, but we'll get that in a minute. So now what we should be able to do is grab ourselves a fire mesh, right? There you go. Okay, so we need two of those. Very good. Right now we can go and grab the... So now I've got that, we can literally go to... I think it's this one now? And get the... The radiation suit. There you go. Maybe one of those. Oh, thank you, Fanny. Alright, so that's now given us this. And then hopefully... Did that auto-equip already? Uh, let me see. Hold on. Where do we see... Where do we see our equipment and stuff? Uh, beacon photo. Oh no, equipment's right there. So it looks like it did equip. Yeah, it did. Okay, so we're now wearing the radiation suit. So that's going to be good for. Yeah, that's going to be very good for us. Um, these things here, the radiation gloves. Okay, so it literally gives you all the radiation suit pieces that you need. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, we've now got everything uh, equipped as well. No one says. Uh, I don't remember actually. I th I thought the entrance was near the front. I think so. I think someone's trying to get me killed here now. Someone trying to troll me. You trolling me? Huh? 
Okay, so we got the rad suit. So the other thing I wanted to make, hang on. Is this thing uh, beeping at us? No. The other thing I wanted to do, actually, there was something else I wanted to make. It was the um, the better rebreather, right, for the uh, CO2. So if we look at this, we had... What was it we had here? It was the... Yeah, the rebreather. Here we go. So it was a wiring kit and the fiber mesh. So the wiring kit, I think, was the the main difficulty so wiring kit here was okay that's the table coral okay actually no we just need a couple wire we can make a wiring kit now here we go oh also if you dive under the aurora to the seabed there's a lot of loot there says anonymous how you doing frisk welcome to the stream <laughs> and i already said shh the interest is like uh, is he, are, you, are, you, are you trolling me are you guys trolling me i don't know i don't know uh but we'll see here we go so we've got the Again, we can use that to make a computer chip if we want to. Um, but now then, with that wiring kit, hang on. The wiring kit let us make something else as well, right? Um, I seem to remember the base building tool. Um, there's also a later cutter for it with ingredients, but... Oh, that does require a computer chip as well. So we still have to make a computer chip with that before we can continue. So the computer chip now just requires table coral gold and copper copper wire yeah that's that's the one so get that one that's the computer chip the wiring kit was just silver oh what do we what do we acquire um under cured food what was that cure cured whole fish okay um so the mobile vehicle bay and a waterproof locker um, oh that's what I wanted isn't it waterproof lockers to, to store some stuff in that's the thing I wanted to get um, remember, only getting batteries there. Um, there's, oh, there's a couple of battery crates scattered about. Okay. There's, um, there's no lots of, lots of loot behind the Aurora. Okay. Okay. So is there anything else I can make here? Um, from scrap or salvage? So you guys were saying I can make, uh, bleach into water as well, right? So, if I did that... Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. Okay, so we do that, and then you were saying that can be turned into water now? Yeah, so bleach can make um, 120 ounce water. Okay, so this is, um, oh, 12 ounce. So this is like twice as good as this stuff. Okay, we should probably take some of this with us then. Prepare there we go. a day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Says, uh, possibly because they are attracted to scrap metal and there is a creep vine via necessarily close. Um, a handful of stalkers. Oh, okay. So there is no reason not to scout around the aurora. Yes, the other thing I wanted to do then was to get the. Uh, I did want to do the rebreather. That was the last thing I wanted for my equipment, right? So we got the high capacity O2 tank, but yeah, we needed the. Um, this thing which yeah so that requires the wiring kit so literally i just need some more silver um and then to go from there but yeah i also need to get some lockers to store stuff into because yeah we really are not doing well with that <laughs> okay so now i got the rad suit then we can go to where the aurora is then uh which is over here okay all right so we'll make our way over here And then we'll see what we can find. So the rear end of the Aurora is where you're saying I've got to go, right? So let's go and have a look. Behind, behind us and beyond the Aurora. I think there's a little bit of dunes by him and then the end of the map. Okay. So the back end of the Aurora is over this way, right? So... At least now we got the rad suit, though. We should be a little bit better protected. Plus, yeah, I do need to get some more salvage and scrap, too, so... Looks like there is a little bit down here. Maybe there's something we can analyze in here. Right, let's get my uh let me get my knife out just in case. We get attacked over here. But yeah, if there's any scrap, I do want to pick some up actually. Um hang on, what's that? Can we scan this? Yes. So scan that one. Nice! Blueprint acquired. And there's a vending machine here too. Okay, we can scan, scan this as well. Here we go. 
the edge of the map is empty and like nothing spawns there, except a few friendly leviathans. Alrighty, um, anything else we can find down here to scan? What's this? Um, oh, another sea glide fragment? I don't think that really makes a difference now, because we've already, uh... Did that just, like, equip me with something? No, okay, so, nothing in that one. Is there anything over here? Yeah, it's got to watch out for the, uh... What is that? It's a pipe, nothing in it, no. Anything in here? Nothing in the crate. And nothing in there? Nope, okay. Okay, so where do we have to go? Where's our distress signal now? Uh, so there's our base. Distress signal, I think, was somewhere around the Aurora. Over here. Um, but we'll go behind the Aurora first, which I think is over this general direction. Yeah, okay, so this is where we gotta go. Alright. Let's make our way over here then. So yeah, if we can find any other good stuff over here, then that'd be good. But yeah, we'll just go and uh, make our way down this way. The void is nice. There's some uh, there's some uh, cute creatures. The death place there. <laughs> extra fragments uh, give titanium. Oh, okay, cool. So we get we get a little extra. Oh, what is that? Hang on, that's something we can analyze, isn't it? A a cyclops engine fragment. Okay, what is that? Okay, interesting. Uh, oh, what is this? Is that a lead deposit of some kind? Oh, titanium. Um, special equipment is required. Um, can a knife do it? No, we can't. We can't mash it with a knife. Okay. Uh, what's that? That's salt right there, I think. Um, okay, we don't want that. Let's go and get uh, metal salvage, though. We do need that. What's this? Sandstone? Uh, limestone. Okay. We need sandstone, really, rather than limestone. Which... Oh, maybe this one is here? Uh, that's limestone as well. Okay. How do we... How do we tell the difference between the limestone and the sandstone? Is it just like the sandstone is a smoother one? Oh, there's something over here, too. Hang on. What is this over here? Uh, Dummy says that uh, you'll need a vehicle found on the Aurora to mine those deposits. Ah, okay. Thank you for letting me know. What's this thing? A supply crate. What's in there? Uh, we have a... Oh, disinfect water? Okay. I'll take that. How's our uh, water level in? Anyway, not bad. Uh, let's see. So, okay, so this area has a lot of salt down. Oh my god, what was that? Uh... Oh, okay, so, okay, uh, this guy I think is coming towards me. Something's, uh, okay, something bigger is over that way. Uh, oh, I see something over here too. Um, what is this? Anything in there? Uh, there is a, a propulsion cannon fragment. Okay, let's scan that. Uh, there you go, stalker. <laughs> okay. Right, we're right up by the Aurora now, so... See if we can pick up anything else. So there's some more scrap. So yeah, let's, let's, if we need um, titanium for lockers, we may as well pick up as much scrap as we can. So Ray right over there. Okay, so we're right by the Aurora. So you guys said to go behind the Aurora for... Probably. Is there anything in here, though? There is nothing in there. Okay. There's another... Did we get this box here? Let me have a look. Uh, we did get that one. Okay, so that box is done. Alright, so behind the aurora, right? Let's see. More stuff directly behind the aurora. Okay, let's go and have a look. Um, okay, so let's see what we got over here. I did. Oh my god, what was that? Wait a minute. I swear I just saw something like in the in the fog then. Why am I why am I swimming towards it? That's that, that's how people die in horror movies, damn it. I I swear I am seeing something very big over there. Okay, hang on. There's some scrap down here, let's get that. Let's grab this. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> Swim away. <laughs> oh my Jesus. What is that thing? Um, okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Okay, there's something very big over there. The low roar emitted by the reaper is effectively a sonar. If you can hear it, the reaper can see you. Ah, I see. Okay, can I like really quickly try and get past this thing? Or can I can I go up inside this? Oh, okay, no, it's got like a collider on it. Okay. So I can't like go inside here? No, okay, there's like an invisible wall here. Uh oh okay, I can like walk up on top of it. Okay. Um Wow, this thing looks like really low quality graphics on this thing. <laughs> uh, man ran away from the cutest creature ever, says the Lilith. Damn it! Uh, they spawned randomly. We didn't know that he spawns there. <laughs> Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Okay, what's this thing? Uh, is there anything down here we can salvage? I don't know. Okay, I do not like being here. This does not seem good. This, this really does not seem nice. Why did we say? Why did we go here? If you uh, if you hear the reefers so on the ghost whisper on the dragon's rolls, you're in a spot you one day have to go to. Uh, it's getting night. You might want to not stick around. So can we not find like anything inside here? Oh, okay, that was just my shadow. Oh my god, I got scared by my own shadow then. Yeah, we gotta get out of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get out of it. There's nothing down there we can find us there. No. Okay. And what's that thing? Anything in the box there? There is a supply chest right here. What's in there? Oh, first aid kit. Nice. Did that. Is this, is this thing we can analyze here? Uh, yes, a Cyclops, uh, Cyclops thing. Here we go. Let's go and do this one. Uh, can I scan this? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> okay, forget that. Running. Running away. <laughs> Swim away! I don't even know where I'm going. I just hope the sea glide is fast enough to help me outrun that thing. Okay, just don't look, don't look back, don't look back. Just, just get to the surface. Get to the surface. <laughs> Wasn't there an entrance into the ship? I think I could have sworn there was. Oh my! Whoa. Okay, that's just rewinds. Okay. Huh. Okay. You get a lot of fragments inside. Oh, it's so cute, says Adri. No, it's not! That thing is fucking ginormous! Okay. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Ooh. Okay, I think at this point I should just be thankful I didn't get eaten. Okay, let's go over to this thing over here. There might be something over here we can uh, have a look at. Because we did need to do the um, the life pot over here, so let's go and search that. Uh, my favorite game, says Phil C. How you doing, Phil? Welcome to the street, dude.
Yeah, not that big. You should see the dragon. Oh my god, really? That's, that's bigger shit than that? It wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Yeah, why, why does that not surprise me that there's bigger stuff? Okay, so there's another life pod over this way. Okay, where is it from here? South on the surface, or...? I don't see the marker anymore. Did I get past it? There's my life pod. I don't see the other one. Oh, down here. It's like right down here. Duh. <laughs> okay. 30 seconds. Oh. Oh, now it tells me there's 30 seconds? Okay, hang on. Let's get some air, then we'll go straight back down. Yeah, underuse is really. There we go. The radar is due to so the light is best. How do you turn off the radar and keep the light on, though? Out for that thing. Uh, okay, here it is. Life pod 17. Here we go. What have we got in here? We've got a. Is there anything in here? Hmm. Can I just scan life pod? See if there's anything around it? 30 seconds. Ready already? Hang on. A seamoth fragment. Nice. I'll take that. Okay. Is there anything else around it? Okay, let me go. Let me go up again. Get some air. Maybe I didn't get enough oxygen. There we go. Uh, PDA on the floor. Okay, hang on. There you go. Get some of uh, my oxygen refills. How's that, baby? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, guys. Hold on a sec. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get myself some fatty food. Um, I'll be back in a little while, so give me a few minutes and uh, I'll see you guys in just a bit. Uh, make sure to check around the life pods, there's usually stuff there. Okay, I will de I will definitely do that as well. But yeah, thank you guys for, for coming along. I'm not going to end off the stream, but just going to go on a break to eat some stuff and then I'll be right back. So bear with me and I'll see you guys in a bit.
Alrighty guys, we are back. So, uh, before we go ahead and move on to do anything else, let's go ahead and, yeah, make save. So I guess this game does not auto-save or anything like that then, so... Alright, well that's good to know. So, oh, we got a sleep, seek, sleek, sleek, the seek fluid intake, here we go. Ah, uh, here we go, so we got one of those. So it gives us, okay, it gives you, um, 30 water, that's not bad. Vital nice. signs stabilizing. Gonna get a couple of those. There you go, and that will fill me up. So I still need to eat something, but there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, so, so we can we can we can play this. Uh, Riven says, "Can we play this in multiplayer?" I don't know. I've I've not seen a multiplayer option. I don't know if like I can invite friends in with me or anything like that. Um, it says uh, building insurance is fine for now. You can deconstruct if you want. Okay, so is it? Do you get a hundred percent of the resources back for deconstruction, or is it like? Is it like a le le a less return on? So say if I would spend like a hundred resources, would I get a hundred back, or would it be like something like sixty or something like that? Do you get like a a loss when trying that? I get. I'm guessing you get like a loss for for deconstructing. So. Try just have to lay on. There we go. Let's head back. See, I was thinking of like a good place to build would be just in the um Well may maybe the red grass area would be okay to build in, just because it seems to have there seems to be like more sandstone and stuff over there. So let me go back up here. And let's see, Phil says uh, there's there's a mod for playing mod for that. Oh okay. That's cool. Okay, so, um, yeah, we need to build some titanium lockers, don't we? So that's one thing I need to do. Um, let's go and see what I can do here. So if we go into... Oh, hang on, what can I make now? Um, oh, okay, so we've also got a uh, advanced wiring kit uh, for advanced constructions as well. Okay, so we've unlocked a few new things as well. Uh, let me see then. So we need to get some titanium, let's do that. Um, says, uh, yeah, 100% no loss in deconstruction. Oh, awesome, that's awesome. Uh, so no one says, so save after any major accomplishment. Alrighty. So I'm guessing if you, if you die, it, it, you go back to your, um, last save point then? Okay, that's, that's good. There's 100% get back. That's good. Um, I'm glad about that. <laughs> okay, so we got some titanium now. So now we can make a... So for now, we just need some lockers, right? So we should probably make a water locker. Small storage solution that maintains position in the water. So yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, just to do that for now. So let's make one of those. Just so I can store something in it. Um, and clear out my inventory just for, a, just for, a, for a bit. Let's make a couple of those. And uh, Andre, Andre says, make the rebreather. Yeah, the rebreather, I think we... I don't think we can get it yet. I think we need... No, what do we need for that? We needed to get the... That's the radiation suit. We needed the wire tool... Where is that? Here, yes. Yeah, so we need a, a wiring kit and fire mesh. So fire mesh, I know how to get That's easy. It's the wiring kit that was the difficult bit. Um, I don't think we can make it yet. Um, so wiring kit was... Yeah, so we, we need to find one more silver, and then we can do it. So silver and some kelp, and that should be pretty good. Uh, you should definitely just put down an L corridor, put a hatch on it, and one solar panel. Um, and one solar panel. Your new base. All right, I'll give that a go. So the hang on, these, these water lockers then. Um, so if I just assign that real, real quick, um, can I, can I just put these, can I put these in the pod? So can I, kind of like drop it here or does it have to be in the water? Um, use storage containers, uh, can't drop item here, use storage containers instead. Okay, so I guess we have to come out of here and then I guess I can just put it like right next to the pod on the outside. So can I just do it like there, and just have it there? Does it sink or does it float? I'm guessing it sinks down. Okay, yeah. So it's gonna si it's gonna sink down um, from what I'm seeing. Um, or does it float back up? Uh, let me see. Looks like it. Okay, it looks like it kind of stays there. Okay, so I guess we can just put these guys together and leave it there. So yeah, it'll kind of like sink down a little bit. There we go. And then I should be able to store some stuff in these instead, right? So yeah, now we can go ahead and just. Put some stuff in here, and hopefully this will stay with the pod as well. And then we can actually go out and collect some more resources, which should hopefully help us out a little bit. I need to get some food soon as well, so I'm going to go and just store everything that's just not essential in here right now. We need to go hunt, because we're going to get hungry soon. Um, so let's do that, and then we can just make another one in here. 
There you go. So yeah, now I can store some extra stuff. Um, there aren't any things that uh, sink slightly, then flows. Okay. Um, get rid of the floaters. They will wreak havoc on anything they touch. Uh, just, just, just like my life. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, yeah, those things. Uh, seed says uh, put in water. It, do it doesn't despawn. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll put these in here for now, just because I need some more room, right? Um, there we go. So that's better. See, so, yeah, I need to. Yeah, we need to go find food because we are gonna die if we get hungry again. Hang on, did I put my knife away? Um, no. So that can go in slot one. Knife in slot one. Scanner in two. Repair tool in three. Sea moth. Uh, sea glider in four. Hang on. So repair tool in number three. Sea glide in four. Here we go. That'll do. That's better. Now I got one more slot to do with what we like. Okay. All right, let's go find some food because we are going to need it. We are getting hungry, and yeah, we're not going to survive long without it. So, bladder fish for extra water as well sounds good. Let's see if we can find any. Um... So we can find like peepers or whatever, or boomerangs. Boomerangs and peepers are probably the two best ones, and boomerangs are easier to catch. So, if I find those, we'll grab them. I see a ray up there, but we can't. We can't do anything with those guys. Um... Hey, what's this? Oh no, I thought, I thought it was scrap then, I thought, but no, no scrap. Okay, I mean, oh hang on, is that an outcropping? What is that, is that sandstone? Uh, no, that's limestone, I need sandstone ones. Uh, there's a boomerang, thank you, I'll take you. Uh, let's see, there is a, another one down, another one down here, or a, uh... Oh, I can't, I can't take that one? Okay, can't grab that one. Beaver, there it is, come on, come on, come on, got it, there we go. Haha! Alright. That should be enough to keep me going for now. I used a repulsion cannon for, for catching my fish, says uh, Filsy. The repulsion cannon? Sounds like it would, like, push the fish away. <laughs> okay, let me grab one of those. Uh, right now, come in here. And let's make some food real quick with what we got. So, cook these guys up, and that should help a little bit. Um, another says, I think I'm gonna leave for a bit, gotta eat and stuff. See it in like 30 minutes. No worries, dude. Um, says, you did scan a Seema thingy? Maybe you can find more. Yeah, I do want to see if I can find some more of those as well. Um, so cook one of those. Yeah, I did see one of them. I d how many do you need to see? Is it like three of them you need to scan to make it? Or do you need a lot more than that? It's the one, the, the one with the blue, like the shallow cave. The shallow cave for Stanstone is the one with the, the one with the blue fingers. Okay. I'll have a look in there, and then we can turn that one into water, right? So we can filter water here to add some extra. And Legion says pickle. <laughs> yeah, Le Le Legion likes his pickles. He's a rather big deal. <laughs> okay, so how's my health anyway? Health is pretty much full, so probably don't need to use on those yet. Let's just go and eat these, and that should keep me full. There we go. So food's 100. Let me drink the filter water. There we go. That's better, right? Let's go down here. Okay, so yeah, we need to get the yeah we need to find some sandstone outcroppings and things like that so we can get more because what we need now is silver. Um, and I did find so I did find some sandstone outcroppings in that cave. Um, but I want to see if we can maybe find some more around here. So there might be some. Oh, hang on, there's some scrap right here. Let's go and grab that. Grab that while we see it. No, I probably don't need too much titanium for now. It's more so the. So I did need some of these for the fiber mesh, right? So let's grab like. Let's grab like two of those because they take up a lot of room, right? Yeah. So okay, let's grab four because we can make two fiber mesh with those. There we go. All right, and there's those snappy things down here. We gotta be careful of. Um, is there anything like lower down here? Any resources or caves at the bottom? No, we... Oh! What was that? Okay, oh, hello! There's a, uh, a thing right here. What's in there? That has a... a mobile vehicle bay fragment. Oh, nice! Okay, let me, uh... scan this thing. Uh, wait, that's the wrong tool. Scanner. This one. There you go. Let's go grab that one. You know what's the most unrealistic thing about this, the, this game? The salty seawater would have extremely adverse effects on the character as he spends so much time in it. Also, the character is not fat, one, not even once. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we, we're going there, are we? <laughs> okay. 
see, I think, okay, so here's the red area, yeah, so it, it looks like, because I was thinking, like, here would be good to build a base, because it's, like, kind of, it's kind of flat. And it doesn't seem like there's too much horrible stuff here. I think you can, I think there's a couple of those sand shark things, but I've not seen anything else other than that in this area. And it's quite deep right there as well, so I was thinking, like, here or near a cave would be a good place to, uh... Okay, get refill oxygen, there we go. Let's see if we can find any, uh... Yeah, so the, these guys right here is gonna be my only concern, right? Okay, let's see if we can find any... And we can, and we can find salt here as well, so water will be easy. So this area overall does seem like a decent area. But can we find sandstone here? Uh, oh, is that another... There's a pod here as well. Is that the one we were just at? Or is this a different one? Uh, this is pod 17. Okay, yeah, this is where the PDA was that we didn't get yet, so... Let's go into here. There it is. Uh, there we go. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, let's see if we can find anything down here. Uh, what is that? Oh, little... Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, we don't want to decrease our efficiency, so... So there's a lot of these floating things around here as well, but okay, let's see if I can find any uh, deposits here and see what we can find. So is this a sandstone? That looks like a sandstone. There we go. And that gave me some lead. Okay. So it looks like we find sandstone on the top of these little um, these little stacks here. So hopefully we can find some more. Uh, the gra the grassy plateau says Phil. No, never cook the fish unless you intend to eat it. It will rot within three minutes. Um, always cure it. And it will last indefinitely. Oh, okay, that's cool. So there's uh, the one stuck on the planet for months. Like, come on. Uh, read the PDA data for um, story elements. It basically just tells you how the idiots in the pod died. Oh, okay. Sandstone is everywhere, says Phil. Okay, I guess I'm just not very good at spotting it yet. <laughs> okay, let's swim down again and see if I can find some more. Because I was going to say, because the, the main place I found it has always been on the top of these things. Um, so, oh, hang on. Okay, that guy was uh, not too friendly. But that's what we need. We need to find silver, so hopefully we can find some sandstone on these. None down here. Oh, hang on, there's a big old uh, fragment over here as well. I wonder if there's anything in here we can uh, discover. What's this thing? Nothing in there? Hmm. Oh, hang on. Can we scan this thing? Seconds. Hang on. Can't scan that? No? Okay. Only 30 seconds of O2. Right, let me go up again. There we go. Go to the top. Uh, they're standing on top of them and around them. Okay, I'll have a look around them as well. Let's get some uh, O2 here. Oh, did my sea light run out? Yeah, it ran out. Okay, we need a, a battery to refuel it. Alright, let me have a look down here then and see. Right, if we take this off, swim faster. Hang on, there's a, looks like there's a couple of boxes down here. Uh, there's no, like, enemies around, is there? Uh, yeah, what's that over there? Is that just um, salvage? That is... Oh, a sea fragment. There we go. Um... Grab that one. And what's this? That is a metal salvage and metal salvage. Yeah, I kind of don't want to get the metal salvage yet. I just want to see if there's any more of the uh, any more of the sea moth fragments because I think that's the next thing we need to do to progress um, to be able to get deeper as well. Uh, what is that? That's salt over there. What is that thing? That is a. Oh, that's a. That thing's nasty. Okay, let me scan you, though. Okay, I got some data on that thing, but not too much. Is there anything in this box over here? 30 seconds. Nothing in there. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here. Right, let's go... Oh, hang on, I'm getting caught in the, uh... Caught in the debris. Here we go. Go swim up here. Here we go. 
uh, take a battery from the repair tool and put it in the uh, in the in the sea glide. How do you um how do you do that from how do you remove a battery? I have no idea how you do that. My bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. So how do I remove a battery from this? So do I have to do it from this thing? Hang on. Uh, so repair tool. That's the scanner repair tool. Can I remove it from here? Um, R to remove the battery. Okay, so, uh, so if I click on this thing, um, and then do I have to equip it in the uh, in the thing? So I equip it, um, and then use R. Uh, charge on uh, So select stagger. Okay, so remove that one. Uh, on the battery, there you go. Okay, so we do that, and then we do... So where's the battery? There it is, it's right here. So then we can do the C glide. So I'm guessing it's R to add a battery to it. So do R, and then that one. So that's the battery there, that one. There you go. Alright, there we go, got it. Awesome, thank you for that, that's definitely going to help. So R to remove batteries. Oh god, what was that? Okay, C shark. Or sand shark even. So what do we got here? Limestone. Oh hang on, there's something here. Is that shark still after me? Uh me yeah, he's after he's, he's still trying to get me. So there's something right there I wanna see if I can get. Hang on. Another seamoth fragment here. Let's go grab that. There we go. Yes! Okay, let's go see if we can find any uh, any more sandstone. I'm really not having good luck with sandstone. The one thing I'm really struggling with right now. Let's have a look on here. So that's table core right there, right? Uh, no, it's a different type. I know, the sandstone seems to blend in really well. Hang on. What's that one? Is that one there? Passing that is meters. limestone. Is oh, hang on, he's after me, he's after me. That thing is after me, get out of it. Yeah, he's after me. Yeah, I'm really not seeing much sandstone at all. I'm seeing limestone. But sandstone, not so much. Okay, let's go swim up again. Maybe there'll be some on the back of this dude. Um... Go and uh, get to the surface. There we go. Give me a little bit back. I need some more than that. So I know there are some kind of things we can find on here. I did find something on uh, these guys, so maybe this would be my best bet. It's these like glowing things, right? That we can do. Uh, the barnacles, yeah. What do we get from there? Didn't get anything from that one. Get anything from that? Don't think we did. Let's see if we can see any others on these guys. Because, yeah, it seems like these guys have at least two or three barnacles on them that we can break, which might give us a chance of something. But it looks like we didn't get anything on either of those. There's another one over here, though. We can. Looks like there's a lot of these uh, reef pack ones, so maybe we can find some on here as well. Underwater fox. How rare is this, Vazzy? I know, right? Uh, just dive into a cave. You'll find sandstone there. Easy. All right. Wait, this guy looks a bit different. He's got like nothing on his back. Okay, maybe that's like a younger one. Um, okay, so we need to find a cave. That's the first thing I need to do. Um, let me go back down here. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency Yeah, we've decreased. really got to get this. Um, there you go. That's what I want. Uh, oh, is that a sandstone there? Yeah, here we go. Here's a sandstone. That gave me gold. Nice. I need silver, though. That is a limestone. No, that's... No, wait, what was that one? No, that was limestone, yeah. More limestone there. Just gotta just explore down in these little 
crevices and stuff. But yeah, motion is uh, going down faster because we're deeper. What's that one? Limestone? Yep. Yeah, it looks like sandstone is like round earth. See, so yeah, I'm finding a ton of limestone, but... Oh my god, what is that? Okay, something, uh... Oh my god, okay, something big's out there. Okay, let's not go that way. 30 seconds. Yeah, let's not go that way. That sounds like a bad idea. Uh, go up, Reaper! <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> it's like, go up, Reaper, Max! <laughs> How you doing, Egg? He says, uh... Okay, here we go. Go down again. Oh, wait, we need some more OT. <laughs> How you doing, Egg? Welcome to the stream, dude. Safe shallow caves. Uh, could be found in caves, uh, thermal vents, creepvine caves, and small pockets and side caves. Uh, a Difa go to around 150 meters in the ground. Okay. Uh, fellow Caesar, entering dangerous territory. So, uh, your grassy plateau by me is close to the to a Reaper. Ah, I see. Well, now we're back to green mines. Looks <laughs> like it. And thank you very much for that follow, the Raven King. Welcome to the stream, and welcome to the Fox Millions. How's it going? Oh, hang on. What's in here? That has... Oh, a vehicle bay fragment. Nice. Okay. Uh, get that. Come on, don't run out on me now. There we go. Yes! Alright, let's see what else we can find down here. So... Yeah, I'm getting very far out from my pod, though. Um... Okay, well, here's, here's a cave, actually. Let's see if we can find any sandstone in here. Has my O2 meter. Okay, we got a little bit of oxygen in here. Okay, that's one of those, um... Is that sandstone there? No, that's a uh, tube coral. Hmm. There's quartz in here, but that's not what I want. Oh! Ah. Okay. Well, I guess we'll get some sulfur from wherever that was, that guy came out from. Oh, I don't know. Okay, just swim away. Swim away! Okay. Right, let me go right out from here and we'll come back down into that. There you go. Ang says, uh, if you need any information on the game, just ping me on Discord or Steam. I gotta pull the key in the head. No worries, dude. Uh, and so, what the fuck was that? Almost, uh, almost had a heart attack. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's a little cave system down here, it seems, that we can go into. Wait, what was the way in? In here, here we go. So yeah, there's a little cave system down here we can have a look in and see if we can find any... Oh my... Ah! Oh, okay. Well, okay, there's a lot of things that blow up in here. Oh, another one. Okay. Well, hey, we can get some sulfur from these, right? So, here we go. Get one of those. So that was like three of them that blew up, so we should be able to find some... Hopefully we'll be able to find some other sulfur things. Those guys are like really well hidden and then they just like pop out. So down here I'm only really seeing quartz. Okay, let me go up for air. Yeah, I'm only really seeing quartz down here. Not much oxygen at all. So you got 43% power, so... There you go. Uh, says, Ang says, yeah, you missed my K. <laughs> Oh, it got really dark. Oh, we having another... Is there another planetary eclipse going on? Hang on a minute. That... Yeah, there is. That, that is so cool how, you, how there's, like, planetary eclipses that you can see, like, through the sky like that. That is really cool. I do like that. Okay, let's wait for it to get completely light again so we can see properly. Okay. Alright, let's go down in here again. Because we did need sulfur anyway, so if we... You know, if we get sulfur, I'm not going to complain. Um... Got plenty of room, so. So there are more creep vines over here. Okay, that's back outside. Okay, so this, this cave area is not very deep. There's there's another one here. Oh, that one has none. That's probably what I already got. 
So no sandstone outcroppings in this cave at all? No, just quartz. Doesn't seem like there's any. Uh, so we've got that one. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there's much in here. Okay. So we probably want to head back to the life pod, wherever that is, just so we can... get closer to the home because we actually came quite a fair ways out. Yeah, we're like 700 meters away. Okay, and now I think we're back to the, uh, I think this area is the safe shadows again, so let me see if I can see any more. So back over there, that's the red grass area, so yeah, we'll stay over here now and we'll see if we can find any Okay, an, okay, look, there's another set of caves there, so maybe we can go in there and see what we can find as well. And Ang says, uh, just say to yourself, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so there's another little cave down here, let's see if we can find any... Anything in these. Looks like, looks like it's a cave system here. Or maybe not. Ah, disappointing. Um, right, so that's where I just was, and I only saw a couple of bits of sandstone here, so... Maybe I, can, I can have a look for more of the sandstone here? It's definitely... this is... looks like this is the best place we can get salt from, though, so that's definitely a good thing. Uh, that is... is that sandstone? Limestone, damn it. Uh, oh, hang on. What is this? What are these things? Can we scan this? No, glowy, glowy shrooms. Ooh, hang on. Okay, there is a deep cave here. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, is there anything we can scan down here? Uh, this one we can. Phil Papyrus, okay. Why do I feel like I'm about to die? A rogue cradle? Okay. There's a few things we can scan under the thing here. Okay, so this is where we probably want to go to find more things. But we're going to have a much more limited time down there as well. Uh, look for the giant coral shoot. This is not the safe shallow, says Phil C. Nothing but death down there. There's a. Ooh, the gooey mushroom biome. The safe biome, that is. <laughs> That doesn't sound very safe. Let me see if I can just look along this top section here, because it looks like there might be some things we can find just up in the top. Uh, what is that? That is... Oh, there's gold there, but we can't mine it. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely getting pretty deep here, but I don't think it's a good idea to stay down here. Mainly because of our oxygen efficiency, right? We can't really, um, we can't get the full amount of oxygen time. Yeah, see, it's already down to 30 seconds, so... Yeah, oxygen efficiency goes down very quickly. It's pretty cool, though. What's this thing right here? There's something else here. Is that? Oh, that's pod 17. We we scanned that already. Okay. Yeah, we probably want to make our way back to our um, back to our life box. I'm really not finding much out here. But yeah, maybe that maybe here though is where I want to build. Could is there a way we can set a marker or something? Because right by this, I I'm guessing that's the next area we have to explore. So maybe if we build right here. If we were to make a base here, would probably be good because then we'll be close to the. Uh, we'll, we'll then be very close to that area, right? It would probably be a good idea because at least we can refuel our air back at our base. Uh, that's limestone. Uh, is that sandstone? Oh, hello. That's it. What do we get? Ah, oh, lead. Damn it. I need silver, not lead. Not 
ones down here. Hmm. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Okay, oh look, there's some brain. Oh, look, this is convenient. There's a bit of brain core right here, so we can just refill our O2. And then we can explore in the cave right down here. So let's just like stay right here for a minute. Let our air recover completely. There we go. Uh, need to make another battery ASAP. Yeah, I think I do, yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can find any more sandstone down here. Yeah, because my seamoth is going to be. Yeah, we're literally at 4%, so. Yeah, there's not that much down here. Um, oh, hang on. There's something here. What's that? Salt? Uh, salt deposit, yeah. No sandstone. Yeah, I know those snappy things around here as well, so you gotta watch out for those. Okay, we're at 90 meters, so it's not... We're not too bad right now. Um... Yeah, it seems like that area there. Yeah, we're out of O2. Okay. Right, yeah, let's go swim back then. Because this thing is out of out of juice. It's out of juice! So let's go start swimming back to the surface. Yeah, the sea light is really nice though. Uh, Mesmer, look away! Will you try playing uh, Subnautica Below Zero, says Phil? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't have the game. Is it... Is it like the same kind of con? I'm guessing it's like a, just the same kind of concept to this one. Is it, would you guys say it's objectively be better, or you know, if we ever complete the main Subnautica, I could go ahead and do that. There we go. Um, okay, let's get down here. Okay, let me just get any more, any last bits of scrap for more titanium later. So batteries were these things, right? There you go, two of those. Because then we can redo the uh, Seek fluid intake. batteries in the sea glider. Oh yeah, we're going to get hungry and thirsty soon, yeah. Okay, so let's go and see. We did have some water, didn't we, on us? I swear we did. Yeah, here we go. Vital signs stabilizing. There you go, that'll sort us out a bit. Cool. So I do have a little bit more room, but yeah, we can make some more of the... Uh, we can make some more of the titanium and stuff like that as well. But yeah, I don't really think there's anything else down in this general area. There might be some sandstone that I just don't see at all. Yeah, I find things very difficult to see, like, when... Especially when graphics are good in games like this one, it actually makes things, uh... For me personally, it makes things slightly more difficult to see. Which is not a fault of the game, it's just my eyes are weird. Uh, what's that one? That is limestone. I don't need that. More limestone. It's like a purple area. Oh! Oh! Oh boy! Okay, the second one. Swim away! Ouch! God, those guys are so rude. Damn it! Okay, at least we can get some more sulfur. Throw the dead batteries and other trash away. Um, we need to pollute the ocean. All right, we we will pollute the ocean. Um, hang on, what have we got here? So, can you not recharge these? Um, okay, lead battery there. There you go. That's all. That's all we got there. Okay, I can get some more sulfur down here though, because that that thing that blew up will give me. Yeah, there's a sulfur deposit right here. We can get that now, right? Uh, yeah. There we go. Grab that one. Because sulfur is like valuable. Ah, here we go. What do we got? Um, what did I just get from that? That was so we got sulfur. We got gold. Did we get any silver? Uh, we only got one silver still. Damn it! I'm finding everything else but what I need. <laughs> silver is being very elusive right now. I'm finding more gold than silver, which is kind of weird. <laughs> um. Okay, let me see if there's any more... Any more things down here. Any sandstone down here? How's our O2? Yeah, we got, we got time. Let's 
see. Oh, there's one right here. Like, silver. Thank you. Grab these. Do we have any more sandstone in here? There is... is that another one there? Yep. Thank you. I'll grab that too. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to get out of here soon. Limestone. Uh, what's over here? Sandstone, here we go. Oh, I think I got one. I think I got one. I think that was it. Okay, we gotta swim out of here. Here we go. We're gonna run out of O2 if we're not careful, so let's go up here. Here we go. There we go. Whew, okay, uh, let's go over this way. Uh, can't you go to the island, says Raven. Um, where is the island? Oh, let me guess. That though, that suspicious-looking cloud over there is where it is? Or over that way? Is it, like, obscured by, like, fog and stuff? I could go to the island. Is there, is there like, sandstone deposits there as well we can go to? Um, and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's, a, it's an alien planet making Earth great again. Yay! And uh, it says, uh, you can make a seamoth to make the seamoth go to the Aurora and then, and then the islands. Chelsea says, nailed it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there's a button here as well. Press that. Wait, no, don't go up. Get back down there, fool. Get in your life, bud, fool. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. There we go. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. So one of those. Guess we're in. We're and scanning geez. for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Have you made your radiation suit yet? Yeah, we've got the radiation suit. Um, that is all good. Uh, right, so now we can do... So the, the sea moth, what does that require now? Um, so you got the sea glide, motor vehicle bay, waterproof locker, deployables. Is it under... Is it not under here? Um, unless we need to make the vehicle bay first, which requires titanium ingots. Uh, oh, okay, fabricates vehicles from raw materials. Okay, so this is what we need to make the vehicles. All right, that's fine. We can get that done at some point. For now, let's see. So we can now do, I think, the um, the rebreather. Yeah, conserves oxygen uh, when diving deeper, absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Yeah, that's what we want to go. So we definitely want one of these. That's gonna be a little bit better. There we go. Because yeah, we had the ba we had the basic one, but I think the rebreather is definitely going to be a good improvement here. Um, okay, so can we equip this now? Um, okay, so swap that one out for the radiation helmet. Oh, hang on. So the re the oh, so hold on. So the radiation helmet then we need. I guess we need the radiation helmet to go. We need the radiation helmet to go to where the other thing is but this this will be good for deeper cave diving so we probably have to keep both on us um for that which is fine uh let's go and convert the titanium as well because we got some of that so titanium and give us four of those so it's not not if you go to the aurora okay all right so we got that one um, so we got those. So yeah, so we want to make a... So the other thing we want to do is make a... Okay, so a laser, a laser cutter, ingredients unknown. Yeah, habitat builder. So that was still another wiring kit. So we need to make a battery as well. How do we make one of those? Uh, base materials, because we need a few of them for the thing you know it's a battery is this and oh we need copper ore okay so yeah copper is copper is in here I think we had a couple of bits of, did we have a couple of bits of copper in here or not um no we did not okay so let me see can I well can I turn this into I can turn these into other things as well because I know we need lubricant later right uh if you can't use that um no, if you go to the area, you can, yeah, see, you can't use that going to the area. Okay, so ve so vehicle bay first, and then the vehicles. Okay, so how do we make a vehicle bay then? Let's go and have a look at that. So that's going to be in here. Um, so that requires a titanium ingot, 
lubricant and power cell. So a power cell is this one which requires two batteries and silicon rubber. Um, and silicon rubber is made from the creep mine stuff, right? Uh, okay, so yeah, we need to make we need to make some silicon rubber first. So let's go ahead and take some of these. There you go. So that'll give me a few of those. There you go. And then come into here, and then we can make a couple of silicon rubber to get started. There we go. So that'll give me two per thing, which is good. That's a good about. Okay, that'll also save me some space in the uh, the box as well, so that's a good thing. So get some of those. I wish the um, fabricator could like see what was in your box as well. That would be really nice, but looks like it cannot do that for now. But yeah, there we go. So we got some silicon rubber in there. Got six of those. So let's go ahead and store those. So we do have some gold, which we're going to need later. Um, I don't know how useful lead is to us right now, apart from the rad suit, so we can't do that. And then titanium. We needed one titanium ingot, right? So we needed to make two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, no, didn't I have an ingot of titanium already? I thought I made one um, from earlier. Okay, let's go grab these two and turn those into... Let's kind of, like, make these into smaller things. Uh, so we do need lubricant later, so I can make some of those. So we need creepvine seeds for lubricant. Uh, you could use the empty battery for the power cells around. Oh, okay. Sounds like a good idea. Um, so for that, we need to go battery to the... Oh, we need to eat, yeah. Okay, first of all, let's go and put some extras away then. So we can put these, yeah, lubricants and stuff we can put in here now. There you go, so now i got a little bit more room to store stuff, so... Let's go and add all this stuff in here. There you go, so now i got a little bit more room. Uh, okay, we've got to go hunt stuff first, so let's go and go and sort that out, and then we can look at the uh, then we can look at getting the battery as well. So, hey, ladder fish, come here. Where'd you go? Down this fish. Okay, fine. We'll go for something else. Okay, so so I'm guessing this doesn't give us actually any extra extra O2. It's just for when we're going down deeper. So that thing we can't get anything from. Is there any... There's some boomerangs. So we'll get some boomerangs. And some bladderfish. We should be good. There we go. Got that one. Aha! There we go. Grab those guys. And we should be pretty good. Okay. That'll do for now. Let's cook these up and we should be good. Here we go. So grab a medkit out there because we're probably going to need it. And then here we go. So food. Let's get the water done first. From the bladderfish. Excellent. There we go. Um, so a giant core tube plus salt is two waters. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll see if I can... Uh, i got to go back to get some salt, but I want to get a... Um, I want to get a new battery for the sea glide first. Let's go and grab those. There we go, so we can eat all this. Good stuff. So then we can just go ahead and eat all those. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. And health right now is 60, so let's use one of those to heal up. Um, and then we can probably... So we need a copper for the battery, which I think is outside, actually. Um, we can probably drink this as well, just to help with water intake. There we go. Alright, let's go outside. And where are my chests? Here we go. So in one of these, I think we had some, we had some copper, didn't we? Let me go and deposit the sulfur in here for now until we need it again. Um, so it wasn't in that one; it was in this one right here. Here we go. So we did have some copper in here, right, for a battery? Yeah, we did. Okay, so there is that, and there is another silver right here. So there's copper there. Uh, so I need. I think one of those for the battery, and then it was two, yeah, one copper and two of those for it, because then we can make a new battery for the Sea Glide. So let me go do that real quick. So this guy will give us that. There you go. And we can swap out the Sea Glide's battery now. So now we've done that, we can come out of here, equip this guy, and then R, that's it. And then we can go ahead and use. So that battery's got zero charge, but then we can go ahead and do that one. 
which will give me more charge in it and then that'll swap out the other battery and then for the power cell we needed to do what was it for the power cell because that's the other thing we needed so that's the battery and two oh we need two batteries for the power cell okay so i gotta go out and get some more um i gotta go out and get some more things okay that's fine we can do that all right so we need to get more copper or well actually we just need some of these because i think i still have copper left so we need two more of those and then I need some copper from one of my boxes here. Um, so I think we had another copper in here, right? Yep, so we got another copper in there. So we'll grab this dude. There we go. And let me up here. There we go. So then we can get ourselves another battery. Here we go. So another one. There's a second one. There we go. Right, now we've got those two things. We can do that, what was it, with the, the uh, what was it, when it was with this stuff, right, to make a power cell, or one of those, with a silicon rubber. And now you can make the power cell. So we get that thing, that thing, and there we go. High capacity mobile power source. There we go. Make one of them. Good stuff. So that's that done. And then we wanted to get the vehicle base. So that was... Okay, it's so a power cell, lubricant, and a titanium ingot. Okay, so I think we had a titanium ingot. Lubricant we've already made. Um, so that's in here, I think. We made a lubricant, so we'll grab that guy. And then we needed a titanium ingot. I thought I made one of those, but if not, we do have some extra titanium in there and some outside. Let me just check my box outside. We may already have that. Let me check in this guy here. Did we get an ingot in here? Uh, yeah we did, one titanium ingot right there, good stuff. Right, so with that we should be able to make the vehicle bay now. And then we can hopefully f start getting stuff to make our Seamoth as well. Um, there we go. And Phil says you have the ingot in the world logger. Thank you very much dude, yep, you got it. Well remembered, so now we can go do this one. Mobile vehicle bay, here we go. Make one of those things, and here we go. All right, there we go. So this thing now, um, we need to... Okay, so fabricates vehicles from raw materials. So I'm guessing we just put this into the water now. So let's go ahead and come into here. And then here we go. So we need to just put this somewhere. So you were saying put it somewhere that's not in the... Uh, put it somewhere that's not super shallow, right? So we got to go a little further out to place this somewhere. So let's go to, let's find like a little area slightly further out. So did this stuff respawn in here? Uh, it might have done actually. Let me check in this cave. Did the sandstone deposits um, respawn over here? Maybe not. So let me go to like a slightly deeper area. So maybe like out here in the creep vines, we can put the, we can put a vehicle bay right here. Um, and then we can put it here and hopefully that'll be enough room for the, uh, That'll be enough room for it, hopefully. So then we... What do we do? Right-click it to put it there. Alright, there we go. And then we can... Climb onto this thing. And then, let's see. So what do we need now? So this unlocks... The Seam Moth. And that requires... Okay, so... That requires a lead, a lubricant. So we've got those already. We need a power cell... Glass and titanium. Okay. Um, okay, so the deposits don't respawn as well. Okay, thank you for letting me know, dude. So yeah, we need to get more titanium and the power cells, so that's more batteries. So we got to get more copper as well. Okay. Oh, so there's these little drones here as well. That's pretty cool. Um, does our vehicle bay get marked, though? Um, hopefully it does, but I don't know. I mean, it's not, it's not super far from our thing, and it should be visible further away. Uh, looks like it doesn't get marked. Can we, can we like, make a marker for it? Hang on. Uh, can we create a custom marker? Um... So, actually, there's also a signal from LifePod 3, isn't there? Hang on. And LifePod 17. Well, actually, no, we've done that as well. Can we not create our own markers here? No beacon for that. Okay. Well, that's a shame. 
Okay, well, it's not it's not super far away. We we can see it from our life pod here. So if I lose it, I just come back to the life pod, and it's right over there. So it's really not too far. Okay, so we need to find. Okay, we need copper then, um, which I think you get from limestone deposits anyway. So let's see what we can find down here. See if we can get any limestone deposits. So we need more of these for batteries. So we'll get some of these because we need another power cell, um, and we need. So we need another power cell, so we need some of those. We also need any deposits as well, so let me see if I can find any just like floating around down here. So this cave actually, th this little cave here did still have some stuff in it. So let me go and just double check. Was it this place here? No, it wasn't this one. Um, where was the tube with the cave in it? Because there was one, there was one literally right around it somewhere. Let's get my air refilled. Let's kind of just wait on here for a minute. And hopefully our air will refill. There you go. Uh, if you don't need it, you can take it back or put it in storage. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. So we can uh, we can put it in storage for later. That's good. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, hello. There is a little cave down here. So do we have any deposits in this cave? This one is not too difficult to see in, so no use getting out the sea for that. Okay, so here we go. So that gave me some titanium there. Uh, here's another one. So let's go grab that one. And Darthku, welcome to welcome to the stream, dude. It's been a little while. I hope you've been keeping well. So there's some titanium there. Let's see if we can get any copper out of any of these. There you go. There's one. So I think we need two bits of copper in total. So here's another one. That's the titanium. That one is another titanium. Well, we're going to need an ingot of titanium anyway, so that's still a good thing. So... Let's see. It's like a very small little area here, but nothing too much in it. Oh, here we go. A copper, very good. So there's our copper we need. I think that's all we need for copper and titanium. I think that's all we need. At least for at least for that area, anyway. So we should be good for it. Let's get some more air with our brain coral here. There you go. I'll sort me out a little bit. And I says, I see you are playing uh, uh, what, what to have, what to game. Yes, indeed. And I says, this is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, let's go and just let my action complete your recover here. Gives me a fairly, fairly good amount of it actually, which is nice. So just down there to recover. Is that a cave right there? No, it's just a shadow. Okay. So we should now have enough of the batteries. I've got enough of the uh, rubber as well, the silicon. The silicon rubber, so we don't need any more of that. Uh, oh, hang on, there's a little cave down here. What's in here? Um, okay, here we go. There's some more stuff here. So that is a titanium. So we still need. So one titanium ingot is like ten titanium. So we still need to get a lot of that. Um, I think we got enough of the quartz for glass, but let me let me get a little bit just in case. What the hell is that? Oh, that's one of those things. Okay. Um, let's see, so we're coming into the creep vine area. Oh, there's one of those little snapper things. Uh, let's stay away from that guy, because he's probably going to hurt us. Is there any other caves around here? There's another cave right here, actually. Okay, let me swim up for some O2. I don't want to use the... I don't want to use the sea glider unless I have to. Uh, now that guy's just, uh, dropped a load of, uh, gas over there. Dust says, uh, I beat it, so if you need help, let me know. Alright then, Dust Cube, thank you very much. Okay. Did the gas clear yet? Yeah, it did. Okay, just cleared away. Right, let's uh, not get farted on by that guy. And here we go, some more here. See, I'll get, I'll get a little bit of quartz here, because we've got, I think, a decent amount of room, I hope. Uh, yeah, we've got a decent amount of room, so I'm not collecting anything, like, large, so... Hopefully we'll have enough room for going in here. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it! Man, these things hurt. Okay, I only did a little bit of damage to me though, so that's good. So that means actually we can collect that sulfur, because we're going to need that anyway. There's the quartz there. Let's grab that. The sulfur. Grab that as well. Is that all that's down here? Just a couple of... Uh, just a couple of deposits. There's another limestone. Copper in there. Very good. So we can make more batteries. We're going to have to make more power cells, I believe, to, you know, charge the Seamoth anyway, so. 
Let's have another look down here. Oh. Okay. Is there another one down here? Oh, there it is, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Man, these things swim fast. Bet there's another sulfur in there, so we can grab that. Oh, there was no sulfur in that one? Ah, that's a ripoff. Copper in there, very good. So yeah, I'll probably end up turning most of this copper into batteries. And two of these make a glass as well, so... That's our O2. Pretty low, okay. This is a dead end. Yep, okay, this is a dead end. We gotta get out of it. Nice swim up here. Good stuff. There we go. Alright. Alright, let's swim back over here. We should be able to make a few things now as well. Uh, maybe run like hell when you see those fishes. That's good. Yeah, I try. <laughs> Says, uh, just a scratch. Swim it off. Yeah, I didn't do that much. Coffee Queen says, Max, my sis has made you a base on her ground. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so how much titanium do we have? We have four, five. Okay, so I need another five from these. So we should have another five in here. There you go, five there. Okay, so now we should be able to make another couple of batteries, a power cell. Uh, here we go. Press this thing. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regrouped Ooh. one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Oh, dry Ooh, land, eh? Coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Ooh. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Uh, second Office Keen's last broadcast. Okay, so we got a bit of a way to travel out there, though. Okay, so if we go over here, we should now be able to make the two batteries we need, right? Here we go. So two of those. And uh, says make a better oxygen tank. Uh, we've already got the um, we've already got the bigger one. Um, so I don't know if there's a better one we can make after that. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we've already we've already got this one, the high capacity one. Um, so I don't think there's anything we do. We got the fins. Is there any other better stuff we can do? I don't know. Fire extinguisher we don't really need. Rebreather we've already got. Yeah, I think we've already got the best one we can get for now at least. There might there might be um, a better one we can do at some point. Flame device that pumps air from pipes acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. I mean that could actually be this could actually be pretty useful as well if we need to go to a deeper cave or something. Um, all the others dead just to let you know. So this, I kind I kind of figured yeah. I kind of figured they are all dead. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, we want to go and get the battery, right? So we got those. So then for the power cell... Oh, hang on. We needed one of these. Titanium ingot. So let's go make some of those. There we go. And then we needed some glass, right? I think we needed two glass. There you go. Yes, we've made the radiation suit after we got there a little bit earlier. Um, and we needed the... Okay, so the other thing we needed was the silicon, right? So we need this guy here, the silicon rubber. So grab that. And I think with that we can make another power cell. So if we go into resources, electronics, we can now make the second power cell. So two batteries and one of those. There we go. Okay, so then we needed, I think it was lubricant was the other thing we needed. I can't remember what the last thing was, like lubricant, glass, um... Okay, so we'll go, we'll go swim back to the other place. Okay, we gotta get some fluids, so... I guess we will hunt some bladderfish for now. Um, hopefully I've not extinguished the uh, life population of bladderfish. No, I see one here. There's one. Thank you. Yeah, we got a go drink some stuff as well. So let me see if I can see them. Yeah, at night they're a little bit easier to see as well. They kind of they kind of like glow. There's one. Which is good. Um, there's a boomerang right there which we can have for food as well. So yeah we gotta sort our food and drink out a little. There's one there. Come here you 
There we go, we can grab that one. Right, that should be enough for water intake. And there's a boomerang right there. It's nice how the fish kind of glow a bit in the dark, which makes them super easy to grab. Come here, you. Aha! Got him. Right, then we can sort out food and water. Right, let's come back up here. Here we go. Does his uh, so go to pod 19, then go to land, and then explore a lot. I'm sure we will. We'll get there in the end. All right, let's see. So we're gonna go grab Nelson food. Here we go. So let's go and cook up the bladder fish into water. We'll just go ahead and consume all of it. Might have a little bit left over for later as well. And uh, Cobalt T123, welcome to the stream. He says, fish. Indeed. Yes. <laughs> F-I-S-H. It smells the fish. Yeah, fish. It's fish. F-I-S-H fish. Woo. Okay, so we got uh, some boomerang swell. So we are getting a bit hungry too, so let's go and grab these. We're just gonna eat all this stuff and we should be fine. There we go. Right, so let's go and consume stuff, eat stuff, do all the good stuff. Uh, right, let's go and do these. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. We got one left for later and then eat those. And health, we need a bit more, so sort ourselves out there. There we go, back to 100. Hey! Phil says, uh, bladder fish is 20 water, a giant coral tube of salt, uh, is 2 water, a 30 each. Yeah, yeah, they give you, um, it's like a, it's like, it's like triple the, uh, efficiency, right? This is really good. So, what's the last thing we needed? So we got the power cell, I need to go back to the, um, the pod and see. Right, so where is our vehicle pod thingy? Um... So that's the life pod 19, which is really far out that way. All right, guys, we we appear to have a bit of a problem. Um, I think it's over this way somewhere from there, because I remember that was to the right of it. Yeah, I've, there it is over there. I see it. Slightly too far out to see. So let me go and come over this way. Make my way back over to there. Let's see. I think there's like one more thing we needed for the uh, for the sea moth. Tells he's a glass. I think we've got, I think we've got the glass already. Let me let me just double check. So climb up on here. Uh, vehicle bay. So what was it we needed? Let me just double check. So we needed Oh, lead! Okay. That was that was literally just one piece of lead? Alright. Let's go get that thing then. Right, let's go get the lead. I think we've already got one piece of lead already, so. I think that's everything we need, and then we can get the uh, then we can get the Seamoth, and then we'll finally have a submarine, which I think is what the Seamoth is. I think it is, as far as I remember. Or is that the exoskeleton thing? I know it's like a there's like a submarine and an exoskeleton. Is the Seamoth a submarine or is it the exo the exosuit? Um, I can't honestly remember. Okay, in here, nothing in there. Okay, it's gonna be up here. Okay, so then in here we want to go for, right, unequip that so I don't take any power. And do we have lead in here? Hopefully I have one piece. Yeah, there we go, one piece of lead. Good stuff. Um, so we'll grab this guy. Perfect, there we go, one lead. Okay, so my vehicle thingy is, where is it? <laughs> there it is over there. Yeah, so it's just through this little cave here. And then we can go straight up here. There it is. I see it on the surface there. There you go. And let's get up here. Uh, you can put that in the safe shallows. You need about... Oh, you need about 20 feet of water to build the seamoth. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can move that back then. Uh, wait, where did it go? Did I just pick it up? And did I just pick it up? Yeah, I did, I think. Uh, okay, we'll move this back over then. We'll head back to a bit. 
yeah, I thought we needed a bit of a, a bit of a deeper area. So let's have a little look in the safe shallows and see where we can just deposit this thing. So where is the deepest point in the safe shallows? Probably right here is probably the deepest area, but let's have a look. I just know, maybe maybe literally right next to our lifeboat. Maybe that'll be enough. Alright, so come over here. Place that down. And then left click to get on. Okay, let's see if we can do it now. So this thing, here we go. Vehicles, Seamoth. There you go. Safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Oh, it looks like it's gonna drop it right on top of my life pod. Uh oh, there it goes. <laughs> Well, there we go, so we can enter this thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah, oh, look at this. Yeah. Well, this is cool, so now we can go out to deeper, to deeper areas and stuff. So, and don't try not to ding it up too much. <laughs> okay, so where do we have to go for our next signal? Because now I got this thing, it should be a lot easier to uh, to travel around. So E is to exit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, underwater Lamborghini. Yes. Um, and Denny says, not a good place. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> How you doing, Denny Bird? Welcome to the stream. Uh, oh, sorry, Phil said not a good place, and Denny Bird says hello. How you doing, Denny Bird? I heard something. That didn't sound nice. Um, okay, so where do we need to head to? So we need to go. Where is our broadcasting signal? Um, or does it not display signals whilst you're in the seam of? Oh, it does. Okay, so I got to find where the other one was, but I don't see where it is right now. Okay, hold on a second. Did it get turned off by accident, maybe? Um, okay, so turn this off. Keep that on. Okay, let's let's make that yellow as well, so we can find that wherever we need to go. Um, oh, is that it right there? Yeah, I see it. So life pod at life pod 19, 300 meters away. Second officer. So here we go. Make that yellow as well. Yeah, that's the one over there. Okay. Oh, there's a stalker right there. So. Wait, now where'd it go? <laughs> I lost it again. There it is, over here. 1300 meters this way. Alright. Yeah, it's a little bit hard because the uh, bottom side of the UI is like taken out. It's a little bit strange. In your PDA, you can check. Um... And come on, so in your PDA, you can check out what day it is uh, using the dialogue. Sorry for the best thing. Dude, no worries. No worries. Thank you for the advice, though. This is further than I got the last time I played it, which was like three years ago. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, this looks like it's very deep down. Okay. So we got to go this way. Okay. Okay, this is very deep underwater, it looks like. Life pod 19, 700 this way, okay. So we're now in the, uh, we're now in the grasslands again. So where is it now? Okay, still over this way, okay. Seems like my view is not quite centered in the Seamoth. Is that normal or is it a little bit of a glitch? It says you can make a, um, you can make a, uh, did you make a compass? Yeah, I didn't actually. Uh, the soundtrack in this game is so exotic. It is, it is good, yeah. Okay, ooh, hang on, this is a new biome. We've not been here yet. Oh, I don't think I like this. Oh, this isn't, uh... Oh, I don't think I like this at all. We're getting very deep now. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, okay. So we can only go down to 200 meters depth, okay. So we gotta swim... Okay, I think we gotta swim manually from here, okay. So, come out of here. 
So we need our sea glide, okay. Okay, so where do we go from here? So what is that thing right there? That looks different. Um, a gel sack, okay. Oh, that's a new item, okay. Okay, so where is our Seamoth from here? we got to make sure... Yeah, we don't want to damage the hull of our Seamoth, so we can't go deeper than this. Um, looks like our O2... Yeah, we can, and we can get back into the Seamoth for an O2 recharge as well. Uh, what's this? This is a... Oh, Lithium, but we can't get it yet. Um, okay, there's some interesting plants and stuff down here. Alright, let's see what we can find down here, shall we? Uh, it's a glitch, this game has a lot of glitches, so if you find your Seamoth uh, twerking one day, don't tell me I didn't warn you. <laughs> so enter the deep dark, well, at night time it's dark. Uh, you can uh, you can plant that to get more uh, sandstone. Oh, okay. Oh, you saw sandstone? I probably totally missed it, didn't I? baddies around it? No, okay. What do we have here? We have a PDA right here. There's... New PDA data. Grab this. Right, we're getting low on O2 though. There's also a... What's this? A, uh, a drop box? What's in here? 30 seconds. Nice. Okay, yeah, we gotta get out. We gotta get out. New blueprint acquired. Gotta swim up and out of this. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, here we go. Sea Mirth this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Okay, get inside. There we go. Phew! Okay, we got it. Uh, the red, th uh, the red thing is ruby. Okay, so I'll go for that. Lisa Maya says, "Ahoy! How are you enjoying some of the game? I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a lot, actually. Thank you very much, Lisa. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing?" Um. Let's see, but yeah, I haven't made the compass yet, but we're going to need to... Yeah, that now it feels like my uh, my UI is actually where it should be. Okay. Let's go and explore some more down here, shall we? So yeah, this stuff definitely seems interesting. So we can grab this. Um, so red stuff is ruby. Okay. Uh, oh, what's this? Some kind of jet stream here? Okay, what's that about? Uh, we should probably scan some of this stuff too, shouldn't we? So, there you go. So we got some uh, ice stalk. Okay, hopefully we're not going to find too many uh, nasty things down here, but we probably are. So there is a... can we scan that? No, so lithium deposit here. What's this stuff? Um, oh, that is lithium right there, okay. So this is where we find lithium, so I guess we're going to want to get a little bit of this. Can we scan it? No. How's my oxygen? Okay. So, wow, we're 303 meters down now. This is actually quite crazy. I just hope we don't run into any, like, leviathans here. Can we scan this thing? No? Nothing special there? Okay, I don't want to go too far away. What's this little thing? That is a creature egg. Can't scan it? No. So, blue creature eggs. I don't know what those are, but probably leave them for now. There's cause. Ah, here we go. Ruby here. Here we go. Scan that. There you go. Got some sea rubies here. Let's go grab those. Very good. Uh, the the jet stream can, can, can be scanned. Oh, it can. Hang on. I'll go and see if I can uh, go and grab that in a second. Right. Oh, it's getting very dark now. Okay. So O2 is low. Okay. Get this. Okay. Sea glide. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I swam a little too far. Thirty seconds. Okay. Where's the way out here? Uh, up here, here we go. Here we go, get into the sea glide again, or the sea must, here we go. Um, good stuff. Right, so... I don't know what ruby or anything is used in. Is there anywhere... Well, yeah, this biome is pretty dark, isn't it? <laughs> it's not the nicest area, but there we go. Um, uh, not, uh, Phil says, not a leviathan. I, I hope we don't find leviathans down here. It would seem like the place where it's, it's like everything's like there's like nothing on the surface there. it's kind of creepy okay go exit there we go right let's try again right let's get in the seamoth or the sea glide let's get down here so so we can scan this jet stream thing 
Let's have a look and see. If we can, that'd be interesting. Let's have a look. We might have something in there. Okay, an alien vent. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so that didn't really give us anything special, but still, we uh, we can scan it. Um, what's this thing? Oh, hello, there is a, uh, a, a time capsule. What is this thing? Oh, yeah. oh, we got a lot of resources in there, nice, okay. So it gave me... How full are we on resources? Not too full, so we can probably grab a few more things down there. There's another sea ruby over here, so let's grab that. Oh! Okay, I'm guessing those uh, guessing those plants hurt. <laughs> My character did not sound too good there. And that's another creature egg there? Yep. More creature eggs. Okay, oh yeah, it's very dark now. Okay. Okay. Let's go make our way back up into here to get some uh, an air refill, then we can explore a little bit more. Welcome um, aboard, Captain. So I don't know if sure, but often you get bits of important info. Um, uh, Phil C says I should, should have scanned that. Um, okay, hold on. So we've got now, yeah, so we got some, those are voice logs, but we want these, right? So here we go, yeah, life heard, uh, this is the one. Okay, so let's go play this. Keen, this is Aurora, come in. This is Keen, life pod detached, okay, planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! Well, that doesn't sound too good. Uh oh. Um... Diversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Hmm. Okay, and we got a cr uh, 17 crew log as well. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. All right, let's see what else we got here. So we got ruby. What does this do? A hard lover gemstone made of aluminium oxide. Rubies may be processed in order to leverage their structural integrity in advanced vehicle construction and modification. Okay, uh, essential for advanced fabrication. Nice, okay. So yeah, there's a couple of cool things we can find down here. Uh, Mr. PDA in the life pod. Oh god, I'm going to have to find that again. <laughs> I thought I got that. Um, or oh, was there one inside it as well that I couldn't get? Um, okay, that's fine. We can go down and have a look as well. Uh, so you got the blueprint for a bigger air tank now, but you need the modification station uh, to make it. Ah, okay. I don't necessarily know if I want to go. Uh... Wow, it's very dark here. Um, it is very, it is very, very dark here. This is not, this is not fun. Um... Might want to wait till daytime to do anything because it's very, very dark right now. So why don't we like read some stuff while we wait for it to be day? Because it's, it's super dark down here. My seamoth only has a a different amount of uh, stuff here. Um, let's see. So so we're on day ten. We survived ten days. That's not bad. Not bad for like a, a rerun through. And thanks to all you guys for the help as well. Um, so is there any other interesting things in here that we can read through? Um, Exploitable. What have we got here? So, creepvine seeds. What are these eye stalks, anyway? Um, a cave dwelling tuber dotted with luminescent photosensitive eyes. These eyes may in some way uh, direct the twisted growth of the stems themselves, possibly in reaction to other light sources, proximity of cables, or other environmental conditions. Okay. Uh, the function of the distinctive curled leaves of the aquatic plant is not immediately clear. It's possible the leaves useful in low light conditions, or that they're designed to channel water currents through the main body of the plant, thus enhancing nutrient take-up. Okay, so there's, there's lots of these little things we can do as well. Um, 
I feel like that's that's an important one. All right, I'll see if I can go down and see what we can find in a minute. Redwort, a common plant adaptable to many different environments. The redwort is a staple plant. Of part of the diet of many smaller herbivores. Okay. So the only ones we can really take advantage of is the creep vines and acid mushrooms. Um, survival package, additional technical, survival checklist. Um, so administer first way, take inventory, survey, we've pretty much done that one. Check life off of damage, we've done all this pretty much. Maintain physical and, and psychological health until rescue, which is... <laughs> this information is meant as a general guide. In the first instance, you should always follow the advice through PDA, which has taken your particular circumstances into account. Okay. Um, oh yeah, time capsules. What, what are these things? So, let's see. So, the thing that's going me through my expression, if you found this, that means that I'm far away. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so there's a couple of cool things in here as well. So yeah, it's kind of interesting to, um, you know, just read up on some of the creatures and things as well. That's pretty cool. Um, is there anything that we haven't read through yet? Um, here we go. Alien alien data. Here we go. So scan data from the alien vents. Here we go. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Huh, okay. Interesting, so peepers don't mind those things. Um, okay, hang on, we've got a load of things here. So, the Cyclops, what is this? Um, the Cyclops is the most popular and reliable deep sea submersible in the galaxy. By comparison to the competition, it can be co uh, it um, it can be crewed by just one pilot. Uh, so three speed manual piloting controls and forward oscillation deck for precision maneuvering. Uh, Translation maintenance, uh, recharging of scouting vehicles. Oh, okay, extensive storage solutions in the keel hold sections. Oh, nice. So this is a vehicle with storage in it. Cool. Um, onboard AI for threat detection. Extensive customization options. Um, higher speed generate additional noise, which may attract undesired attention. Power consumption. Okay, so flank 100. Silent running mode may be activated in conjunction with any speed setting to reduce noise close to zero at a, at a substantial power cost. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we can actually make a better vehicle. Uh, so it's just info, like pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. Left by players that finish the game, they're supposed to to put useful items in it for whoever finds it. Oh, that's cool. That's really nice. But it's not very useful when you get one uh, for the floaters in the quote. Why not? <laughs> um, okay, so ratings: uh, eight meters a second top speed. That's pretty good. Uh, replaceable power cells. Very large dimensions, though. That's that's a huge vehicle. Yeah. Um, the Cyclops does not feature habitation quarters. It's recommended the captain draw up and approach to decide who gets to sleep in the corridor each night. <laughs> um, hull damage and high speeds increase fire risk. Okay. In the event of full system failure, this vehicle will sink. Ah, okay, so if, if, the, de if the vehicle is damaged, it will sink. Um, may be modified by installing upgrade modules to the access point mounted on the wing. Okay, so we can actually give this uh, cargo storage as well. So it's got collision compensation. Um, can also give more defensive things as well. So can we make this so it can go deeper? Or do we need to make the bigger... I'm guessing we need to make the bigger submersible before we can go deeper. Right, is it light outside now? Yes, it's pretty light outside now. So let's get out and have a... Let's have another little explore down here. Got to find where that life pod was. I have no idea where it was. So there's the alien vent. So I think the pod was from when I was looking at. I think it was over here actually. Yeah, I think it was this way. That was our uh, power 56. Yeah, I thought it was over this way here, but I guess not because I, I remember I could see like a. Uh, just a single exit point from here, but let's go and continue exploring down here and see what else we can find as well. Defer is definitely a possibility. You can go up to 800 meters with the upgrade depth modules. Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, so yeah, we need to make some of them then for better undersea traversal then. Okay, that sounds good. 
Let's see what else we can find down here. Um, any other useful things? There's lots of creature eggs down here. Okay. Oh, what is that? Okay. Oh god. Oh my god, what is that? Um... Okay, there is some kind of threat down here. I don't know what that was. Okay, they seem to be occurring near the ceiling, though. Wait, are they, like, te are they teleporting? Ew, I don't know if I like this. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Because that looks like a new biome entirely, though. Let's go back to the seamer. There's also some salvage around here we can look at, too. Oxygen. Let's go ahead and get some oxygen real quick, because we're going to run out very soon. There we Welcome go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, that is not a that's not a Latin. Creature eggs will be more important to you later in the game. It's up to you whether to store them until then or not. Okay. Right, so... Where was that debris that we we just found? Okay, there was, there was definitely something teleporting then. That was kind of, it was kind of weird. It was like, kind of phasing into and out of existence. That was kind of cool though. Um, okay. Go see if we can find that, um... Go see if we can find where that scrap was again. There was some salvage down here, so hopefully we can find a bit more. Here it is. So... <laughs> That made me jump. And Tyrone Shoelaces, um, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciated. Welcome to the Fox Millions, dude. Okay, let me see what's down here. Anything in these boxes here? That one doesn't have anything in. Okay, we, we probably don't need the light here, so we can save power on our thing. Is there anything to scan in this area? That box is also locked. Anything inside there? No, so lots of lots of pieces of the aurora here, but I don't know if there's anything particular to scan. Oh, here we go. A moon pool fragment. Okay. Scan that thing. It doesn't seem like there's much here. Just a couple of uh, couple of pieces of debris, but nothing really substantial. Hang on. Anything under this? No. Uh, oh, hang on. What's this? A floodlight. Okay, we can scan this, can we? Yeah, here we go. It says the moon pool is a place to park your scene with. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, new blueprint. There we go. Let's see what else over here. Is this something? A a command chair. Interesting. Go and scan that thing. Yeah. New blueprint acquired. Thirty seconds. Okay, right. We need air. Where is uh? Or Seamoth over here. Okay. Oh well, that's actually quite far. Okay, let's go and zoom down this way. There we go. Uh, Toxic fluid intake immediately. Okay, wait. I can't get in this thing. There we go. Right. I need to go back to. I need to go back to base. So we'll come back here later. Yeah, we'll come back to this area at another point. Yeah, we'll have to see about how we can um, upgrade this as well. See if we can make it um, any better. But yeah, let's get out of here. I do not like this biome at all. It's like very... This is like a very dead kind of area apart from underneath the, uh, the area there, so... Stuff there. Okay, there's a big old, uh, big old Leviathan thing there, but he's a friendly one, luckily. So yeah, let's go back this way. It cracks me up how the sound effect is the same whether you found a chair or a vehicle storage. I know, right? It's like you found a chair, yeah. Um, 
So if you'll see uh, the moon pool. Oh, oh one's has power. Okay. It says um, you can turn the beacon back on uh, for 19 for your PDA. Do you have a repair tool yet? Yes, we have a repair tool. Alright, so let's make our way back through here. How is power? Um, 89, okay. Okay. Alright, so we need to go and get some drink and stuff, so we need to find some, at least for now, some bladder fish. Let me see if I can find any, because I haven't got any salt deposits yet, so. Well, I know we can get some salt, but for right now, bladderfish is just easier to uh, easier to hunt and find. So, let's grab some of these guys. Cause they're relatively easy to grab. So, hey, where'd you go? Come here, you. Gotcha. Aha. Yeah, we gotta make sure that thing doesn't fart on us as well, because he will uh, release some farty spores, and that will never be good. Um, see the hidden number on the screen. Uh, might be time for a repair. Okay. Yeah, the hull took a lot of damage just from going down to that area, so... Anything down here? <laughs> yeah, I love how you can swim through this. Right, so I've only got two... I've only got two bladderfish so far. I know, lady, I know, we gotta go get water. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll make some water now. Just to make you be quiet. Yeah, we're taking some damage now, so. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. 59 is not a good score, says Filthy. Hit. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna start taking some damage. Yep, there we go. Seek fluid intake. Alright, alright. I'll go drink, lady. I'll go drink. Here we go. Was that ready? Minus one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's minus one, guys. So what have we got in here? Uh, a keep calm poster. Interesting. Oh, lots of uh, a prawn suit poster. Eh? Interesting. Um, a miniature version of the Aurora. What else have we got in here? Arcade. Uh, arcade gorge choice. Okay, we've got a couple of interesting. Uh, gel sacks. Um, oh, you can you can eat those. Oh, so do these mean like a do these make like a permanent source of food then, or are they using something else? Um, tell me uh, why I use this game as my main source uh, for ASMR. That's fair. Uh, what's this thing here? An, an ion cube, high capacity alien energy source. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So, can we craft anything new now? Uh, let me have a look. So, if we go to uh, if we go to the fabricator, can we make any new things now under resources? Uh, advanced materials, here we go. Um, okay, aerogel. Light, porous, dry gel, high heat insulation. Huh, okay. I guess you can craft some of this. I don't know if it's useful for anything, but you can make it. Uh, anything new in electronics? Not yet. Under uh, tools now, what else have we got new for tools? Uh, there's a habitat builder, laser cutter. We still have to find the laser cutter and the propulsion cannon ingredients. Um, anything in equipment? Can we get a, an even better O2 tank now? As uh, a high capacity one. Is there anyone Calorie better? Intake recommended. <laughs> we are. We is hungry. So there's nothing really better there that we can get right now. So it's like it's it's like it's given me extra things to be able to craft, but I'm not sure what else we can make with those things yet. Because, um, yeah, it looks like aerogel is the only thing we can really use at this point. Hey, you Missy? Welcome to the stream. Um, gel sacks are not a good source of food, but in a pinch they could give you a few more seconds to get to some food. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I guess we want to just turn these into aerogel. Seems that's what they're used for. Uh, you need the modification station to make the bigger tank. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Um... So, where do we find the modification station? Do we, do we craft that in... I'm guessing that's part of a base build we need. Okay, so yeah, we, we need to get this base building uh, done, stat, but we need to hunt as well to eat, so. 
Let's go see what we can find. Um, so let's see if we can find any uh, any small fish around the area. Hopefully we can. Um, let's see. Uh, look at look in your PDA. Hold on a second. Let me get this PPA because I got to eat. So grab that guy. Let me just get some food real quick, just so I have enough uh, food. Oh, get that one. Haha. -ha. Um. Oh, where'd you go? Come here. You will be mine. I will eat you. And there's one more down here. The peeper's like the best food we can get, so. Uh. Or the boomerang is probably another good one, so. Ah! I try, I try and get it, and then just like, I like turn last minute. Here we go. Haha! -ha. Gotcha. <laughs> Nice nutrient rich eye. There we go. This is, uh, I'm still getting uh, float flashbacks. Uh, I always turn the, the food and water off. I'm lazy, says Lizzie. No, that's, that's fair. It's like if you just, I guess if you just want to explore without worrying about the survival aspect, that's useful. Hello. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Alright, there we go. So we get a few of those, and then I can just eat all these guys. There we go. Aha! Om, nom, nom. Stabilizing. There we go, that's better. So we're pretty much full on food now, it's just water that's not quite so good. So check the PDA, right? So let's see what's in here. So. These are the blueprints that we've got. Let me see. So, advanced materials. Let me double check here. So, this is. Rebreather, compass, floating air pump. This is the high capacity O2 tank there. So, how do we make a. So, this is all the tools. Machines. Here we go. Waterproof locker. We can't make anything else from there. Um, ultra high capacity O2 tank. We need a. Oh, okay, we need... Oh, we need one more lithium. Oh, we didn't quite get enough lithium, so I'm going to have to go back and get some more. Uh, but yeah, that gives us that. Um, so the Cyclops engine blueprint. Uh, what else can we get here? So base pieces, foundations. Okay, so we need titanium and lead for these. Um, compartment, we need... Okay, well, this is just pretty much titanium, I guess. That's fine. So I guess the only thing is we need a foundation and one of those. And then base rooms. Okay, so we got a moon pool, which we've got multi purpose room. I guess we need to find some of those as well. And then base walls, we've got hatches, windows, a solar panel. What do we need for that? That room needs quartz, titanium, and copper. Okay, so bases are pretty simple. Um, so you got ladders, uh, bioreactors. Okay, and you can actually make fabricators for your base as well, which is cool. Uh, which we do need more table coral for as well, so there we go. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, I feel like uh, you don't have the blueprint to make the mod station yet. Okay, yeah, so we still got to find that as well. But yeah, then we can make... Um, oh, and we can make wall lockers and stuff like that as well. Okay, that's cool. So we can actually make additional things once we've done all that stuff. But yeah, we still need to... Okay, so we do need to get some more lithium. Uh, but I need to store some of this stuff I got from the... Uh, some of the stuff I got from the time capsule, we probably need to store away. Um, for now, so let's go into here and let's go and add a few of this extra stuff and things to here so we can just add all these. So you've got some lithium, the aerogel we can store in here. Actually, this um this ion cube, can we can we add that into our, our sea glide? Can we do that? Let me see. Hold on. So if we go R in here, can we add... No, we can't add it there. Okay. Okay, so we can't we can't add that into it. Okay, so that's not really of any use right now. Um, so let's go and store some other stuff just down in here because yeah, we don't we don't need this unless just wasting space right now. Um, the aura miniature, yeah, all this uh, extra stuff we just you know we don't we don't need it. So that's that one, and then we can go into this one and do the same, and then we can just add a little bit of extra stuff into here, yeah, because all this stuff we just you know we don't need it on us at this point. Um, so let's go and add these in here as well. 
I'm sure we'll get more of this stuff as we find more, but yeah, we need to actually, you know, keep getting some more of these, uh, keep getting some more resources too. So yeah, this stuff can just sit in here. Um, how's our health anyway? Health is like 70, so you probably want to use one of these. There you go. Good stuff. So how do we, um, how do we repair this thing? Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, because yeah, we're only at 59. Uh, some some people will arrive in 35 minutes. Okay, so how do we? And says our Anana says that you can make an ion battery, but forget how. Um, oh, we just need our repair tool. Okay. Oh, I need to make another battery for that thing because I used the other one in the uh, in the scene. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so you just gotta do it. Do it from the outside. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Um, let me see first though. Okay. See, so yeah, I need to come out of here then. I need to make another battery then, so for that we are going to need copper and we're going to need these things as well, so let me get one of those. And I, I believe we already have some copper nearby as well in one of our storage boxes. So let me get one of those and we can make battery. So we did have some copper in one of these. But where was it? This one? Uh, copper, here we go. Yeah, I gotta make a uh, a new repair tool. Okay. Oh, is this thing damaged? What is... I have no idea what that's meant to hold. Oh, that holds the fire extinguisher, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, I was like, hmm, what is this? There you go. So repair tool. Um, so point your repair tool and right click. Okay, cool. So let's go and do a new battery because I need to use one of those. There we go. Okay, so once we've done that, then we can go to the repair tool, and then we're going to exchange for a battery. There you go. Chuck that in there. Good stuff. All right. All right. So let's go over here and repair this thing. So get out, Mr. Repair Tool here. Here we go. There we go. Nice. All right. Alrighty, we are back inside. Okay, good stuff. So now we should probably go and explore some more. Um, so we were saying as well in the PDA we can re-enable the uh, we can re-enable the beacons and stuff. So let me go and put the one on that I want to go for. Uh, signal for life on nineteen. Three hundred meters. Okay. So hopefully that's now given me back where it is. Okay, let's go back over this way. And we're going to go back to that biome we were just in. And we're going to see if we can harvest any more lithium as well. Good as news, Luther. Indeed. So you you have a seam of stuff but no base for storage? Yep, pretty much. I've been really struggling to find silver. So I got everything else but no base. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. I've done everything probably very backwards. Okay, so we can only go 200 meters for now. So yeah, we cannot go down too deep. But yeah, I was, I was thinking a good spot to build our base would actually be like out in this area because it seems to have more, it seems to have more valuable resources and it's closer to, it's just closer in general to Better, a better area, right? Okay, so we've got to go back down here because we missed a... Uh, we missed one of the PDAs down here that apparently we need, so let's go and grab that. So we cannot go deeper than 200 meters yet, so we're going to kind of just even off here. I think we'll, we'll even off at like 190 here. There we go. There we go. Now we can be. Now we can ensure that we don't take any damage. Okay. So the pod is literally, literally right below us from this point. Okay. 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 So Seamoth is marked, correct? Um. Hopefully, yes, it is. Okay. I 
I just want the light. There we go. Right, let's see if we can find this, um... See if we can find this life pod again. So there's the vents, so it was over... It's 300 meters, so it's down this way somewhere. Um, there's a cave... Oh, hang on! There's a cave... Can we go up and in through here? Yeah, this is where we gotta go. Okay, let's go down here. It says, uh, that's impressive, actually. <laughs> Why, thank you. Oh, hang on, is that sandstone? There we go, and got some gold in that one. Nice. Okay, so apparently there's a pod in here that I missed, so... Let's go in and see... What I missed. So apparently there's a PDA on the floor... That I missed in here. thing here. No, I did get that one. And, ah, there it is. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Good stuff. Right, there we go. Yeah. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. So we're probably going to need to go back to our Seamoth now because we're low on O2. So let's get up and out of here. 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds, okay. Okay, so we weren't, we weren't too far away. Yeah, I want to explore this farm a little bit more just to see what we have in here, because that's going to be pretty cool as well. Um, there you go. So, I'll do you now look up. Yeah, exactly, there we go. Uh, it definitely has a knack for survival games. It's like there's no learning curve to speak of. <laughs> I mean, I do have the slight advantage that I've... You know, I do have a slight advantage that I've um, played this game one time before a very long time ago, so I'm not a complete newbie to the game, but... Okay, oh, what's that down there? Just a school of fish? Okay. Let me go down a little bit more. Let's go, let's take the submersible over this way a little bit. Let's go and round it off around 190. Here we go. Okay. Let's swim down from here and see what we can see. Um, ooh. What are these things? Are they dangerous? Can I scan it? An anchor pod, okay. Doesn't seem like they do anything? Okay, what's down here? There is a glowing plant down here, we can probably scan this. Uh, membrane reef, okay. Scan that as well. Oh, there are peepers down here, okay. Okay, let's try not to go too far. I just want to kind of hang around this area. So, okay, we got some weird formations down here. I'm not sure what they're about. I really want an anchor pod lab for my house, that'd be cool. What you should do, though, friend, is use the habitat builder to make a couple of platforms, put the round room on it with a solar panel and then a few chests, and it'll make things so much easier in storage for you. Yeah, I definitely want to have a look at that. Yeah, literally, the only thing I've been struggling with is silver. Um, but there is some lead there. Okay, we might find some more sandstone deposits down here. Okay, and, and here, actually, would seem like a fairly decent place to build, because, also, I, I'm really trying to think of, like, star locations to build. There are... There are a lot of, uh, there is a lot of life around here, so we, we shouldn't get uh, too much of a difficult situation with food and water. What is this? A uranite crystal, hello. Okay. 30 seconds. There's some gold there, nice. Right, let's go back to, um, this area wouldn't be too bad to build in. It doesn't seem like it's dangerous at the moment, but then again, I could be very wrong. I'm literally on the outskirts of this biome. There could be some very nasty things here. Let's get back inside. Refill our O2. Here we go. King Claim says, a fishy fox, indeed. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can find any more sandstone outcrops down here. But yeah, this area does seem to have at least, you know, edible life down here, so we could we could potentially sustain ourselves in this area. And there's lots of uranite here too, so we could probably pick up some of this. Uh, is this sandstone? Uh, oh, a shale. 
remember the materials um, you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. But well, I'm screwed. Seek fluid intake. Oh, we got a drink. Okay, we probably need to go back soon then. Uh, what's this? Nothing there. Okay, so this area is definitely interesting. There's a lot of cool things down here. I'm not seeing any big leviathans here. It definitely seems like there's only a, an array of small creatures here. But then again... Well, we're going to need these later anyway, so let me, let me grab this guy. Let's try not to swim too deep. Is there any other things down here? Uh, there's rubies here too. Let me grab that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to swim too far into this one. It's actually quite a cool looking biome, but... I'm guessing by the sound of the ominous music, there is something very bad in this area. Just just judging by the background music, right? It sounds very foreboding, very kind of scary, so I'm guessing something big lives down here. Alright, uh, Seamoth. Or Sea Glide. Let's go and speed up to here. Here. There Captain. you go. Diamond. Um, the advantage of not building right away, you can scope out the area for minerals. Yeah, exactly. It seems like a good idea. That's why I only make the room with the storage. I look for a better base place later. Some people like to build more than uh, more than one base, six of one. Um, some other kid just loves this ominous music, says anonymous. I know, right? Okay. Oh, we can actually um, turn on and off the lights with right click. Okay, didn't know that. Right. Let me. Okay. Let me have one more look down here just to see if there's any other useful things we can find, because it looks like we might find some more sandstone in this area. Uh, what is this? Is this something I can scan, this this plant right here? Nope, nothing interesting. So I don't know if I, if, if I touch these things if they hurt me, so I don't really want to do that. Just to be sure. Um, let me look for any like outcroppings and stuff down here. Yeah, I don't want to swim, like, too deep. I just want to go... I think the max depth I want to go is about 300 meters, just because I don't know what's down here. It's very blue down here, and very eerie. Okay, yeah, I kind of want to level off at this area. There's more rubies here. Um, so is this down here quartz, or is this diamond? Let me see. That is... Uh, diamond, nice. New resource. That there is quartz though, so quartz is easy to get elsewhere, so I kind of want to just scope out the rare resources. Yeah, we got to get back. We've got to get back. There is a sandstone outcropping here though, so let's hope we get some silver from this. That was lead, I think. Um... Okay, oh, I can scan myself. Huh? Self scan complete. Foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. Ooh. No adverse effects detected. Right, let's go and grab some of these. Symptoms. Okay, well, it looks like we got some foreign bacteria on us, though. That's not good. Uh, there's another diamond right here. Seconds. Right, let's go grab this and swim up. There you go. Right, yeah, we got a hundred meter. Got a hundred meter swim, so we need to get out of here now. Right, let's go back up here. Yeah, we need to go back and uh, give ourselves some oh, some. Uh, H2O, because we are getting low on that, so let's get inside here, and let's about face, and we shall head to wherever our pot is, I have no idea. Let's just make our way up, and then we should hopefully find it. I'll spiral up until I see the symbol. Oh, there's something big over there. Okay, oh, what is that? Okay, hang on. Oh, is this the island? It is! Okay, so that's where the island is. Nice, okay. 
Right, I've got to get back though. Uh, where is home? Home is, that's where the island is. Home is this way, right. Okay, let's get over here. And it says, a Murphy's Law for Sonorica. If you swim by something and say, nah, I don't need that right now. You absolutely will need it, and most likely right away. <laughs> yeah, we got to get out of here though, because I'm going to get thirsty very soon. Luckily, I did catch a couple of ladderfish, so hopefully that will give me enough water to sustain myself a little bit. Be yeah, we're over a kilometer away from home base, so we've really got to get back now. Oh, okay, that's just a... Uh, that's just one of those other leviathans. We don't have to worry about those guys. But yeah, I reckon that um, that that place there for a base would also be pretty good. Primarily just because it's um, it seems to be around a lot of valuable materials. But then I don't know. Maybe I want to set one up in the red grassy area instead, which is like right here, because this area right here would also be fairly decent, I think. Because over here, I know there's like some other caves um, that go deep down. And actually, that's something I should probably do is try and find that cave again oh, once I've. Oh, okay, we're we're getting hurt. This is bad. Yeah. Okay, oh. so back to the creep vein. Come on, go on, go on, go on. How much damage is it doing? About five percent each. Oh, that's not good. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we should we should just about survive this. I think we'll just about survive it. Yeah, probably need to pack some water for longer journeys for next time. Yeah. There, okay. Fabricator. Um, where is it? Over here. There you go. This water. There you go. Grab those. Excellent. Imagine death from first. I know, right? All right, roll. Um, visit the island soon. Oh. There's basically for stuff. Oh, we just died. <laughs> no. So close. Oh well. We literally died from thirst just. Wow. That was that was so close though. That was so close. <laughs> um okay, we also got some uranite and stuff as well. Oh, that was so that was so close. So close. It's it's crazy we're in urine and ocean, says Missy. I know, right? <laughs> says uh, it, it's you, not the boat. Okay. So did I actually get any silver from any of that stuff? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh well. First death, guys. There we go. Let's go and grab these. Um, can we make any more advanced materials from what we got here? No. Okay. So yeah, I need. I really need to find some silver so, for some stuff. So let's get down here. And let's go and try and find. Well, I need food as well. So let's try and find some. Uh, Hopefully I didn't lose too many items. I don't think I lost anything this time, that's good. So I know sometimes when dying you lose items, um, but I don't think I lost anything. Maybe because I was like right by the base. Hey, can I attack this thing? Come here. <laughs> Have that, come here. I want to make you bleed. Come here. <laughs> no stamina in this game, bitch. I can swim after you all day. Eh, I guess not. Whatever. Um, okay, let's look for more peepers, bladderfish. There you go, grab that guy. One thing I find really weird in this game is that you right-click to attack. I always found that a really weird concept. Okay, he didn't release any, uh, he didn't fart, so that's a good thing. Okay, there's a boomerang over here, let's go get this guy. Uh, that's a shame. I was, I was so, I was so far out that I couldn't, um, like, just couldn't save myself. That's such a shame. But yeah, we'll definitely have to go to that island as well and have a look over there as well. Uh, green poop fish, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, that fish likes to fart on you. Um, yeah, there's another one here. Let me get a few of these to make water. 
And then... Boomerangs. Come here. Okay. Oh, is that a peeper I just saw? Yeah, it is. Come here, peeper. You you have the most you have the most food. Don't make me get my sea glide after you, you bugger. Okay, whatever. Um, so we got some. I mean, I could always cook up the bladder fish, even though it's not as good to cook. Oxygen. All right. Well, let's go cook up what we got. Here we go. Good stuff. Um, so there's a uh, right mouse button to do stuff messes me up all the time. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a little bit of a weird concept that you would use the right mouse button for that. Uh, oh, hang on. We're getting a broadcast. Here we go. Hello? I priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. No. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright. But yeah, we'll definitely have to go and check out the island as well. I have below zero, says Missy. Oh, nice. Uh, just j j just eat the bladderfish raw, says... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we can do that. Um, anyway, that gives us less water. That's not gonna... That's, that's not gonna work, is it? There you go. But yeah, I guess it gives you food at the expense of water, but definitely better to... Uh, cook these things um so let's go because when you when you cook this thing uh low calorie count thankfully odorless when you cook these to make food though how good are these i don't think they're very good but they're probably better than nothing so um and it says why is why is the panel from that uh what is the panel from that thing on the floor um i don't know hang on let me cook this up and we'll have a look. Let me see. Um, oh, this this panel here? Oh, that's the thing that smacks you in the face. Um, do we do we need to repair that? Oh, I, I never repaired it. There we go. <laughs> Should probably do that. Nyeh. There we go. Everything's repaired now. Yay! Alright. I don't think that really did anything, though. Um, no, it didn't really do anything. But there you go. How you doing, Hell? Welcome to the stream. So, okay. So, let's see. How much does Bladderfish actually fill you up? It's plus 15. It's not bad. Uh, and it does give you a tiny bit of water, too. So. Om nom nom. There you go. Now I got spare water for later. <laughs> okay. Can I store anything in here now? Um, let me see. We don't have much room in here, but I guess I can store the lead. Yeah, listen, I'm finding lead and gold. I'm not finding silver at all. It's kind of crazy. Um, so you and I, I'm guessing, um, yeah, highly radioactive material. I'm guessing that's going to give you some kind of nuclear power source later or something. Okay, so let's go to our storage boxes outside here. And here we go. Grab these, and we'll just add some extra stuff into the storage here. Might need to make a third one of these, actually. Yeah, I definitely need to make a third storage. Yeah, I, d I do need to do some kind of base to add some storage into, don't I? That would be very, very useful. Uh, but yeah, for that, I still need to find... I still need to find gold, damn it. And right now, I'm not having much luck. Maybe there'll be some on the island, though. Maybe there'll be some stuff over on the island, on the dry land there. So maybe we'll go and make our way over to that. And see how we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. So rendezvous point is thing pretty much just behind us here. Uh, I don't see the marker now. <laughs> Damn it! I get in this thing and I lose all track of the markers, uh, which does not help. This way, right? There you go. So we'll make our way back over this way and go from there. Let's see, mistake. Everything you just cooked, you have to eat. Otherwise, it'll go wrong. No, I know. I, I just say it all straight away. You did repair it before, didn't know it could get damaged again. Um, oh, I did, I did repair it before? Hmm. I'm not sure what damaged it then, but yeah, let's go and make our way over here. Because yeah, if there's like an island here, we can go ahead and have a look on the island. Let's 
So yeah, we'll just make our way pretty much along the surface. We don't need to really go deep down or anything. Yeah, we'll just make our way over here. So yeah, I'm guessing... Okay, so yeah, these, these big ominous looking clouds, I guess, I just, are just uh, masking where the island actually is, which is kind of funny. They really did not want me to discover this island, did they? Well, I found it! Right over point is a different island than the one you saw earlier. Oh, okay. Well, we can probably go there anyway. I'm sure we'll find something good there. Okay. Oh, yeah, so it is. Interesting. I wonder if it's like a floating island like the other one. Let me kind of go down a little bit and see. Uh, yeah, it is. That's so strange. Can we like go... Oh, we can actually get into the middle of the island like this. Oh, hang on. Okay, come on, stay, stay on the surface, come on. Okay, that'll do. So we can just park our sub in here. Uh, now we can have some fun. Go to the rock where the signal is, walk up to the top, and wait for a sky ray to land. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to die if I do that, right? Um, and just last, if you've been behind the big ship yet. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been behind the big ship, Jessel. I've definitely been behind there, and I saw something very nasty back there. I don't want to go back there. Oh, that's my shadow. Oh my god. I thought I was like, uh, I thought I was like someone coming to attack me then. I was like, oh god, do I have to like fight my own shadow or something crazy? Um, okay. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Let's see, so there's some caves up here. I wonder if we can find any deposits up in these caves too. Okay, can I not run up this? Okay, there we go. Wow, okay. Land travel is definitely a lot more limited than water travel. Uh, ah, come on. Really? I can't get out of this? Are you kidding me? Wow. Um, how is one meant to, like, get up here? Do we have to go around this way, maybe? Here we go. Okay. First thing, first negative I'm going to say about Sinodica. Walking feels really janky. Can we scan this? Nope, can't scan that. Anything we can scan? This thing? A Jaffa Cup. <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, let's see what we can find up here. A voxel shrub. <laughs> okay, so there are there is some land life here. Not sure where exactly we're meant to go, but we can have a look. Uh, oh, we're gonna. I'll fall down here into. A... Oh, ouch. Okay. Okay, I didn't do that much damage. Okay. So we've got like an outer beach over here as well. So is there any like things we can collect on this island or any resources or anything? I don't know. Let's see. Now I'm thinking of Jaff Capes the segment. I know, right segment? And Froxy says, uh, Bug Boy burned out on antlines? No, not at all. I just wanted to play something a little bit different for Sunday. Grounded doesn't really do well for me on Sundays stream-wise, so I thought I would do a different game instead and see if that did any better. And it definitely looks like it is, which is a good thing. You know, just reading my analytics and stuff, and I was like, maybe I should play something else on Sundays just to see how that's going to go down. And yeah, I think it was, uh, I think it was a good move. But yeah, there's really not much here, so maybe we just got to follow this path up here. Is that an outcropping I can harvest there? No. There's not going to be, like, any horrible things up on this island, is there? There's going to be, like, a sky leviathan or something that comes to kill me, right? Uh, there is a, a grub basket. Okay. This is, uh, yeah, you follow it back in and up. Okay. Um, okay, so where do we go from here? So we can go this way. So where's the signal meant to be? Is it? Do we have to go like right to the top? Um, I see a couple of other things over here. So voxel shrub. That's that's the Jaffa one, isn't it? I think uh, Jaffa cup voxel shrub. 
Okay, hang on, it looks like the path goes around this side here, so let's go follow it up here. Uh, if it wants to let me up here. Okay, that's all been scanned. What about that one? Grab basket. Yep, we scanned that already. Okay, so let's keep going up the top and see. Yeah, there's not there's not going to be some horrible sky leviathan, is there or something? I don't know. Uh, but there are things to there are things to uh, follow the paths. Uh, there's deposits in the land caves though. Okay, I'll have a look. I'll have a look and see what's got in there. Um, there's a sunbeam in seven minutes. Whoa. Okay, so we're at the top now. Um, oh, do we? Have, is it up there? We gotta go. Okay. Uh, how do we get up there? Is there any other pathways we can go to? Okay, I guess we gotta go. Okay, I hope I don't get hurt by going down here. Okay, so it looks like we gotta go down this way. Oh, I can run. Okay. So we go over this thing and then up here. Okay, what's this thing? Um, a speckled rattler. What the hell is that? So look. Uh, is that something I can eat or something? I don't know. What is that? Speckled rattler. Uh, alien flora sample. Okay, I don't know if that's anything useful, but. I guess I'll grab some. What's this? Um, pink cap. Okay, what's this? So, uh, there will be something here you want, let me see. Uh, now look up. There you go. Okay, let's see. So we can get some of these. I'm not sure what these are used for, but they might be used for something that we can only find here, so I may as well collect these while we're here. Let's see, what is this thing? A Ming plant. What the fuck, man? There we go, grab that. Uh, we can analyze those. Uh, nothing over that way that I can see. Okay, it looks like this is where we gotta go up here. To the very top. So we can't scan any of these little uh, fern bushes, can we? Oh, I'm hearing something. Okay, I completely fell down this way. Damn it! Ah <laughs> oh, man, these 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 walking mechanics are janky as hell. Okay, let me go back this way. Okay, so you have to go all the way around here again. Wow, I was like slightly off the path, and it was just like nope. Okay, back up here. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, de decoration only, said fella. Okay. Oh, there we go, made it this time. Had to jump over. Oh, is there anything in this cave? Uh, nothing in this little cave here? No. Okay, so then jump up here. Oh, what is that? Okay, right, let's go very carefully around this. We probably have to jump that bit. Okay, then up through here. It's like a vine right here. Can we analyze that? Nope. Okay, there's a few more of these pink caps. Um, okay. Huh? Kind of trying to hug the huh? interior wall here. Huh? Another cave. Okay. Lots of caves in here. Uh, so we'll grab those. Uh, any, any other deposits in here? Okay, we've got to be getting close now, right? Surely. Okay, so there's the aurora over there. Oh, and there's another set of clouds. Ah, okay, there's another set of clouds over there, so I'm guessing that's where another island is. Right, let's try and hug the inner wall here. Oh, look at this! What is this? What is that thing there? Chinese potato. Hmm, inventory full. Oh, so can we use these for, like, for, can we can we farm these? Hang on. Uh, where are those? What was that? Chinese potato. Here we go. Um, a hardy vegetable common in um, common in Federation space. Oh, okay. So this is this must be a, uh, a farmable thing as well. A food source. Nice. Uh, this is a scan. Hang on a second. Let me uh, let me eat one of these because that's actually quite large. Uh, there we go. Now I can scan it. 
There we go. Nice. And what's this? A small marble melon. Okay. Composite plant pot. There we go. Grab those. Should have already scanned the melon first as well. Alright. We a survive an observatory and a survival chair. Let's see. Scan that one. Nice. And that one. Here we go. What have we got in here? Nice. And there's a PDA right here. Very good. And a desk. Very good. Integrating new PDA data. Seems like the marble melons are way better. Seems like the right island is the wrong area. Are you on the wrong new island? Um, no pickup feedbacks. Yeah, right island the wrong area. <laughs> is there anything else we can scan in here? Do these doors open or anything else? Um, so the marble melon, um, where did that go? So I did pick it up, but I'm not sure if we can... Here it is, a, a small marble melon, a small alien fruit edible. Hmm, nice. Okay, so we got a few unique things we can find here. There is a, a bulkhead, scan that. So I'm guessing this is going to unlock uh, more things. Mrs. Garside! Oh. oh, did I miss something? I'm sorry. Picking up orbital transponder signature of trading vessel Sunbeam. Vessel is approaching planet's surface and initiating surface scanning procedures. Hmm, where is it? Detecting uh... massive power surge from anomalous contact. Oh, wow! Energy discharge detected. Vessel signature lost. Uh oh. Well, that isn't ominous. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if we can, like, go to any of this, like, debris and get some stuff from them, though. Let me kind of look where it's landing. It looks like someone's gonna land quite close to my life pod, actually. Oh well. Well, that wasn't good. So that so some some kind of laser beam fired up from over there. Your life, as you know it, is over, says Vizzy. Ah, that was your ride home. Now you've had it, says Phil. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Oh, hang on. Uh, spotlight. I can analyze that. Nice. Got some more uh, things here. Apparently, the Aurora Rendezvous Point is down there, but I can't really see now because it's really dark. Um. Okay, so anything else up here? Not really. Um, okay, so I gotta try and work my way down here without hurting myself. Uh, that's a slightly large cliff here. Okay, down this way. Here we go. Okay, we can kind of come down this way. Okay, this leads to a path down here. Okay, so there's apparently there's a rendezvous point down here somewhere. So how do we get to that? So there is another... Another water pool right here, but... Looks like that's nothing... Looks like that's nothing special. Um, okay, maybe I'll go... I'll just swim around the island too. Let's see if we can get to it. Is it on the edge of the island? Um, no, no, it's this way. <laughs> okay, it's around this side. Okay. Okay, let me go under here again. Can I scan this stuff? What is this? A Gru, Gru cluster. Okay. What else is this? What have we got here? We've got coral shell plate. Then we got this weird stuff here as well. Can we scan any of this? Yes! Ancient floater. 
<laughs> so, sounds like a caveman who took a shit years ago. <laughs> We've discovered an ancient floater. Okay, so where is the rendezvous room? Because there's probably something else I can scan around here. Uh, 90 meters that way, but I can't get around that side. Uh, also, on the island you're on, there's another hill that has base stuff you need. Okay, I'll have a look for that in a minute. So, is there anything else around here I can find? Just want to have a little look and see. Because down there is where the membranes are. Um... Can I surface on this island anywhere else, or...? I just want to kind of have a look around the island. I can't even... Okay, now I'm further away from the rendezvous point. Okay, so... Is that... Can we get to the island from the surface, or do we have to go up in the middle? Some drunken asshole ran into the street pole. Uh, had no electricity for, for four hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> Welcome back, Dumpy. So, I bought this game. Still haven't taken the time to play it myself. I'm quite enjoying it. It's definitely, it, the, I think the best way to describe it is very eerie, like, when you get into new areas, like, the f the first areas, like, kind of seem like, okay, it's kind of cool, it's not too, it, it kind of becomes more psychologically eerie as you progress into different biomes, they become weirder and weirder, that's, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, can I scan the moon? Nope. Ah, shame. Okay, well, I can get up here. Okay, hang on, we can get up here, so maybe we gotta go up this way. So, where's the rendezvous point now? Now it's over that way. <laughs> I, I can't find the rendezvous point, Captain! So, there are some caves here. Okay, maybe we gotta go through these caves again. Oh, hang on. What is this? An alien arch. Okay. This is definitely different. So there's some kind of sentient life here? Can we go inside it? Hang on a minute, let me follow this down. What is this? Can we interact with this at all? Does anything have time for walk through it? No? Hmm. That's my water. I'm not doing good, hang on. I've got water on me. I came prepared this time, yeah. There we go. Uh, there you go. Uh, this is head down, friend. Uh, this is out to so clear and terror in even the strongest of men. <laughs> so can we can we interact with this at all other than scanning it? Almost looks like a stargate, like an ancient version of a stargate or something. Do we do we stand on these or something? Is there anything I'm gonna stand on it? No? Can we, like, is there a way to activate it? Looks like it's definitely some sort of portal of some some kind. But I'm not sure what else there is here. Is there anything else around it? There's all these pillars around it as well. I don't know. Um, let's see. Mrs. Ayers, uh, you got the signal. Now, oh, now you can listen to it back at the pod. Okay. So there's nothing else to really do here? So I guess to get out we just gotta follow these back up this way and come out. Okay, so that's all the uh... Yeah, everything else that really far away there's... Oh, there's a rendezvous point 34... Oh, hang on. Is there another cave lowered down? Because it says it's 34 meters this way, so is there a way down to get to that? Uh, 
That's where the seamoth is. Where's the rendezvous point? Over there? Oh, I was pretty much right next to it. Can I drop in here without getting hit? Okay. One, two, three. Huh! Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay, it's just over here. Here we go. Oh, okay, there it is, right there. <laughs> it was literally right on the friggin' beach where I parked my submarine. Okay, well, there we go. Grab that. Integrating new PDA data. Right, is there anything else in these caves? Is there any, like, sandstone or anything we can grab? Just want to double check for new minerals or resources. So apparently there's a, there's a second hill I've got to go up as well to find more base materials. Okay, can't activate it from, from this location. Okay. Okay, so there's a second hill that I've got to travel up through. Hang on then. So the first, I'm just trying to remember where the first hill was. So if we turn this way, so I guess if we follow these paths, it should lead us to where we got to go. So there are more, there are more. So that was the, I think, okay, that was the first one we went to. So is it over this side? I'm gonna be very careful where I step, so I don't know if I'm gonna like walk off a cliff or something. Yep. Okay. Um. So we analyzed. I think we've analyzed all the stuff here. Oh, look, there's a bigger. Uh, there's a tree here that's like different from all the other ones. I don't know if that's significant at all. It's like a dead one. <gasps> oh. Ouch. Okay, don't do that again. <laughs> Whoops. Um. Okay, health is still pretty much at full though, so we didn't take damage. Um, can we analyze this one? It's like a dead looking tree over here. Is this anything significant? No? Yeah, there's lots of different pathways on this island. So down this way... Let me have a look and see what else I can find. Uh, King Flame says, um, and it says, uh, the Bulbo tree is scan. Oops. Um, says, uh, shoot, he missed it again. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm trying to scan trees, I, I can see. So there's, so there's another type of, so this one here? Uh, oh, I can self-scan again, apparently. Okay. Um... Oh, here we go. There you can see, I got it. There we go, grab those. Can't scan those. But yeah, that, that dead one we can't scan either. It's kind of cool looking. Um, and King Flame says, I've been busy playing Fire Emblem three hours. It's so much fun. The story is amazing. Welcome to the stream, King Flame. And I'm glad to hear you've been having some fun. Um, there we go. And Mel says, well, thank you, Busy. How's about you? <laughs> So there's another hill apparently where there's some more tech on that we can use for our base, right? So I don't exactly know where that is, but we can have a... Oh, hang on. There's a cave here. Oh, is that a sandstone cropping right there? Wait, what is that? No, it's not. Um, oh, wait, no, this is back to the... This is back to the alien, the alien room. Okay, so... That little alien thingamajiggy. So if we go over this way now... Is there anything else we can get over here? There's like a little cliff outcrop up here, but I don't think there's anything we can get here. So this goes... Okay, this goes over this way. So is it over this way again? I think this is going to take me back towards the first hill again, isn't it? Let me see. Let's let's walk over this way and see. Um, oh no, hang on, no, this, there's, there is a second one, so that was one, this is the other one. Okay, yeah, I think this is the other one. Okay, so we want to go straight up here, uh, jump over that, come around this, uh, okay, around this side, okay, this is the second one, okay. I'm gonna kind of just try and parkour our way up a little bit, there it is. Alright, here we go, here's the second one. Good stuff. So, can we scan anything in here? There is a 
supply crate, what's in there? Uh, oh, there's actually some uh, disinfected water in there. I guess I'll grab that. Um, what is up here? There is a an indoor brew bed. Nice. Go and scan that one. Nice. The discovery is part of the extensive. Isn't it? I'm making sure not to tell them too much. Um, all right, hang on a second. Uh, what is this? This is a a lantern tree. Okay, what is that about? Okay. Um, Oh, a lantern fruit. Okay. What are they like? Um, lantern fruit. Let me see. Can we eat those? Gives you... Okay, so ten, ten food. Um, is it poisonous? No, so gives you some food as well. Um, oh, and a decomposing Chinese potato. Yeah, they went, they went bad too quick. Um, okay. So can we get like a, can we get like a tree seed or some, or of some kind? That we can plant these things in our base. Um, oh, hang on. There's a, uh, a fern palm. Let's go grab those. Not that I have a base yet, but still. Uh, Java cup, box of shrub. So I'm guessing these types of flowers we can grow in our base once we get actually making a base. Which is like a growable source. So yeah, so, we, so I guess we can make like farm plots and something which we can use. Uh, is there anything else here? Um, I don't think so. I think that's everything here. Okay, well we can use this to uh, refill our hunger a little bit. Okay, well this is decomposing so let's just drop it. There you go. Take a few of those. I don't know if we can craft these into like seeds or anything like that, but that will help our food along a little bit. And then drink that, and then we should be good for now. Okay, so I do have a little bit of room left, but I don't think there's anything else. Oh, hang on, there's a uh, PDA here. Here we go. Awesome. Integrating new PDA data. There you go. This says, um... oh, use use the knife on them. Um, hold on. So we can harvest. Um... So what did that give us then? Um... Oh, a fern palm seed. Oh, nice. Okay. So we can do. Um, can we do it? Same with the tree here. Can we get a, uh, a tree seed? Or is it just the fern palm we can use? Um, let me see. Um, so can I use it on this thing? Or on the on the fruit? Do I get any seeds from that? So I got a fern palm seed, but I didn't get any other ones. Unless that is what it... Unless the fern palm kind of covers that as well. Hmm. Huh? We get boxes of shrub seeds as well. Oh, you can you can chop those and it will give you. Does that give you the shrub when you chop it? Or was my inventory too full for that? Oh, hang on. No wait, I think I got some here. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Boxes of shrub seeds there, and we got a decomposing small mild melon. So let's just drop those. Yeah. So we do get some seeds out of these. Okay. Um. Knife most for seeds, and the lantern fruit uh, should be able to just be planted. Oh, okay. Did the lantern fruit go bad then, or do they stay good? Uh, lantern fruit edible. So that so these just stay good, right? And then we can then we don't have to worry about those. Um, so we got some plant seeds here then, and some voxel shrub seeds. Okay, so we got some seeds from there. So maybe I need to go back and get the maybe I need to go back to the other one and get the uh, Chinese potato seeds as well. Um, because there was the, the Chinese potatoes over there, but I don't think I got the seed for those, so. Let's kind of walk down the side here. So, oh, is that a third one there? Hang on, there's the third base here. Well, there's a big base here. I didn't see that. Hang on, what's this? Um, okay, this place is pretty huge. What's in here? Um, hang on, let me get my scanner out. Oh! Huh? Oh, there's a little, uh, there's a little thingy attacking me here. What the hell is that? It's like a spider. Can I kill that thing? Okay, so there are there are hostile things here. Okay, let me um scan that one. Okay, so there is a little spider thingy down here that we got to watch out for. Okay, so can I just, um, okay, I guess I'm gonna just have to try and kill it. 
There you go. Okay. Oh wow, he sends you. Bloody hell! How high, please? Okay, oh, there's one. What the hell is this thing? Ooh. Try and kill this thing. Did we get it? Yeah, you killed it. Can I scan it now it's dead? Or... Yeah, we can. A cave crawler. Okay. So they take three knife hits to go. Okay, they're not too hard to kill. That's good. A multi-purpose room. Nice. There you go. Uh, crabs, I don't like bus, just knife them to death. There you go. Nice. Very good. New blueprint acquired. Right, are there any more around here? Anything inside here? Oh, I see. I see something in there. Hang on. Can we jump up in here? Uh, oh, there we go. Storage box. What have we got? Uh, what's that? A, a battery? Okay, nice. We can refuel our CMOS with that. And there's a PDA here. Oh, can I not get in there? I see something in there as well. Hang on. There's there's some kind of PDA in there as well. Can we not get in that room? Uh, hang on, there's another abandoned PDA here. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, oh, hang on. Okay, we kind of got put up here. Oh, a dr uh, data box? What's in here? Nice, okay, grab those. Acquired. Um, can we drop in... Can we, like, drop in the top of this? No? Okay, nothing else to... So that, yeah, I see, I see another... I see another PDA in there. Can we get in? It's like a, a PDA or a, some kind of console in there. Can we get inside there? Uh, oh, hang on. Oh wait, no, that's that one. That's that one. That's fine. <laughs> so nowhere to get inside there. I don't think there is. Oh, can I come through this glass? Oh, here we go. Um, what's this? A purple tablet. Okay, my that looks like it's important. Hang on. Okay, I probably need like. Hmm. Do I need a lot of these, or do I need one? Uh, so it's finally, you can make a proper base now. Yay! There we go. That's where I use the population, uh, the propulsion cannon on one of those. It launched me about 300 meters in the air. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's, yeah, go around. Woohoo! Uh, or it was the repulsion cannon, uh, yellow fingers. Okay, hang on. Uh, do I really need this? Uh, I don't think I need that, do I? This aurora miniature. It's just like an, an ornament. I don't think I really need that. So let me drop that one. And hopefully I can now pick this up. There you go, so we'll grab that. Okay, so there's a PDA there. Integrating new PDA okay. data. Oh, and a wall planter. Hang on a second. Uh, let me scan that. Here we go. Oh, they're just decoration? Okay. Right, anything else here? What is that? I can't scan that, that's my aurora miniature. Um, okay, so that's just a decorative, um, that's just like a decorative structure then, you can't really do anything, so wall planters, nothing else in here, anything on the ceiling? No? Okay. Oh, it's gone dark again. Okay, so that's that one there. Any more little, any of these little buggers around here? Um, a marble melon. Okay, actually, yeah, this is what I wanted to do, wasn't it? There's a marble melon there, and a marble melon there. Analyze that. Okay, so let me um, try and collect some of these seeds, actually. So if we go to inventory, let me drop a few of these. And then maybe I can... Um, I don't know if the seeds are going to take a full slot, um, but if I... Can I, like, uh, right-click that to make a seed? There we go. They gave me... Okay, there we go. So we got marble melon seeds there. Um, do I need the voxel shrub ones? Are they are voxel shrubs important? I have no idea. Um, and Zach isn't here. Welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing? Uh, throw away the pink ones. They're just decoration. Okay. Uh, just keep one of each and throw the rest away. Okay. Um, so pink shrooms, uh, alien flora sample. Okay, so we only need one of these. So you can get rid of those. Um, same with the, the speckled rattler. Are they the same thing? Um... Okay, so now we can go ahead and... Can we now go and grab the Chinese potato seed? If I attack that, there we go, so we've got a few of them. 
um, which gave me a few seeds there. Good stuff. And oh, these mushrooms like pushing me off the uh, thing. And a small mile melon here. Wait, can I? Can I not harvest that one? Okay. Can I like crouch and harvest it? No. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. Are they still mile melon seeds or? Yeah, they are. They're pink cat spores. Okay, so you can plant the pink cats with those. Um, okay, so yeah, we can we can pretty much plant all this with those. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, Lana says uh, voxel shrubs are useless, um, so are speckled rattlers and pink caps. Okay, so they're they're just no good to to keep. Okay, so let's go and drop these, and we'll drop these as well then. There you go. We'll keep all the seeds though, because then we can maybe start our own farm. Um, at some point, which is going to be good. So yeah, the speckle caps and stuff, we can leave them here then. Um, can we attack those for seeds? Don't think so. Um, no, it didn't give us anything. I wonder what other plants we can like attack for seeds and things. Don't think there's really anything else we can get. Um, what are these there? The Ming plant? Do you get seeds out of that? Um, I think we did. So the mum and... Do we get a ming plant seed? Yeah, we did. We got a ming plant seed there. Well, wow, it's actually pretty big. And fern palm. Okay, so we got a few got a few things we can take with us. Yeah, I don't think all of these are that um, important. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool, though, that we have a... Uh, we found an island here, so let's go and... Oh! Go jump in here. Let's go back to the submersible. What is that thing? Oh, that's just some rock falling off the island. Okay. Alright, let's go back over here. And we will make our way back over. Now it says, uh, Mom and uh, lantern fruit are what you want to get seeds for. I don't know if lanterns have seeds that you should check. I'm not sure, actually. I tried to, I tried to go and um, harvest the tree. Um, okay, here we go. Welcome Doesn't. aboard, Captain. Alright, here we go. And let's head down. Alright, we're trying to go too deep here. Okay, and now we got another signal. Oh, uh, Life Pod 13, carrying high priority passengers remains. Oh, that's a long way down, though. Is that showing its depth? No, that's not showing its depth. Okay. Oh no, 175 meters. Okay. We should be able to go to this one. Uh, Hunger and Thirst are okay. Yeah, we should be able to go to this one over here as well. Or maybe we want to go back to base first. Yeah, let's go back to base first actually. And then we'll turn and go over there. Yeah, I got the potato ones. Uh, Chinese potato seeds as well. Yeah, I got those ones. Um. Yeah, I need to go and make some more storage lockers and drop some stuff off, I think. Don't hit the wall. Okay. Alright, so let's make our way back here. So I think we're coming towards the red grass area, right? Yeah. I do want to explore some more of that area, but... I think we will head back over here. And if we make our way back over this way then... Back through the, uh, back through the kelp. Or well, the creep vines, as they're called in this thing, but they're pretty much kelp. <laughs> Then we'll go back to the uh, back to the good old shallows. There we go. And uh, let's see. As soon, as soon as you make the habitat builder, you can make a proper base, right? Yeah. I just I just need silver. I've had the worst luck finding silver. Okay. Alright, so I think we need to make more of these uh, boxes, don't we? So let me go and make some of them. Okay, oh, there's a radio broadcaster. Here we go. 
This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. All right, so we got another battery there. Let's go and store this for now. Um, okay, so uh, another says didn't see this message. Whoops. Um, <laughs> no worries, dude. No worries. Okay, so we need to make um, we need to make some more of these uh, boxes, don't we? So let's go make one of those because I need to uh, have some extra storage just for now until we actually get that stuff we need. Uh, here we go. A waterproof lock. Here we go. So four titanium. Make one of those, and then I can have something else to put in there as well. Uh, oh, my uh, mouse came detached for some reason. Okay. All right, swim out here a little bit. And right, where are my other lockers? Here they are. Yeah, let's go and just store some stuff in there. Yeah, and, until until I get some more stuff, we just have to use these for now. Um, so let's go and uh, assign it if we can, and then. Put it right there, there we go. Then I can go with those guys, and then we can open this. And we can put in all of these uh, new seeds and stuff that we got here. Uh, now this this doesn't have much room in it, so I'm probably going to have to make some more. Yeah, so I'm going to have to make some more of these, because yeah, these take up um, a lot of space. But luckily I have a load of titanium, so we should be able to make enough as well. Heads forward, life pod 3, 10 left, and go into the red uh, grassy area, sandstone galore. Alright, yeah, I'll have to have a look in there. Yeah, because I definitely need some of that. Uh, can I make another locker? Uh, no, I can't yet, so I am short on titanium. Okay, let's see if i got any more in here. I should have some more. There you go, I have enough for one more. There you go, and I can store extra stuff in this one, right? So here we go, so we can put quartz and uh, diamonds and stuff in this. Yeah, we can store the extras in here for now. And I'll just make one more of these. And this one. There you go, and we have four lockers, which will give me quite a bit more storage space, which is good. How's my uh, vitals right now? We're getting thirsty, so gonna have to catch some more of the... Uh, Gonna have to catch some more of the um, whatever they're called, the bladder fish, right? We're gonna have to get some more of them. So let's go and grab that one. And oh, hang on. I guess I just dropped it. Oh, okay, I just dropped it. Okay, uh, you're gonna stay right there. Yeah. Okay. So in here we can just add the rest of the seeds in here, and then we've got a purple tablet. Uh, Okay, so we'll just put that in there as so well. Ancient alien tell with the purple symbol. Okay, so we're gonna have to get some food and water real quick before we head out. So let's see, there's some peepers right here, so let's go and Ah, uh, you little shit, come here. Got it. So we'll uh yeah, grab the peepers if we can. See if we can find any bladderfish as well, because we're gonna need some of those. So peepers and bladderfish is what we need. There's another peeper over here. But uh, he just, just, oh, there he goes. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Damn it! <laughs> These peepers are really fast. And they kind of, sometimes they like kind of swim like in a, in a 180. They'll like come up and then they'll just completely flip around. Uh, I think I saw a bladder fish just up there. Yeah, I did. Come here, you. Nope. Okay. Oh! Ouch. You bugger. Well, there's the bladder fish. Come here. I need you. There's another one. Thank you. Okay. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds? Are you kidding me? Yeah. There we go. Uh, Ming's a decoration only says for that. Okay. Uh, so drop the waste of the. Uh, drop that waste of force lore starts. <laughs> there we go. As uh, is the Aurora says. Nice. Yeah, we've gone to the Aurora. Seen the very, very horrible thing that's behind it. Okay. Here we go. Boomerang, come here. I want you. I want you. I need to eat you. Om nom. Thank you. Uh, there's another one over there. But yeah, mainly it's. Uh, what do we need to so. say? 
Let's grab a couple of boomerangs and then try and find more bladderfish for water. Anything down here? Yep. Oh boy. Okay. Managed to escape that thing. Hate those things, they're so annoying. They're just like, I'm gonna blow up your face! It's like, why would you do that, dammit? Okay. I do not see any more. Nope. <laughs> Bloody thing. I hate those things. Oh, you didn't even leave me any sulfur either, you bugger. I didn't know they leave you sulfur all the time, it's just some of the time. God, these things are horrible. Oh, what is this? Um, creature egg. Yeah, we need to get some fluid intake going. All right, lady. I know what happened last time. I didn't listen to you. We'll go and get our fluid intake. Uh, there is the the big whale looking leviathan thingy that you can harvest barnacles from as well. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Um, I did. I think there was one time I got silver from that. So yeah, I have to see if I can uh, see if I can get some of them as well. So let's get back over here. Didn't, I don't think there's really anything else over here, is there? Anything in the tube? Nope. Nothing in there. Okay. Any more bladderfish? That's what I really need. I wonder if there's only a certain number of bladderfish in the area and you can, and it's actually possible to hunt them all. Because it seems like as I'm playing more, there are less, um, there are actually less fish in this area. It seems like there's a lot less than when I first started. I wonder if you can actually like extinct the population of them as well. Um, let's see. Doesn't doesn't he have a red suit? Yes I do. Yeah I got a I got a red suit. But yeah I'm wondering actually now. Okay, let's get some of these. Here we go, filled with water. Uh, if so, have you looted the aurora? No, I've not looted the aurora. I literally went to it and found a friggin' huge leviathan thing behind it. And yeah, I didn't go back. <laughs> I was like, I, uh, I ain't going back to that shit. Okay, one cooked fever. Um, okay, but we could go to life pod two though. I guess that'd be, it's quite far away, but we could go over there. There you go. I, I, I had a theory about hunting the bladderfish to extinction. I don't know, it, see, it kind of seems like it. Um, but anyway, let's go and uh, sort ourselves out here. Vital signs stabilizing. There you go. Do we need to heal? Uh, yeah, we do. Sort myself out there. There we go. And do we have a medkit in here? Uh, looks like we cannot interact with it at the moment, so it's probably working. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Let's go to life pod 2, um, wherever that may be. Right, how much juice is left in this thing anyway? Welcome 68. Aboard, Captain. Why, thank you very much, random submersible that's talking to me. Alright, uh, so where do we go from here? i got to look for the signal thingy. Okay, down here. Okay, so that's, that's only... Oh wait, no, that's 500 meters below sea level. Um, okay, we didn't want to go to that one. There was another one, wasn't there? Hang on. Let me see uh, if I can find where my arrow's gone. Uh, because my arrow is gone completely invisible. There it is. Okay, there you go. I can, can find my bloody arrow. Uh, so waypoints. Let me see. So yeah, we can de we can definitely not go below sea level. So we don't need this one anymore. Uh, Life on 19 we've now finished with. So, Coast Parade, any passengers remain. So, let's go for that one. Let's make that one. 
We can change the color. Let's make like a bright yellow so it's easy to see. Uh, sounds good. All right. So now we just gotta look for yellow. Um, wherever that may be. Uh, hang on. So that's the one below sea level. I'm not even seeing where this other one is. Damn it. <laughs> it's like it's like okay, I gotta go here, but I can't see it. Um, and Teddy Gaming, welcome to the stream. Says this uh, says, can anyone use the shadow command? Uh, no, only only moderators can do that. Uh, not in Puzzle Series, since I think creatures don't despawn or respawn, or at least Leviathans don't. Okay, uh, the Aurora has a lot of goodies on it as well as a lot of fragments to scan. You could probably get a new vehicle. Um, it says, wait. You have a you have another signal? Yeah, there's 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 two. There it is, right over there. Okay, I see it. This way you want to go. Okay, yeah, we'll go over here. There's two two signals we have to, to get to. So yeah, this one's not too far below below the sea level, so we should be able to take the submarine down here. Okay, so we're back to a kelp forest area. Ooh, what was that? Did I just collide with the land? I think I did. Okay, so we're getting this. Okay, this certainly is a different area. Okay, oh, what is that I see over there? Okay, that doesn't look like it's very nice. Oh, there's a lot of creatures I see over here. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. I don't know if those are friendly. They. I don't know. They kind of look like jellyfish in a way. Do they have big teeth? I don't know. Maybe they're just herbivores? I mean, kind of going a bit closer, I don't know. Okay, here's life of 13. Yeah, I don't know if these things are going to attack me. Um, jelly rays are harmless. Okay. They're friendly and they're friendly and cute. Okay, so those guys are not going to attack me. Okay, that's good. So let's go and head out of here. It is very dark down here. All right, let's see. So scanner. So where do we go in through here? Through the top. Here we go. What's in here? There is a PDA right there. Integrating Very new good. PDA data. Anything to scan around this thing? Doesn't look like it. So, if jelly rays are harmless, can we go off and scan one? Uh, they seem to be staying quite far away, so... I don't know if there's anything. That's they actually look kind of cool. Kind of cool. Can I scan one? Yeah, they they just swim away. Okay. What is this? A tree mushroom. Okay, scan that. Or is there anything else I can find down here? Oh, there's some more of this um, coral stuff that we are finding around the island. What else have we got over here? 
There's a tree leech. Okay, we can scan some of this as well. I guess we'll see what other things we can find around here. I don't want to get too far away from my sub though. Because I only have a limited supply of O2. And right now it's quite dark, so I can't really see much seconds. here. So let's go back and swim up here and we should be good. Um, so that's it, just the PDA. Alright, um, <laughs> that's a butthole. <laughs> it's just busy. What? <laughs> Okay. Oh, is this thing above me as well? Hang on. Inside here to recover some O2. So I guess we can have a bit more of an explore around here and see if there's anything else to discover. So what is this? Like uh, some kind of mushroom forest? Is there any like caves down here? Oh, hang on, there is, look. Okay, let's go over here a minute. Right, we can go to... We can go down to 200, so... There's actually a trench here. Um, oh, that kind of hurt a little bit. Okay, didn't damage the sub. Good. Alright. Okay, let's do that. And... Ooh, that goes quite far down. Um... Sea glide? We haven't got much power in here. So there is a trench down here. Is there any um any outcroppings or anything to discover down here? There is what is this? That is a Well we need the salt, right? So you guys were saying salt is a better way to get water, so we can go and look for some of these. <laughs> so it's like a giant this like looks like a giant interior of a mouth. Gonna get very dark to Oh wow, hang on. Is this another What is this? Oh Hang on a minute. What's this? Can I scan this? I can't scan huh? that. Okay, this is Hang on a minute, I'm so this, so this is like an oxygen barrier kind of thing. Oh, there's another one of these. Um... Okay, there's another one of these uh, structures here. I hope there's nothing like really bad down here. So we can't scan any of these. Can we scan this big thing? Or this? Can we scan it? No. Is there anything we can do down here? Is there like any PDAs or anything we can find? I don't think so. Um, uh, the mushroom forest resources uh, to the right. Uh, Emma says, yeah, he missed them. <laughs> I missed everything. So is there nothing we can scan in here? I don't think so. Okay, so the, so the, this is the second one of these things we've seen. These weird alien-looking stargates or something. Hang on, does maybe the one on the island does does like the one on the island teleport us to down here or something? Is it that they're like teleporters? I don't know. But there's nothing I can scan in here. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping we'd find something interesting here, but it doesn't look like there's anything we can do here yet. Maybe it's like for a... Maybe it's like for a later point in the game, perhaps. There we go. Missy wiggles in their seat. <laughs> oh, what? I looked away for a minute. Where is he now? Says that. Wow, you're pretty smart, Max. Uh, your mind amazes me. <laughs> Hang on. Can we scan this thingy as well? No, can't scan the, the barrier thing? Okay. Okay, so yeah, there are resources here. Here we go. So we got a shale out crop here. Here we go. Let's see. Let's go on the. I don't think our sea glide has very much uh, juice left in it, does it? Only 30%. Uh, there's more outcrops here, but we can't really get those yet.
But that's kind of interesting that we've got all this, uh, all this kind of hidden tech under the water. There is, oh hello, there is, what is that, limestone? Limestone? Well, I guess I can get titanium. We did use a lot of titanium, so I guess limestone is kind of useful. Missy says, um, Felicity says, uh, you always think the worst when you hear an ominous sound, then you may be in trouble. <laughs> okay, there's, oh, here's some sandstone, finally. We get silver, maybe? Uh, I think that was, that was lead, wasn't it, I think? Uh, da, yeah, it was lead again. Damn it. That's so annoying, damn it, I want, I need, I need the silver. Not lead. Okay. So let's see what else we can find around here. There's other trenches down here. Was it is it the same trench or is this a different one? This might be. Hang on, where's my headlights pointing? Because that will tell me if I was in the uh, the same trench. I can't even see my. Um... Well, I'm literally lost in this forest area. Okay, let's just swim to the surface. I cannot see the seamoth, so. Seek fluid intake. Okay. Oh god damn it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, let's go back down. Okay, there it is down there. So is it just this one trench or is it oh it's like a whole network of them? Nope, oh, and our sea glider's out. Well that stinks. So yeah, there is a whole network of trenches, but yeah, we gotta we gotta get water. So I can't stay here too long. Uh, oh, hang on, what's this thing under here? Is that thing I can grab there? Um, tree spawn. I guess we can scan it. Uh, no, we can't scan that. Can we break it? No. Tree leech, tree spawn. Nothing we can scan here. I want to scan you, damn it! Come back here. Ah. Yes. There you go. We scanned it. Uh, I don't even see where my submersible is located. It was by a trench, wasn't it? Hang on. Uh, there it is down here. Okay, the icon just like kind of disappeared for me for a bit. There it is. Um, rip sea glide. Um, there is stuff there, but you're moving around. To, you're moving around too quickly to see it. Oh, okay. I'll try and go a little slower. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. I think we can spend like another minute or two down here. Let me see. Let me see if I can find more down here. I just know that I've got a limited amount of time. Here we go. There's a. Shell deposit for gold, there we go. There's another one over here. What's that one? That's lithium, looks like. Yep. We do need lithium, so that's fine, we can grab that. There is... what's that one there? That is... shale? Oh, diamonds! Okay, so I guess shale has like a little bit of everything in it. I know we do need lithium for some things. Okay, that goes back to the... That goes back to the area that we were in. There's more lithium right here. So we can grab that one. Let me have a look and see if there is perhaps any more around the area. Seek fluid intake immediately. All right, lady, I'm going back. <laughs> Go get, go get your packing fluid intake. All right, let's get out of it. Okay, so up a little. Here it is. All right. We shall make our way out of here. Okay, so this is literally just the other side of the kelp, uh, 
the kelp forest, which is pretty cool. Right, let's go up here. Okay, I think we're back to like the safe shallows area here. Well, kind of. Okay, so we got to find some bladder fish relatively quickly. So, okay, this is back to the red grass area. So, hang on, there's like, are there like two safe shallows areas? It seems like there's like more than one of them. Because there's another creepvine forest over this way as well. Um, his problem is he has uh, no blind spot vision so he only sees what's in the middle of the screen. Yeah, I don't I don't have any vision like peripheral. So yeah, things that would be to the side of me I just don't see unfortunately. Oh, that was a... Uh, whoops, that was a bit risky. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can find any uh, bladder fish around here. Hopefully we can. Thirst is not going too well here. But yeah, that life pod that's 500 meters down, we're definitely going to need better equipment for that. Right, so let's see if we can find any more bladderfish around here. Hopefully we can. Hell says, uh, there is something I haven't been able to get out of my head since I popped into the stream. Uh, Phil says, uh, there's about three of them. Uh, it needs to turn his head to see to the right and left sides. You can eat the kelp for a little water if needed. Oh, you can? I didn't know that. Hey, there's a bad fish, I see you. I did see you. I saw you, then I lost you. Well, that sucks for me. Oh my god, there was like a... I heard like a giant explosion coming from over here. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, we're like low on... We're like running out of fluid. I'm probably gonna die for no water now. Yeah, I won't be able to catch a bladder fish in time. <laughs> oh well, let me just swim back to the life pod. We shall swim to the life pod, and then we shall die a horrible death in the life pod. <laughs> oh, okay. Up on the shore they work all day, out in the sun they slave away. <laughs> While they're devoting full time to floating yeah. under the sea. Yeah, I guess I'll just die in the life pod. Yeah, I will let myself die death number two to water. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm literally not finding any bladderfish at all. So whatever. There was some near. You. There was some near you, wasn't there? <laughs> just knife. Um, so it's oh. knife a creep vine. Ah, it's a bit late now. It's fine. I'll let myself die here. Goodbye, Cruel World. <gasps> dun dun dun. Death number two, since we'll see. Yep, death number two. <laughs> Alright. There we go. So, Creepvine you can have for water. Okay, I didn't know that, so I'm gonna have to... Okay, I wanna go try that, actually. Um, oh, actually, one thing I should work on as well is getting another battery, so we can um, power up our Sea Glide again, so... Let's make another two. Can I put a um a bigger power cell into the sea glide, or is it only into the submersible? Okay, there's actually a radio broadcast here as well. Play partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. Ooh. Well, that didn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> sounds like it sounds like a very friendly, very friendly alien. Yeah, he he sounds nice. Okay, let me go grab this real quick. Uh, so we want one of those. So yeah, let me see if I can make a new. So can we can we put the bigger power cell into it? Um, 
You'll see, I shutter. This is a, a, a real nice change, Max. I'm enjoying this. How says that I've been trying to work out uh, a better solution for a monitor for Max from a technical standpoint. So there's not only batteries, uh, only batteries in the handheld equipment, and only power cells in the vehicles. Okay, so I may as well just then grab the battery that I have in this box and just use that then, right? So. Okay, makes sense. I will do that then. So only the little batteries can power it. Um. I'm completely lost where my arrow's gone. There it is over here. Yeah, the arrow blends in like really well with the background, so it's really difficult for me to pick out where it is. Um, okay, so there's the battery there, so we'll grab this one. If I can make another one, I will make one though, because, you know, that's going to still be handy. Uh, so that can go in here. Uh, lithium can sit in there as well. See, so, yeah, we got a fair amount of um, got a fair amount of lithium now. Um, but yeah, if I can get two more, if I can like carry two batteries with me, perhaps would be pretty good so let's go to my boxes and here we go let's see so one of these uh one of these boxes has what i want in it let's see here so we should have two copper in these right yep so one two there we go here we go so now we can grab this thing and craft two extra batteries that we can use later there you go. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it as well, because I'm having I'm having some fun with this. So yeah, definitely uh, definitely glad they gave this a go. Um, gonna be doing starvation in a little bit though, because I uh, I didn't promise you guys starvation Sundays. So probably gonna have one more little explore, and then we'll end up after that um, for, and then I'll go and uh, start off a new stream with some starvation going. All right, here we go. So let's go into here, and I want my. Sea Glide, because that thing bloody ran out again. So let's go and add a new battery into that. There we go. Okay. So is there any other signals that we can go to? So that one is, um, yeah, that's the one that's 500 meters underground or underwater. <laughs> underground. It's the one that's 500 meters underwater. So I guess what we'll do is we'll go to the red sandy area again. Or the red, the red, the red grassy area there, and we will go ahead and see if we can find any more sandstone outcroppings. Because I, I really do have to start a base at some point. But in order to really do that, I've got to find the sandstone and the red grass area. Looks like it's it's usually just beyond this area. So here it is. Yeah, this is the area that we can find. Hopefully. Oh, hang on, did I search this? I don't think I searched this area, actually. Okay, hold on. Was there anything in here I missed? There might be. Uh, a sealed door. Cut open to access. Ah, okay, so we need a laser cutter to get into that. Anything else we can find around here? Okay, there is a, a box here, but nothing in it. Okay, nothing in those boxes. So yeah, there's definitely something in there we can get to, but is that door also sealed? That one we can't even get into. Uh, can we scan this stuff here? Doesn't they like it? That's all sealed as well. Oh, metal scrap. I guess I can grab that. But yeah, so this area is completely like locked out. Okay. Okay. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I scanned that guy. <laughs> Are you wrecking my sub? I like scan this guy. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, something's uh, stuck in the sub.
Let's go a little more over here. The house says, uh, sharper image for definition and more information in the 1414p small screen to provide more information in your limited range of sight. Sounds like it might help. Perhaps. Oh, something's after me. Ah, uh, little, uh, shark thingy there. Yeah, that, that would pretty, that would be pretty useful, yeah. Okay, let's kind of go around here and see if I can find any, uh, so sandstone outcroppings is what we definitely need, but is this back to the um, is this back to the mushroom forest, or is this a different biome? This one is. What is this area? Oh, this one looks different. We're about 200, so I can't go any further Warning. down. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, let's go up a little. So what's down here? Oh, there's a deep cave down here, though. I don't think this was the... Was this the cave I was in before? I don't think it is. It might be. It might not be, though. We should probably have a look down there and see what we can do. Um... And Anonymous says, uh, I'm going to go for a bit again. Max, keep more water and don't die. See you later if you're still streaming. All right, Anonymous, thank you so much for coming along, dude. And hopefully we'll see you very soon. Um, and it says you had to cut the door. Yeah, so if you get the barnacles again, you can get... That's good silver that way too. Yeah, I'll see if I can try that. Yeah, for the stuff kept uh, rolling away, it was below its peripheral. And um, it says, nope. <laughs> hmm. Hang on then. Oh no, this is this is those same caves. I I was down in these ones, although it was a different. It might have been a different cave, but I was definitely down in this in this these types of caves before. That's where we had diamonds and lithium, right? Something the uh, oh the, the uh, yeah that's where we found the gel sacks yeah. Right there's sandstone. That's finally a beast. Okay that was silver finally. Finally got a silver. Yeah this was the area. This is where we found the um. This is where we found that um random alien vent thing. That thing, that's a creature egg. Is that diamond there? Uh, no, that's quartz, okay. Oh, yeah, this is where we found that. This is where those weird teleporting things were. Oh, hang on. What the hell is hurting me there? Okay, something was hurting me. I don't know what it was though. Oh. So there's stuff down here? 30 seconds. Oh, okay, we gotta get out of it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die again. <laughs> no, okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I have no idea what's in there. Uh, the plant, oh, the plant to the right? Okay. Okay. Let me get in here. There you go. Right, get back inside this. Get get some oxygen. If you hear, if you hear a roar, run away. Um, remember to check to check the floor. You keep going. Uh, you keep going over the sandstone. Okay, I'll go back down and have a look. All right, let's swim down again. Check the floor, eh? Because I keep going over some. Okay. Oh, yep. There's one right there. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. That gave me. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so is it is, is it these little eye things that are hurting as well? Yeah. 
there's something here. Is that sandstone? Yep, there's one there too. Okay, there we go. That one gave me gold. Nice. What's that one? Uh, oh, hang on. What's this? Um, a power cell charger fragment. Oh, is it these little things here? Oh, I see it. Yeah, that little thing there. Okay. Sneaky bugger. Okay, that's not that's that's not doing me very well. Okay, hang on. Let me use one of these. Well, how dare you attack me? Stupid bugger. Okay. All right, scan it and get out of there. There we go. Alright, so is there any more down by this vent here? Okay, yeah, there's lots of peepers around here. Okay, let's get up here. <laughs> lots of things are attacking me here. Oh, we need to eat now? Yeah, we do. Um, okay, almost number, almost number three. Ti oh, the, yeah, the tiger plant. Um, check the wreckage again, you missed stuff. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so that's how the peepers are going into and out of. Um... Yeah, that outcropping there we can't do anything with, so... So is there, so there's something else I can scan down over here? I'm not even sure where I went to. Oh, this is the, um... I don't know if I like this cave. Let me go up this way. Yeah, that's definitely not a good place. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, this, this this area is very weird. I don't think I like that place at all. There you go. Uh, not there, across across from the sea mouth. Okay, hold on. Oh, you mean the uh, the life pod thing? Because I did I did get both the PDAs from there, so I'm not sure if I missed another one. So, oh, this wreckage here? Ah, this one. Okay, hang on. Like this here, perhaps? Thirty seconds. Okay, hold on. Let me get back over there. Let me swim back over here. Alright, let's get back inside here. Nice. Alright, so... The wreckage over here, pretty much. Let me... Bring this over a little bit. There we go. Then we can have this nice and illuminated, so it's easy to see. So let me see. Oh, hang on, this. That's definitely something we didn't scan. What is this? A a prawn suit torpedo arm fragment. Ooh. Well, that sounds cool. What else do we have here? Uh, the sling over here, I think. What is that? That is a a thermal plant fragment. Okay, let's go and have a look at that. There we go. And we have, what is this, just a, uh, a radio? Anything in the cargo? Nope, nothing there. What else have we got here? Can we scan any of these things? No? Okay, anything inside the... Anything inside these? Don't think so. Um... Can't scan any of that stuff there. And 
how about over here? Anything over here? Yeah, I'm gonna need to eat in a minute, aren't I? Otherwise, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna die! And what about this? A thermal plant fragment there, there it is. That's one of them. Very nice. Moonful fragment too. Nice! So we got those. Let's see if I can see anything else around here. Let me go back this side. Did I miss another? Emergency. Starvation imminent. 30 seconds. Calorie intake immediately. Oh. Okay, I'm probably just gonna have like, to catch some random fish and eat it. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna die again. But it's okay. Oxygen. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so aboard, Captain. Smash right into it. Yeah, I'm gonna need to see how I can make this thing able to travel deeper underwater. Okay, so yeah, we want to head back to. Uh... I think we want to head back over here. Um... Because I'm gonna need food, and yeah, whatever's in this next biome doesn't appear to be too friendly. So let me make my way out of here. Okay, we want to go this way. Here we go. Go over this way. I'm always losing sight of this icon. All the time. Uh, you can't you can eat fish raw. It says, uh, don't die. Your steam will stay there. You'll go back you'll, you'll go back to your base. No, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go back to base here. Could be easier. Make our way back over here. There we go. Now back in friendly waters again. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's try and find food. Let me find some. Okay, I see. There's a boomerang right there. Let's go try and get that guy. Come here, you. Yes! I must eat you! And I did just see another boomerang go past me. I've completely lost it. Uh, there's a peeper and a boomerang. Let's get the boomerang because he's usually easier. There you go. There's him, there's a the third one over here. Oh, did you just like glitch out of the water? You dead, you bugger. Come here. I will get I will get you. Yeah, if I don't hold anything I can swim a bit faster. Keep up with these guys. There we go. Got a few of those guys, so now we should be good. Here we go. And I see a uh, one over there. Good stuff. Alright, let's get out of here. Good stuff. So, uh, FS says, eat it raw! <laughs> it's fine, I'll be able to cook it. We got enough time. There we go. It's like, please eat it raw! There we go. It's a, oh yeah, you do seem faster if you're not holding anything. Yeah, I, I did notice that as well. I was like, yeah, this definitely seems faster. Okay. Oh, now you want us to drink something too? No problem. <sighs> okay, hang on. Then. Right, here we go. So eat these. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh yeah, they gave me a little bit of fluid intake, but still not the best. 
Okay, so you guys are saying creep vine is the uh, the best way to get um, creep vines are the best thing to get for fluid intake as well for just for easy fluid intake, right? So. Hi. You didn't you didn't see me. All right, let's go down this way. So vines for fluid. So we can we can just cut the vines and and drink them. Radiation detected. Oh, hang on. I don't have my full red suit on. So you should be able to come over here, right? And then just get the knife out and then cut these to drink. And then just eat these. Um, okay, yeah, so give you a slight bit of uh, H2O. Not much, but a little bit. Okay, that gives you like a really tiny amount. <laughs> okay, so it's not, not the best, but it's still good. Hey, there's a bladder fish right there. So, what I really should do is go to the red area and get some salt um, from down there. It seems all down in the red area there's where the salt is. Red area is usually beyond the beyond the vines. There's more wreckage here as well. Was this wreckage I had to like cut my way into? Uh, I don't know. Don't think so. Oh, hang on. Hang on, something is, uh, oh, hang okay, that's a hot vent. Okay, don't go that way. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like there's another area we need to go down there, but we are not able to get there yet because it's a very hot area. Okay, that's cool. So I'm guessing we have some kind of way to prevent that in the future. Okay, so yeah, we'll see if we can find some salt down here in a minute, and then we'll go ahead and have a look and see what we can do. Um... Oh, and there was salt all around where we were. Ah, bugger. <laughs> Never mind. Because I just, I just, I just know that I seem to see more of it down in this area. Oh, what's this? Um, another seamless fragment. I, I guess we, I guess we can scan it. I don't, I doubt it'll give us anything. Just give us resources now, yeah. Yeah, it definitely seems this um, this area right here seems to have more salt in it. There's some other things here. Another seam of fragment there, so we'll get some more titanium out of it. Yeah, I'll see if I can spot some uh, some salt down here, some salt deposits. Okay, oh, hang on, what's that? That is a... Oh. Metal salvage, okay. Brain core right here. There we go. There's some salt right there. There we go, there's one. So yeah, having our... Uh... Water salt would be a good thing, I think. Ooh. I see... Drooping stingers. I guess they hurt. So you probably don't want to go into those things. Looks like there's another cave network down here too. Yeah, I think I think right there is where I want to build. I think right there is going to be where I want to build. 
purely because that seems like a good area um, to explore. And there's a couple of those areas too. And Tanya says, you enjoying this game? Yeah, it's pretty good. This is uh, it's easier, easier to see in the daytime, just saying. Yeah, I know. Night doesn't, luckily night doesn't last too long in the game though, it seems pretty, pretty quick. Okay, was that salt that I just saw there? No. So is there anything down here? Yeah. Oh, hang on, there's another heat vent down there. We don't want to go that way. Okay. So we don't want to go too deep down here. It's a big snake looking thing down here. The conditions okay. in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Oh. Yeah, something's after me. I don't know what it was. Something was after me. Something's snapping at me. Alright, let's get out of it. Yeah, this is not an area I want to be right now. But yeah, there's definitely like some heat vents down there as well. Okay, this is pretty cool. So there's definitely some stuff to explore down there, but I don't know if we're ready for it just yet. Is that salt? That is quartz. Okay. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. All right, that's well. There you go. Uh, you can make a bed in your base and sleep the night. Oh, nice. Okay. The game does have uh, water filtration, but you're not at that point to get it yet. Uh, is there anything down here? Yes, but you want to be able to take your seamoth there. Okay, so we we need we need that to be able to explore deeper. Okay. Yeah, I was just kind of interested to see what was down there. It looked like a, a new biome that we haven't been to yet, so... I was wondering if there's anything... Any, like, different types of resources here or something, but... Limestone? Titanium? Okay, here's some salt. One there. Let me see if I can see any more just in this area. There's one. Seek fluid intake immediately. Alright, lady. I'm getting there. Let me see if I can see any more salt just on this area down here. Seems like it's on these like flat beds of sand that you find it. Oh, anything in this box here? Uh there is. What is that? Oh a laser cutter fragment. I need that. Hang on. There we go. Maybe this will unlock the uh, laser kind of. Yeah, there we go. New blueprint acquired. Boosh. All right, so we got that done. All right, is there anything else down here? Any more salt? I can see. Pro there's probably a lot that I'm just missing, but okay, we're not really that deep down now. Let me just have a look around this little area. It seems I'm finding it like around the edge of the areas here. Oh, hang on, there's something here too. Oh, oh hello, bloody... 30 seconds. Bloody sand shark thing. I wanted to see what there was there. Okay, what is this? That is a seamless fragment, so we can get some resource out of it. Oxygen. All right, oxygen. Let's go get some oxygen. Here we go. Um, let's see. Phil so says uh, once you go to the Euro and repair it, you won't need the radiation suit. Oh, okay. Okay. So hopefully we have everything now we need. Because I know it takes two salt and something else to make better water. So hopefully we'll have everything we need for that. But yeah, we can go ahead and use, um, we can go, you can use some of this creep vine for 
slight water intake as well, just to keep us going for a minute. There we go. And oh, we're out of uh, out of room. Okay. So I guess we'll, you know, we'll just drop these. And we will eat our, we will eat our supply of pre-vine. Here we go. How is that green vine? Oh, can we only harvest a certain amount per... Yeah, I guess we can only harvest a certain amount per one. Okay. There you go, that'll keep us going a little bit. Mm. There you go, that'll keep us going long enough that we can get back over here. Can we pick up these guys? Oh, we can, hang on. Uh, if we can... Oh, wow. Um... Okay, he kind of just... I'm hearing a roar. Let's... Let's go away from the nasty roaring noise. Okay, let's make our way back over here. We'll go away from the, uh... We'll go away from this area and we'll see what we can find over here. Oxygen. You can eat the creep vine cluster seeds too. Oh, nice! Uh... Snatched. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, damn it! <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay, any more radio signals? No. Okay, so to get the... Water then... What do we need for that? So water was... what did it take? It was... Oh, it's bleach, right? So disinfected water is bleach, which is... And bleach was salt and... Coral tubes. Okay. Okay, so let's see if we've got any of those. I think we got some of them. Uh, coral tubes? Not those ones. Uh, not those ones. I know we had some here. There's one. And this one, do we have it in there? No. Okay, I think we've got enough for one at least. And hold on a sec, come up in here. Do we have any more coral in here? Uh, yeah, we did, here we go. So grab those, and I've got, how much salt did I get? I don't know, so I got two silver, and we got five salt, so we can make two bleachers. Which is going to be good, so come into here, so on bleach, there you go. So yeah, oh it's only it's only one each actually, that's, that's even better. Okay. So grab one of those, good stuff. Um, so yeah, we just need more coral tubes, which are e even easier to get. So we should have some more coral tubes in here, here we go, grab that one. And here we go. So resources, and this. Awesome. Okay, so we got those, and then we need to do in this one. Now I can do water, right? So yeah, disinfected water per bleach, and then we should be able to get six of these, hopefully. There we go. Lots of water. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good stuff. There you go. And now I can just drink these. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go, that sorted me out there. And very good, we are done. <laughs> oh. Okay, got those, and we got another first aid kit. And then now we've got a little bit more room for other things in here, so I could probably put in here. What else can we just put in here? So actually, now what I can do is I can make the. Uh, I may have enough to make that base building thing now. And then in the next episode, we could probably start on a base, which would be really good. So this. Um, so the laser cutter does require diamonds, which I do know I have some more. Uh, cone device suitable for penetrating standard titanium doors. Yes, that's going to be a good thing in a minute. But first of all, we wanted to get the uh, the habitat builder. So we got the computer chip. We just need the wiring kit now, um, which is which is what the two silver was for. So we should now be able to get that. There we go. Yep. So there's that one, and then we just needed the 
computer chip, which I think is in here somewhere. I think we had it stored somewhere in here. Uh, was it in this one, or was it in a different box? I think it was one of the ones outside. I know we had a computer chip, because we made it purely for this purpose. So let's see, is it in here? Nope. storage and did we have it in here there it is computer chip all right so you got those all right and after that I think we can finally make a habitat builder which is gonna be awesome so let's go do this personal tools there you go only took us the entire stream but we got there guys yes to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions there we go Awesome. So now we've gone ahead and got our habitat builder done. And there we go, guys. Well, let me go save because I think we probably should. Unfortunately, it doesn't auto save it, I think. So there we go. And I think, guys, we're at this point, we're at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the stream. Um, I am actually feeling kind of knackered. So I think um, what I'm going to do is I'll do. Um, I was going to do a salvation today, but I think I'll do it tomorrow instead just because I want to be able to, you know, give it 100%. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I think we're going to go find someone to go ahead and raid. So let's go ahead and see who is available for a raid. Because hopefully there will be uh, someone around. And let me see. So we have... Is anyone playing Solonica right now? I don't believe so. But um, I know that we got Dirty Verve playing Grounded. Let's let's see if we can find someone else playing Simonica. Uh Whenever I only use eight solar panels, give you six hundred power. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll I'll bear that in mind. Um, so let's have a look at Subnautica, and let's see if we can find anyone who's playing um, currently, and we can go and send some love their way. Um, so who do we want to go for today? Let's see. So we've got. Swimming with the fishies. Uh, D Demonic Box. I kind of like that name. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see if I can find anyone with less than three viewers. Um, and then we can send some love over there. So. So someone's saying this better not be scary like Bioshock. <laughs> it is. Um, someone's saying, what have I done? Um, okay. Subnautica so Sunday. Uh, Josh the Myth. Uh, okay, we could, we, could send, we could send one over. Maybe to Josh Smith or maybe to Goddess Gaming. I don't know. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go. Someone to Goddess Gaming TV. Let's go copy this and we'll send over a raid. Let's go and do that. So let's go ahead and send one over here. So let's go slash raid and do that. And hopefully that has now worked out for me here. Here we go. So that's going to go ahead and get going with that. Looks like it has worked. Excellent. So we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Let's see, wait, did it do that? Oh, I don't think it did. Hold on a second. Uh, let me see if I can do it again. It might be because I need to do it um, through here. There you go, raid, Connor's Game TV, can I do that? There's a problem starting the raid. Oh, okay, maybe they are... Okay, maybe they're not accepting raids. Okay, so we can't do... We can't do that one. Okay, let's see if we can find someone else that accepts raids. I don't know. Um, uh, scared of the ocean. Interesting, that, sound, that sounds pretty good. Okay, let's... Uh, Building a base for the first time. Oh, actually, this this sounds like something I should watch. Actually, uh, uh, Yelly von uh, Yelly von Hollerlots. Here we go. Let's go ahead and copy this one and see if we can send him a raid instead, because <laughs> uh, it didn't want to do it for did not want to do it for Goddess Gaming TV. So we'll send one to here. And uh, is that gonna work? Uh, there we go. Cool. So now we can go ahead and get the raid started over here. All right then, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and send the raid over to Yelly von Hollerlots. Uh, that's a very strange name to pronounce, but I think I got it right. So, thank you guys so much for for coming along. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and, and our first foray uh, into Subnautica again. If you guys like this, um, I will go ahead and do another Subnautica stream next Sunday as well, so we can go ahead and continue our adventures. I'll try and watch a few things on it as well, just to kind of familiarize myself with a few more things. But it has been really good, guys. I'm so glad that we've uh, had a had a good turnout for the stream as well. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Phil says, "Good stream. Thank you very much, Phil." Very much appreciated, dude. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So, guys, until then, bye!